What's up, chat? Happy Saturday. Happy middle of the Saturday day. Middle of the weekend. Happy days. Happy days. The whitest people around. What's up, Shay? How are we all doing? Good day, good morning, good evening. I have been up to a little bit of stuff since we last ended the stream. It was a little bit late last night, so I'd assume that not everybody knows full well, but some cool things are happening down in the basement. And little Timmy isn't supposed to know about it. Hair's looking good? Thank you. Actually, Wanted to shower this morning because it's like kind of greasy, but there's like a part where even though my skin feels kind of irritated, the grease like makes my hair look better. I don't know, it's like a second day for me. Like, it's nice. It's like really silky smooth, even though I usually don't prefer it this way. Thank you, though. Ugh. What's up, chat? Hey, Crossma, I'll be doing well. What's like, what project? Secret pro- Wait, secret or special? Special project, you said. Hopefully the project's going well, whatever that might be. Are you crafting TNT? I'm blowing up the base of every hunter that will not reach level 250 before the next update. Chat, natural selection did not do its part efficiently enough. It's time for me to intervene. Body Home here, I was wondering, instead of the, using the instead of Terror Shredder, have you looked into the building gadgets exchanging tool for mine rooms? Use it with Silk Touch and Shaman and Fuzzy Mode should be broken IMO. Building gadgets exchanging tool. I haven't. What might that be? This thing. Exchanging gadget, 500k energy, range one blocks, fuzzy false. What does this thing do? Connected surface. What does this do? It'll be an improvement to some bases, not gonna lie. Oh, you're telling me. Oh, you're telling me. Is exchanging gadget like you take a range and it like will replace blocks with something else or whatever? It switches place blocks. Ooh, that sounds like something that shouldn't work. And a radius of 15 by 15. Wouldn't you have to break stuff already, though? How would you clear out all the gems and everything? Silk touch? Can it have, like, more than one thing to it, though? I'm assuming it couldn't work, though. Radius of 15 by 15 is pretty massive, though. Up to a single type, vein mine better. Oh, it's just limited to, like, one type, so you need to make multiple of these, then? It's not too expensive outside of the Echo Pog, obviously. The recipe book doesn't lag anymore? Yeah, I don't know. I think the server restarted. Well, the server restarted last night. And the recipe book has not been having any fits as of lately. Chad, I guess I'm going to show you if you were not... How many of y'all weren't here uh, for the latter half of last stream? I.e., how many of you do not know why I'm crafting up gunpowder right now? I watched the VOD. Smiler, dude. Well... I don't know why the animations bugged. I was draining experience for a little while, like 3,000 XP bottles, and it won't stop. But... The Botania area got an upgrade. We have been conjuring TNT for mana using Entropiniums. And we're actually basically full over here. How full are you? Nearly capped, actually, on here, and nearly capped on here. 
Some of them actually are full. So this is like nearly good to go, which means I gotta drain some of those right now. So let's go ahead and drop this down here. Because Thanks for we got this thing! Streamer man. Pushing through COVID booster symptoms, thankfully not as bad as the second round, and it's nice to know I'll have some chill content to be distracted by. What symptoms are you experiencing from a booster? I'm curious, I haven't looked into the booster or anything uh, around that, but she said something from most of the 25. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. I'm gonna go ahead and disable this for right now while we're close to being able to drain everything. Never much was 25 though. I hope you're well. Ian, never much was 27 months. Thank you, thank you. My S tier streamer. Yeah, so we're nearly there. This is about, I wanna say like 87 million mana stored up into this bad boy. We're almost at 100 million to get up to S rank. Um, I've had this thing going for. Not the whole night, but I emptied out probably about like 8,000 TNT in total. Um, so here's the system and it actually works out pretty well. So we've been running off of gravel, um, for those that were not aware of how we get the uh, TNT supply, because we don't really have like an unlimited source of gunpowder and sand at the moment, but here's the system that I've got going. So yesterday, we were using a QIO importer to bring gravel into here. The gravel will go into a crushing factory and get turned into uh, sand. So that supplies the sand, considering I have like 200,000 gunpowder, uh, or not gunpowder, 200,000 gravel because of the Omega statue up there. So I converted the gravel into sand because apparently that's a function. And then if you also take gravel and put it into an enriching factory, it turns it into flints. It's a one-to-one -one rate, basically like permanent fortune three. And then putting the flint into a crushing factory turns it into gunpowder. So somehow, in mechanism, if you take gravel, which has no properties of TNT, you can make unlimited TNT. Now the problem is, I didn't have unlimited gravel. And gravel's not the easiest thing to obtain. So I found a solution to that, <laughs> in that you don't need unlimited gravel, you just need unlimited cobblestone. Cobblestone in a crushing factory gets turned into gravel. And I have 300,000 cobblestone, it was closer to around 370,000 cobblestone. Because, not only did I have a little bit of cobble in my QIO, I also had about 255,000 cobblestone in my dank six of which I emptied last night. And that made me need to do something. Oh, oh, oh my, oh my God. I crafted a time dilating QIO drive last night to fit in a second frequency into the blocks QIO. This motherfucker costs so much more than it did before, like converting from Echo, because it doesn't cost Echo anymore. <laughs> I love- no, trust me, I was losing all night. It was really hard for me to get to sleep. Actually, it was pretty easy for me to get to sleep, if you think about it. So, the time delight in QIO drive no longer takes primarily Echo to be able to make. Here's how it works. You need an Echo Pog, two perfect Black Opal, and two ultimate control circuits. So, Echo here, Echo here, and then Black Opal here. To be able to make one hyperdense QIO drive, you need Echo, a Pog, and two Elite Control Circuits. Elite Control Circuits are Black Opal with Perfect Wounded Eye. So it's not really that much, but every QIO drive costs 16 Laramar, along with the Advanced Control Circuits that cost 8 Wounded Eye each. So, I don't know the exact numbers for this. Let's see, every QIO drive costs, what is that, 16 Laramar and 8 Wounded Eye? So what would that be? Because we need 18 of those, right? So that would be, what, 16 times 16, 256 Laramar, and then 16 times 8 is 128 uh, Wooded Eye. So 128 Wooded Eye, that's for... Because what? That's for 1... So 128 Wooded Eye, so it costs us 512 Wooded Eye. Which is kind of painful to make a time dilating QIO drive with like a thousand Laramar, I'm pretty sure. Something like that. So, 
Not pretty in terms of requirements, because the Wooded Eye is the thing that I would much rather hold on to than Echo, even though Echo apparently is going to have a good value at some point soon. So we're down from like 700 or 800 Wooded Eye down to like 319, which sucks, but it's probably fine. But either way, I've got a full thing of mana here and a full... Well, not thing. I've got a full tree of mana here and a full tree of mana here. Here's kind of the way I'm splitting it up. This mana tree provides the mana that I need to upgrade my uh, Terror Shatter, which hopefully this will be enough to get into S rank. If not this, uh, we can have the rest of the TNT going. So if I take the sand... Let me take two sand right here and get this activated again. Thank you. Beautiful. Um, this one will get drained pretty drastically because the mana doesn't produce as fast as the uh, pickaxe pulls, which I prefer. Because if we ever get capped out on mana, then the TNT is going to explode and blow up my base. So I don't want, ideally. I'm going to keep this over here full. Because this all goes to uh, the dominant augmented mana pool that I'm looking at right here. That has a chunk loaded teleporter underneath it with a linked mana mirror to it. So the mana mirror in my inventory is going to be the thing that we carry around with the terror shatterer. So that this will supply mana while I'm inside of the vault which we've already tested pretty far away in this dimension, and it works out fine. So when I'm inside of a vault, we'll essentially have an entire left side tree of mana to be able to charge through a mine room. Hopefully it'll be enough. But as long as I keep this full, I don't think I'd have the TNT go while we're doing this, because I wouldn't have any way to, like... I don't think this would fill in 30 minutes. So we could probably activate the TNT in here while we're out, which, if I chunk load... See, I would need to chunk load this side as well, too, to be able to get that good, which I can probably do pretty easily. We can chunk load this chunk, which I don't think is chunk loaded from up top here. No. These two chunks are chunk loaded. This one's chunk loaded. This one isn't. It's kind of funny how, like, chunk loading up there, chunk loads down here. It's cool. I like how my base is directly underneath the, uh, or this floor is, like, directly underneath the other floor. But, uh, yeah. I would love to run a CRP with, uh, with that bad boy. If you don't know what Terra Shatterer does, at S rank, it mines a 7x7x1 seven by seven by uh, dig out from you. Which is really cool because the reason why it's insane is that with vein mining, because of the way that like blocks are in the mine room, they're very randomized. It's not just stone in front of you. So you wind up getting like... It kind of turns into popcorn. I don't know, that's a weird way of putting it. It's hard to jump around, it's hard to navigate, you wind up falling through holes or whatever. But if you just have a clean 7x7 without needing to use Vein Miner, you should theoretically be able to start at the top of the mine's walls and just cleanly dig a square around it. Go down a floor, seven blocks, cleanly dig out a square around it, hopefully excavating the entire thing. Going? There is SS rank, yes, but it would cost 10 times what I'm trying to get to to this. Because this is 100 million mana, SS rank is 1 billion mana. I don't have 1 billion mana. <laughs> I don't have the infrastructure for that. Not saying that we couldn't get there, but it would require probably two dispensers timed at one second, so four times the TNT production. And we would need to uh, probably have more entropiniums and move the uh, Gaia mana spreaders much closer to here so that we could just produce so much faster than we do right now. Because this is basically our limit. If I was to turn this to twice the speed, we would wind up overcapping and it would basically fill up all four of these until the Gaia mana spreaders were capped out and then my base would blow up. So this is like the fastest that we could theoretically go right now. What's the SS? SS is 9 by 9 which I'm pretty sure would be a significant difference. Um, there's a Ring of Odin that allows it to be significantly larger. Like a Ring of Odin with this would be a nine by nine by nine. So, but the Ring of Odin is a relic and that's not enabled in the game right now. And probably will never be considering it's extremely overpowered. Um, so seven by seven is probably the best that we're gonna get for the foreseeable future. Unless I was to go absolutely ham on this, which I don't know if it'll be worth it or not. Because maybe a 7x7 seven seven to a 9x9 nine nine isn't worth the, uh, like, infrastructure upgrades when we might just be able to handle out of CRP regardless. So.
Is an Unbreaking and Mending viable in this thing? Uh, yes, but that's only in the uh, worst case scenario that we wind up running out of mana. I am going to put Mending and Unbreaking on it. But the thing is, like, this pickaxe has 2300 durability that is not known about. Like, it doesn't show until you run out of mana. After you run out of mana, it'll start taking durability away from the pick until it would eventually break. Um, but if you refill mana in your inventory, it'll refill the actual durability and then allow you to use it over again like normal. So, yeah, like I said, having an entire tree for mana hopefully should be enough where our mana mirror does not run out. Because if the mana mirror runs out, then it's going to pull from our greater band of mana. And then not only is that going to suck for, you know, not being able to complete a mine room, but we're not going to be able to use any of our sashes or any step up or anything uh, to get out of the vaults. Even our bow. So the last thing I want to do is run out of mana inside of a vault. Does it derank when it uses mana? I don't actually know the way that that works. So... It pulls mana when it's activated. Leaving the pickaxe active will consume its stored mana passively when not using it at a rate of one tick, one per tick or 20 per second. The pickaxe will not be spawned up on the ground. I think it would lose the rank. It keeps rank. Why would it consume the rank? Well, like, I guess in the theory, if it has like 100 million stored mana, if it went below 100 million, but... We tested it out... No, no. I tested it outside, or out, like, way, way far away. And once I didn't have any mana here, it was just breaking down the durability. It wasn't actually pulling from the rank itself. Yeah. So, no, the rank doesn't go down. No, the rank doesn't go down. That makes me wonder if I leave it activated and I don't have a mana mirror or a greater band of mana in my inventory, if it starts taking from a durability, that wouldn't make sense. Huh. What does the book say? Ooh. I haven't read the book in a long time. I'm not looking up the freaking wiki, dude. Just use the book. Okay, so generating mana manipulation, natural mystical items. I'll be in here. Crystal bow? No way, dude. That's the thing that I use. I can't believe I invented a crystal bow. That's crazy. What Absolutely ludicrous. Nothing. They fast. Ha. Huh. Happy 19 years, Pog D. <laughs> thank you, Naga, for the 19. Thank you, thank you. No way, dude. Uh, hold on. Where the... Wait. Here. The amount of mana stored in the tool will establish its rank. Uh, the amount of mana required to advance from rank to rank increases exponentially, as the rank does. Advance from... Okay, yeah, yeah. The rank of a tool does not change its speed, rather it increases the range of its active ability. Rank will target the shatter's ability on or off. When the shatter's ability is active, it can break many blocks in a wide surface area at once. At rank C, it breaks into our common blocks. Okay. Uh, the Shatter, when active, continuously consumes ma in its internal mana when not mining. Oh. The Shatter, when active, will continuously consumes its internal mana when not mining. The tool takes damage for every single block broken, so this is why a mana in the Widow's Welder's inventory is a must for higher ranks. The tool will use mana for durability like mana steel tools do. So I guess it means that if I was to somehow lose, what's the exact amount? 20 mana per second, which is kind of wild, then it would go down a rank. If I left it active without doing anything. Oh, it's almost there. Ooh, it's almost an S rank. Ooh. I want the cat very much for the trader core. Thank you very much for the hundred thousand. Ball cold for a vol idol. Thank you so so much. You have Java IGN? Hey, let me know if you got Java IGN. And uh Chase is on thank you very much for the uh <laughs> very well needed perfect wood to die. Thank you dearly. Appreciate that. May I just save up for that? Yeah, I appreciate that. Hundred thousand shadow points is a lot. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm really proud of this. I'm happy that uh we have a system that works where I didn't have to tear this down because I can stand on here. 
and give experience mana at the same time that the TNT produces mana. Very, very cool. Like I said, if we do want to go to the SS rank, we will need to up this. We also might need to up it depending on whether or not the uh, mine room... Uh, if the mine room is too much mana requirement for our internal store or our uh, external storage, then we'll need to. But, like, how many is this? This side is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. I think it's twenty-three. Twenty-three. This is twenty-three million mana. That's a fourth of the entire pickaxe. If twenty-three million mana isn't enough to get through a mine room, I'm gonna be a little surprised to be honest. The whole thing's chunk loaded. I hope to god that I don't need more than 23 million mana. Like I said, I don't want to pull off of this. Because this is where I like, you know, the pickaxe actually drains from. And would have like an external drain. <gasps> Boom! Let's go! My S tier shatterer! Oh, it's pink now, compared to before it was green, or it was blue. Wait a minute. Oh, the difference. Oh, the difference. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Matt Simpson's not an early game, but it all way. IGN is Uncat. So you have a dash, but nope. Got you. Is that an L at the beginning of your name, by the way? Is it Luencat? No, it's an I. Dude, I fucking failed English class if I don't know how to say I-E-U-A. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Welsh name. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry to butcher that. Uh, Iron Cats who... Iron Cats. There we go. Imagine save up again. We'll be good. Nice. Hey, my canoles is David and Sarah. Wishing the best for you and your family. I should be in here. Is there an axe source in it, Sarah, for the wood miner? Unfortunately, no. So I don't know the best way to navigate around a wood mine room outside of just a ton of paxels, which kind of sucks. Because I think the wood mine room is... How many different kinds are there? I've got the blocks in here, right? So the wood mine room, this is the wood mine room. That's one. I don't think there's any more in here. Unless it's the... No, I don't think it's that. There's the Gabbro mine room. Yeah, there's the Gabbro mine room. The, like, you know, kind of brownish one. And then there's the, like, standard cobble and stone one, I think. You can use a hammer paxel. Hammer, ingenious hammer, revolving hammer, bennet, roofing hammer, wooden hammer, crescent hammer. What's the hammer paxel? Blue wood, diorite, and gabbro. Oh yeah, it's diorite. Yeah, so it's basically like as nice as this is, and kind of the reason why I don't think that I want to upgrade to an SS. It's gonna take what? Basically a 1 in 3 chance that we wind up getting a mine room that's not what we aim for. Oh, hammer and chain on the Paxel. The hammer and chain is only a 3x3, three three, though. That would take way too long. Like, can you imagine how long it would take to go around, like, an entire room? And you only go down 3 blocks every time you go lower and then you have to get the inwards. You're like, nah, that wouldn't work. Rush is better than a hammer. Hey, a positive when our favorite CRP is better than, <laughs> better than that. Um, we've definitely proven that to ourselves. Because remember, so what is it? We have haste four, right? We got haste four on our own. And then we have the haste two idle, which is uh, this one down here. And then we would need a rush two Paxel. What's another way to get haste? You know, a cheeky little thing about it. Is 
Does that last the full 16 seconds? Huh. What if we bring my Haste 2 axe and just every 16 seconds do this? That gives me Haste 6 for 16 seconds. And with the Haste 2 idle, it'll be Haste 8. Yeah, it's Haste 8 for 16 seconds. And Haste 8, without a Paxil Enhancement, is insta-break. With just Rush 1... Ooh... That wouldn't be plus 2 so I'm switching to the Paxil? No, yeah, I would. So, like... I have... What do I have right now? I've got plus 1 Haste on this right now, so I have Haste... I guess this isn't added, because it's just an Enhancement. But if I switch this and go back, I've got haste 8. For 16 seconds. I just have to keep alternating between the two while in the mine room, and that provides me with enough haste. Your rush 2 as well. I don't think haste 10 is necessary, especially considering how rare rush uh, rush 2 is. I'd probably want to save the Benetine Lair Mark, considering we're using quite a shit ton of it currently. Um, probably just, like, getting a massive amount of haste 1 idols. Anyone else knows that Hellfire is 250 on the armory? Hmm, suspicious. That would probably entail that Hellfire is testing a patch. But uh, if you guys weren't around yesterday, Iskel said that they were aiming to put out the patch that uh, would offer 250 and tier 3 armor uh, Monday or Tuesday. If you didn't have a haste to idol, you could have an axe in your offhand. They patched that long ago. You can't do that. Terra... I think it's been removed. I think I... Whatever you're talking about, I think it got removed with a lot of other stuff. What was it? Terra... Shrunketer? Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Is that in here? Trying to vary my good mornings. Is it in this? Oh yeah, this thing. Great axe of premium quality, achievable only with Terra Seal. It can fell an entire tree at once using mana to break all its logs and leaves in one fell swoop. It won't do so while it's used sneaking or it's of temperance. When a axe is used to break a log or a leaf block, it will start breaking all logs and leaves connected either directly or through at most two leaf blocks up to a 63 by 63 by 63 area centered on the broken block. That's pretty good. So, I don't know if that would, like, work on a mine room, because it's not really, like, a tree. But I have a reason that I can see why it got removed from the game. Um, Terror Blades on power down sword in terms of raw power, but once one can sometimes fire a beam that will deal as much as a melee hit would. Which like gives mana for durability, just like mana steel tools can. Let me try my Terror Blade, dude. Yeah, Terror Steel, uh, uh, what's it called? This thing, Terror Shatter, is the only thing that, uh, the game allows at the moment. Terra Chunk Unloader. <laughs> A minor chunk percent. My speedrunner is back. Alright, let's get a uh, mending and unbreaking on this bad boy. Oh. I know how to play this game. Fifty five silk touch and breaking three and mending. I want efficiency six on this so badly. I just don't have the power for it. I'm breaking four. It shouldn't be needed. Unbreaking doesn't do anything for the actual mana production. It would just like 
save my ass if I ran out of mana, but eh. <laughs> mana, unfortunately, does not, or unbreaking, unfortunately, does not reduce the amount of mana uh, per swing. If that was the case, that'd be kind of gnarly. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let this, like, chill on here for however long. This has 600-something TNT in it, and I think I've got, like, 3,600 left in here. There are 56 books on modded strongholds. Oh, no shot, really? Wait, do you mean like... They're called tomes. Oh shit, kind of like the um... It's, it's this, right? The cork one? Because I found this in uh, a dungeon chest. That shouldn't be in the game, I don't think. Does this... work? Max 6. Uh-oh. Oh. Looting 5 isn't a thing. It was fixed last season. I beg to differ. Hey, um, how many y'all want to go, uh, stronghold finding? Try and find some libraries. Oh, how funny. I also do, too. Man, we have such... similar interests, chat. You guys are just great. Top of the morning. Top of the morning. The higher the vanilla enchant- the higher the vanilla enchants are achievable through a combination of books slash weapons, they're just a standalone. Right, so we need- yeah, we just need to find someone when we get to 56. What's the time there, by the way? 12.57 p.m. Hey, who wants to do a little bit of- Dude, I don't know the, uh, there's a new fucking way to triangulate. Oh, shit. Three point two. When I have speed, how am I supposed to judge distance? <laughs> Fuck it, this is probably it. Oh shit, I did the wrong thing. Wait. Just fly? Yeah, dude. Cool had to pay no prime for you as on Was that 3.2 as went well? Went so Wait, do strongholds no not generate outside of the the initial ring? They do generate? Oh shit, I hope they do. I hope they generate in here. 
The state is broken, so strongholds were weird. Oh, dear. Maybe strongholds don't exist in this. Outside of the one... Well, no, we found a... <laughs> we found a stronghold when going to Iskal's base. They didn't go outside of the 25k block radius. Oh. Oh, it reflects vanilla in that same light, huh? Four point seven. Uh, it's the same as vanilla. Where it okay? It's limited in that regard. Okay. There isn't a stronghold. That's why they added the end portal. No, there's literally a stronghold. In between Iskal and I's base, when I was wiring up the stuff to uh, or piping up the stuff, tubing up the stuff to put the nuclear out there, I hit a stronghold. Well, interesting. Uh, we'll have to see whether or not we hit one. The eyes don't lead to them. Oh, the eyes not lead to a stronghold. Modest stuff, bro. I don't know, dude. Eyes don't lead to strongholds in vanilla terrain. Hey. Oh. The seed change when they generate the modded land so the eyes don't link up with the vanilla seed. Oh. So I'm literally not going to be able to find a stronghold on my own then with this. Damn it. In modded land, probably. Well, they're not generating on the modded land because the modded lands are only 50,000 bucks and beyond. Uh, I'm doing it on the server right now. I found four so far. Yeah, but do the servers that you guys are playing Vault Hunters on, like, through Escalia, do those have the same generation where the modded don't, doesn't start until 50k blocks out? Digital miner. Bro, how the hell am I going to use a digital miner to find a stronghold? Do you think before you type? Do you want me to go into a 32 block radius and filter for cracked stone brick? That's going to take like 2,000, 5,000 places. <laughs> Look for mossy stone. Bro, how common with the radius do you think that is? By the way, if I could redo this series over again, I would 100% build in this biome. This biome is so sick. I don't know how, like what I would build in here, but I would love to build in this biome. Hope yeah, Rob. Ever much of the 88 months, dude. God, how, how damn long is that? Uh, Twitch tells me. 88 months now. Thank you for not rounding the year. Seven years and four months, dude. Thank you so damn much, Rob. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Avatar finale vibes? Yo, bro, don't spoil. <laughs> Serial, the series only came out like 12 years ago. Thank you, Rob. And Frost, ever much of the 27 months. Thank you as well. I hope both of you are doing fantastic. Whoa. I'm getting closer. Whoa.
I'm gonna go check on that. Cool. Great. That's fantastic. That's fucking wonderful. Ugh. Chunk bug. Fuck, dude. Uh, I guess unloading a chunk winds up like loading the TNT, but then not detonating it properly. Uh, fix it, question mark. Eh, just take a five-hour timeout, headass. Oh, I got my glass frames back, all three of them. This dude's staring at a dead end thing. Says, "Fix it." Thank you. Let me just let me just fix it real quick. Oh. Well, there goes the terror shatterer and my entire setup. I didn't know the server behaved like that. Hmm. That's problematic. <sighs> That's frustrating. Thank you very much for the 20 subs. I appreciate that very much. Still early time to cheer up. Appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, I wonder if I'd ask, I could ask for a rollback. Jordan's not streaming right now, is he? Is he on the server at the moment? No, thank God. Let's see if I could ask for a rollback. How high of Windar favor do I need to be able to roll back time? Is that a feature? Is that a positive? I have 16. Is that enough? Seventeen favor? Damn. So close. Oh. Dear Gabe, dear Lord Gaben. I 
I'm almost like more frustrated that it happened because of like a server unload thing. Not purely the fact that I was a dumbass. Because like this time for once I wasn't. Well, I mean, actually, so like maybe kind of I was, but also like not exactly. Did you lose the Terror Shatterer? Yes, I did. Even if I didn't lose the Terror Shatterer, I would still be asking for a rollback. Ugh. Is highly frustrating. Thank God the QIO stuff doesn't detonate in RTMC. <laughs> I actually didn't know the blast resistance of this stuff is that high. That's fascinating. Also, how the fuck did one TNT like fucking matrix bullet around this end? Sixteen months. It's been a while since I caught a stream between work and school. How's it been the last month? I need replay mode here. Actually, could do with seeing exactly what happened. Because, like, this clipped into the tree. That makes sense. But I'm wondering, like... Did it just, like, hopscotch over here? And then... How the fuck did it do this? That's so funny. <laughs> uh... It's from my science that people get more upset at things that happen due to factors outside of their control. And people will get more upset when things happen due to factors that they think is outside of their control. Found magma. Bad seed reset. Did the tree chunk unload and the TNT pass through it? <laughs> no, this chunk's been loaded permanently. <clears throat> That's interesting. Because I'm wondering how... How exactly has that become a thing? Because if the chunk unloads... And the chunk comes back in, how would... Because if, like... I had enough... Of a buffer for, like, 8 TNT to go off at once. How did leaving the area still trigger, like, the dispenser... To drop TNT, but the TNT didn't detonate. Hi, Elfire. Creative world testing, or do you not do that? What would I test? Like a rollback kind of thing on here? See, there was chunk on low since there's a border? Uh, well, I didn't have this chunk loaded that had the dispenser. I had the chunk loaded that had the, um, hourglass, but if the dispenser's unloaded, then it shouldn't have been an issue. Because if the chunks, if, like, because the dispenser being unloaded was actually kind of, like, something that I was okay with, because if I left the area, then it wouldn't prop out any TNT. Is the Entangle Reporter still chunk load? Yes. So, out of all the chunks down here, this one, this one, and this one are chunk loaded. This one is not, and this one has the TNT dispenser. Is there another map mod which is chunk loading? Uh, I've got no clue, to be honest. Lesson here is always be able to connect the stuff in one singular chunk if possible. I'm just wondering how exactly chunk loading was the cause of, like, of why it acted like this. Because if a dispenser is in one area and the TNT settled there, in a loaded chunk, like any TNT that landed inside of the loaded chunk should have detonated on its own. If TNT was loading... No, well, the TNT loading wouldn't have even been the problem. If the dispenser is in this chunk and this chunk is in here... 
I don't get it, dude. May mana hit cap. The mana was nowhere close to hitting cap. This is where my mana was at. I can tell you it's a longer explanation. I mean, if you want to, but otherwise I'm not going to fuss about it. Um, if, if the rollback, so Hellfire, if rolling back is like a possibility or if you're waiting on like a go ahead to do it, should I wait until then, I guess? Oh, you need the TNT to stay loaded? Why would I need the TNT to stay loaded? If a dispenser's not loaded, it shouldn't be dispersing TNT at an awkward angle. Elvira does chunk loading on a server change from vanilla 3x3 three three chunk load? I have no idea. Anyway, not worth fussing about too much right now. Um, I'm gonna put all the stuff in a chest, I think. Be sure it looks nice. Thank you. Uh, humbug. Uh, sup. If it seems he fell into an unloaded chunk as it was unloaded, it would go boom. No, but so, like, I, ba I like, teleported away from the base. Which should have unloaded the chunk immediately. Listen, there might be an explanation to it, but my brain right now is if dispenser not in loaded chunk, TNT also not. TNT not. That's my brain wave. If there's a different explanation, I'm not going to wind up accepting it. Who likes dick? I like dick. Wouldn't be here without it. Maybe one TNT landed and unloaded chunk when you left. It would have needed to be more than eight TNT because I had four entropiniums and one entropinium buffered like half of a, or one TNT buffered like half of an entropinium. The TNT would then just sit idle till it was reloaded. Once reloaded, they would all blow at the same time. Yes, but how would multiple TNC have... <sighs> Brother, I am at capacity. I'm gonna go run a vault with only an Elytra. <laughs> it's fine. Let's get set up to run a raffle. I need you, though. Are you capped? Oh shit. <laughs> oh, the gunpowder. Oh yeah, they were good on gunpowder. They were good on gunpowder. Oh, they were good on gunpowder, my guy. Play, don't be weird. Thank you.
Are you going to bother upgrading to BFC to Supermassive since taking things out of such an asshole? Yeah, I will eventually. I don't have the resources for it now, though. I'd have to run through CRPs to get more wood to die. It's supposed to be loaded in three levels, NC, Redstone, or Lazy. And these are only loaded in chunk of any chunks. If a chunk is loaded, there are lower level entities just stuck there until a chunk is any loaded. Check out my streamer did a raffle yesterday. Oh yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Stream's over, have a good- One hour stream? I've actually already been live for an hour, that's wild. Okay. Did you eat your lunch today? I haven't eaten lunch yet, no. I woke up kind of late, so I've only had brekkie. Not sure why the dispenser chunk was red sun loaded, not any loaded. Could just be a weird anchor upgrade behavior. Yeah, no idea. The... That's funny, I still have mana, though. <laughs> It's funny that my mana mirror still has mana after all that. <laughs> uh, it's hilarious. There's a lot of cobblestone, though. Yeah, the tree was essentially largely unharmed. I think every single mana pool on this tree is perfectly intact. This one, not so much. This QIO drive's still fine. So, like, is that actually just... Does QIO stuff have just a blast resistance to TNT? I want to find out. Oh, I can't put it back in.
What happened, Creeper? Yeah. Creeper. Tough guy, dude. It's not getting very much for 16 months, by the way. But also, like, how stream has been working in school? How's it been the last month? Last month's been good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This guy wants to really buff those creepers in a recent update, dude. Level 233 creepers. Can't live with them. Can't live without them. What are you going to do? If all is 100 days long, well, it's not 100 days long. Going until uh, December 16th. So do you? Hold on. I want to see here. Do you just deal with TNT perfectly fine? How the hell did that not blow up then? Noted. Uh, uh. All right, I'm going to build another uh, QIO drive real quick, I think. So I can put some stuff back in here and then we'll run a vault. Not sure what's going to happen on a rollback. Um, whether or not I'm just going to rebuild suck it up and learn from this or what um it's not going on eternally right now we'll figure out what's happening with that soon but in the meantime i will just run some vaults and hang out for a bit uh, what am i doing right now the stuff that i need for oh yeah, yeah. okay on him and what else was it it's uh oh yeah i forgot it's, um advanced control circuits and where is my perfect Laramar? Do I not have any? I don't. CRP vault? Yes, without my terror shatter. Let me just go do that real quick. I don't have a ter wait. I don't have a terror uh CRP vault to run anyway, so. Elytra. Jetpack's good. Right. Right. Will these vaults be rolled back, though? No idea. If they are, they are. If they're not, they're not. Uh, what's in the shark shop today? Bab seal, excel chip, and a sword. Don't think that's interesting me too much. Um, given what we're currently doing, probably just run the bag and the Adona Idol. Hold on. Change in plans. Uh, what all was it? I can't remember if I have a download of... Hold on. What are they called? Uh... You're still chilling. You're still chilling.
What's the name of the Rosa Arcanas? Or floating and sure. Anyhow, how do you spell it exactly? Y U M. Yum. Uh, what, else? what was lost? Eight mana spreader, eight guy mana spreaders, eight mana lenses of potency and velocity, eight floating Rosa Arcanas, four floating at your pinniums, the Terror Shatterer. What else got eaten up? I don't really care about this. That's like an easy rebuild. The grass as well, too. I guess that's it? The lily pads, I suppose. Which are actually supremely hard to find. TNT and dispenser? Eh. What's it called? I want the lily pads back. The sparks? Um, I have the augments. I have these. Yeah, the recessive sparks. The rest of the sparks are good. So that's fine. Oh, yeah, I f wait. No, Chad, don't you guys remember we just got it up to SS rank? Yeah, because the TNT w wasn't actually 9 TNT that exploded. It was actually 900,000. Yeah. What's weird to me is that in the testing that I've done, Etropiniums don't get deleted by TNT when they can't absorb them. They just break and you can pick them up. That implies that multiple explosions happen to destroy them, the INSDs, after they broke. Yes. Many, many boom happened. Hellfire, I haven't unlocked building gadgets. You're not allowed to use that. Don't forget the artifacts? No. Huh. Dude, you thought you had me for a second. I thought I lost the scale artifacts. Oh, thank God. We're fine. Oh, we're good. We're, we're fine. So I wonder if this problem probably wouldn't happen then if I just had the chunks loaded while I left my base, right?
I have no sympathy. I should right now. I'm having a favor done for me, but I have no sympathy. You had half the artifacts there as well? Oh, yeah, I forgot. I took all of H's artifacts down and moved them down here underneath the water. Ah, they're gone. Yeah, they were on the underside of the mud, and the mud's not there anymore. Damn, dude. Damn, damn, man. The seven stacks of cage. Oh, yeah, the cage dust. <laughs> Hellfire, why does cage dust stack to seven? Like, I kind like, I get choice last, like, stacking to, like, two or three at most. Right. Sorry, my bad, shouldn't have asked. How does Hellfire feel being the funniest person on the server? It's a burden they probably carry every day. Heavy is the head that wears the hellfire. <laughs> mm. How did this look? If I remember this correctly. So I need... Oh, we gotta do a little bit of a rebuild. Oh, I gotta get the grass. Okay. Um, we got an awkward assortment of items because I was like half ready to go into a vault and not, but I need... Uh, where's the grass in this? Uh... I gotta remember to use this thing sometimes. <laughs> It's awesome that we're getting actual mud blocks in 119. Agreed. Agreed. Very, very big agreed. Let's get TNT cracking again. And getting right back into it. How deep was this? I think this is the lowest that it was. Yeah, I don't think it went any lower than this. Because, yeah, this is falling down. Yeah, I think it's as low as it went. No, there's mud blocks here. Oh, no, never mind. It went lower. It went lower than this? This shit deep. Oh, 
Uh, fuck, how did this look? Deeper than the pit my grades are in. I'm close to banning you for your own good. <laughs> my grades are good? Oh, okay, okay. I must have misread, sorry. Was it actually this deep? I don't think it matters, right? Because, like, there was... <laughs> it is now. So, I've got, like, a thing, and I'm sure a lot of people do, where if, like, I had a build already done and something happened to it, and I had to rebuild, I'm just going to spend the entire time thinking about how it looked before. So I'm going to go back in my VOD and see what it's looked like so I can make sure that it's perfect, because otherwise I'm going to be really upset. I will not be a happy, happy camper. Damn, dude, my hair looks shinier than the bouquet behind me. Can we get a Twitch player that allows me to pause the screen without it going, like, half brightness, please? Why is this a functionality? I fucking hate Twitch. I'm kidding, Twitch. Like, seriously, why does your player pause brightness when I try pausing it? I just want to see the damn screen. Oh, yeah. I think it was three blocks deep at the lowest. So I think this is the lowest that it went at any point. And then it went upward. With the, uh, the island that was there. Because the grass that was here at some point... Um... Reached, like, nearly the ceiling of the water. Okay, I think I know how to rebuild this. Yep, that looks like it'll about do it. Because there's no water underneath here. Either there's water underneath there and I'm breaking the source blocks that are here. I'm probably just breaking the source blocks, to be honest. We can put it one lower if we need, but I don't think it was any lower than this. Because then it went a little bit up. What's the island look? Like this. Okay, and then we just have to go down from here. At least we can put the guy at Menace closer now. <laughs> hey, I can't be stubborn if they're not there in the first place. Real, actually real.
Cool. It's a melon tree now. So this needs a bit more to it here. Building on my stream. I'm streaming and building. Doing the building thing on my stream. That's what I'm doing. Or building. This does not look nearly as good as it should, and it's because this isn't, uh... What is it? Um... Vivid. Can you put Vivid Patch to see some dirt? I can. It's fantastic. Okay, hold on. Let me see what this looks like down here, because it's nowhere close to being the same. Is there a grass on the chest? Oh, thank you. I think this will have to do for right now. I'm gonna the, path, the pathway the exact same as it was before. If anything's changing, it's not the pathway. Not my pathway. Not my quarterback. So, mana pools. Did lose a mana pool, but it's fine. I can remake that easily. Uh, how do you make a mana pool? Mana pool is... What's it? Benicite, Laramar, and Living Rock? Okay. Oh, I've got five in here already. Cool. <laughs> Looks good. I thought you hit your Wendar God Shards here, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, those things. Yeah. Hellfire, didn't you hear? I got 20 Wendar God Shards uh, the other day. Ready up and good to run a vault with. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah, under the island for safekeeping. Well, no, not right next to the TNT setup, just underneath the mana pools. So it was still far away from the, the, the dispenser.
Okay, so... Oh boy, I see the pain here. How do you... Cr what do you need to make these with? Slime ball. So, okay, what about asking Hellfire if anyone has met the prerequisites for obtaining God Shards? No, that stuff stays secret. Like, I want to feel like 16 favor is what you need, but we've come up with some other theories that need to be proven right or wrong uh, over due time. And that's where, like, science and shit comes down to figuring it out. <laughs> Peepo bed. Peepo bed. Okay, so... Um... Well, actually, hold on. Before we do this, let me... Remake these real quick. So how exactly did I have these set up around here? They were in a ring. Elevated. Just like this. Not the correct height? That's the correct height. Okay. And then the floating entrepeniums were underneath here. So, now we have an opportunity to, I guess, bring the Gaia Mana Spurs closer. It's because the way that... The way that I had this before, the Mana Spurs were, like, around here, and especially with the entrepeniums. They were pretty far away from this. So I'm wondering if now, with the mana spreaders, maybe... Because I had it kind of like in a ring from here, right? One block up in front. Do we want them just sitting in front, then? Need to be a little bit... Ah! One further, maybe? I could be further back. I think I like that placement. Would you look better here? Probably not. No, I like it better here. Have you ever had a wind arc crystal yet? Y'all are getting way too ahead of yourselves on this whole thing. <laughs> Y'all are getting way too ahead of yourselves on this whole Volcod favor thing. Bro, I don't know shit. <laughs> This needs to be moved a little bit more outward if we're going to have it like this, though. So, you can go here. Then here. Is that correct? No. 
this one. Oh, don't do that. Thank you. Then you. Then you. I feel like my quality of just living a life in general would improve tenfold if I didn't get so frustrated at those tiny little things. That was dirt? Why the hell is that grass now? Hiroshi, the assumption is that Volkot shards wouldn't be based on luck. Because luck impacts Richie rolls, and I don't believe that uh, Volkot shards would fall under Richie rolls. So maybe... How does this look now? That looks pretty good. I can't help but feel like this is cramped, though. I guess the Terror Shatter mana farming? Perfectly fine. No problems at all. So how does that look? Yeah, I feel like I like that better. Yeah, I think so. Let me get to SS rank. It's very worth it to decimate miners pretty quickly. I don't know if S to SS rank is going to be worth it or not. I would love to, but I'm not sure if that's in my plan yet. I'll have to see whether or not, like, how good 7x7 is compared to going to the 9 to 9 I know it'll be, like, probably pretty significant, but I don't know if the, uh... I mean, really, when I think about it, as long as I can get the cobblestone, that shouldn't be that big of an issue. Wait, are you getting blocked? Wait. You do get blocked. Why do you get blocked? Why can't you link to that? It's too far away? Or is it this? Fuck. And that works. Hmm. Well, I don't like that angle. Do you work? That works fine. It's worth it? Hmm. But you can't reach. You need to be one closer then? I see. 
So it needs to be like this for them to reach. Kind of looks a bit buns if I'm going to be honest. I'm going to move you in. Do I want you inward more or do I want you outward more? Or does you look better? Probably inward one more. It's a bit too far out. Do you link up fine? Yep. Okay, so we're moving you guys over a little bit. Right? Because you... You link up here, right? Yeah, you link up there. And you link up there. Yes. Okay. So we move you over one. Like that. Now let's move you over one. Yo, this way, they've rushed for 13 months. Thank you, thank you. To care of you when you get your wisdom teeth out, get affected by the anesthesia? Nope, neither of us had problems. Neither of us had any issues. That looks pretty clean, honestly. I like this. This looks clean. Did either of you go loopy? Well, Kara didn't have nearly as heavy... She had, um... So I had, like, IV sedation. So I was out like a light the entire time. And when I woke up, I was a little woozy. But I was like, once I got in the car, I was cognitive completely. Like, I wasn't saying any dumb shit um, at any point. I was pretty aware of everything happening. Um, Kara's was a little bit less, like, strong. She didn't have IV sedation. She had, like, a, um, like, a thing they put under her tongue. And something else. I can't remember if it was a pill as well, too. I think it was just the thing under her tongue. So she was, like, kind of in and out during the surgery. But she was, like, super cognitive and fine, uh, getting out of the, uh... The operating room. <laughs> and they're like, make sure you got somebody to, you know, like, escort her to the car and stuff. And, you know, I take her arm and I'm like, all right, let's go. And she just walks out the door on her own, just goes down the step to the car. And I'm like, fuck, okay. <laughs> you got it. When I was in the wheelchair being pushed out of freaked out because it felt like I was going 30 miles an hour. Not like 2 miles an hour. Just yelling at somebody, slow down, dude! I mean, hopefully this is a better spreader setup. So, you two are linked. You go to that one. You go to this one. And then you go to this one. 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 And then you go to this one. Uh, you go to this one. You go to this one. You're already linked. And then you go to this one. And then you go here. You go here. No. You go here. You go here. You go here. Yep. You go here. You go here. You go here, and you go here. Oh. Nope. 
So the reason that we're moving is a little closer is because in terms of the buffer that is in a guy at Mana Spreader, apparently it's um the closer you are to the pool. Bro, I'm stupid. They need to be closer to the central pool, not the fuck. I just put them closer in a ring like this because I'm like, yeah, they need to be closer to here. They're not linked. Um, jarred. They need to be closer to here, not to here, because they're not linked to any of these. Uh. been a long day for you, hasn't it? You know what? It really hasn't been. It's really not been that long of a day. worse a help of an admin miles worse i'm incredibly grateful for hellfire where was this one here I could probably also be even closer, but hopefully this is fine enough. I think it's already like two blocks closer than before, so it should increase the speed a decent bit. Not so that whole linking thing again. The pool, you go there, you go there, you go there, you go there, you, you. You and you. Uh, you go to there. You go to there. You go to there. You go to there. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Great. Okay, so now that's done. Uh, you need to go back down, and you need to go back down. And then the augment is in that back right one. So you go there. You go there, and then you go there. I think that's good now. Looks good. Looks good. That's my mostly filled. That's why not a lot's going there. This one's barely filled. Didn't it look like they're in CNC. It's negligible. That don't matter too much. 
We have like 5,000, 6,000 CNC inside the QIO. I can make a ton more, so it's not really that big of a deal. All right, now we need to get this rebuilt. Um, Okay. We find the frame of where... All right, perfect. So... Strip logs and mana pools. So... So mana pool there, there, not there. Mana pool here. Um, there's a mana pool directly behind it like this. And then you're on a log as well, I'm pretty sure. If I remember. Is that it for this? Roughly. Ah, pause there. Nope, nope, go back to the other frame, go back to the other frame. So then you... Why are you visible there? Because this was close up, right? Or no? That looks good from there. Did you blow up here all your Botania stuff? Yes. I was tired of progress. There's no mana pool up here, I don't think, right? Why is this like this? Probably not how it looked. It's not how it looked. Uh, what kind of wood is this? Dark oak log? I really wish these particles would not be here right now. Need to make some more sparks, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. Um, so how is this overall? Looks good. Yeah, this looks fine. Um, this is probably not how this was. I probably have a few sparks in here. Yeah, I do. Air ye five months. Um, I don't know what to say really, apart from thanks a lot mate, for making content, keep doing your thing, and don't let anyone else say otherwise. Also can't wait for MCC, hope you do well and as tradition. the con words. I will do my best. So this guy tacked a little bit. Not too much though. I feel like there were mana pools on this side, wasn't there? If there weren't, there are gonna be now. I guess it would only be one. Eh. 
What's new is new. Sure. Looks fine to me. Well, actually, no, because then... No, 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 that doesn't work properly. No, because if that was that way, then this would need to be... These would need to be manipuls here. Because I have a manipul on top of everything. Afternoon. What have I missed? Sup, Strash? You missed absolutely nothing of importance. Nothing has happened. I don't think there was a mana pool there. You know what? Just make this street a little fat. Never much of a 3,000. Appreciated that. Oh, hell no! What's going on here? No way right now that I'm going to allow that in my Bosania garden. No shot in the dark, dude. All right, well, that's all set up and hopefully good. Back to normal. Um, so let's get everything. Thank you very much for the hearty apple. Thank you again for the 3,000 bits. Very, very generous of you. We'll move us all over in a bit. But for right now, I just want it out of my inventory so we're clear of things. Uh, William goes there. Dank six. These are swapped. Wait, two dank goes there. Then Elytra. Okay. Um, glass item frames. You go there, glass item frame. You go there. My lexica! My knowledge! Holy shit, dude. <laughs> I've got a bit too much gunpowder. Is that still operating? Oh shit, it is, isn't it? Yeah, I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, I might need to make another QIO. Uh, give me a moment. Give me a little moment here. Um, how many advanced do I have? Only three. Pinch. Uh, I need to spend more wood. Did I? I like this, dude. I like this. This thing is massively just filled with gunpowder, and that's pretty much it. Like new. Okay, so that's good. Now, last little bit that I need. Stress over again. Do we need three sticks? We need uh three string. I'm 
We need seven cob. And we need, uh, one redstone. Uh, we already have the QIO. I think it's down there still, unless I moved it out. Did I move the QIO out? I don't think I did. I think it's still down there. What's the name of it? Hovering Hourglass. Man of Steel, Man of Glass, Gold, and Redstone. Yo. Okay, and then where is the koi? Thank you. In for another round. Ready to do it all over again. We are good. And just to confirm... Check, 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 check. Okay. So that's good. Um... Now hold on. With the whole thing that went down, this shouldn't have changed at all, right? You're still the same? Yep. Oh, I see there's one problem here, actually. How the hell are you floating, my guy? It's a little weird of you, dude. What could possibly go wrong? Absolutely nothing. Okay, so that's good. So now, back on here you go. Is that instantly turned to S? <laughs> it's funny. Back to S rank! Bang! All right, so how exactly to get this to not happen again? This chunk is loaded. This one simply isn't. Um, there shouldn't be any chunk load any of these two because these don't have... Their, TNT's not going to get anywhere close to them, right? I don't know exactly how a loaded dropper or loaded dispenser caused TNT to have a problem because if this was unloaded, like, for example... Um, or rather, I don't know how an unloaded dispenser causes problem. Because if this dispenser was loaded and the TNT went into this chunk, let's say it wasn't loaded, then the chunk would basically load for a split second to put the TNT in there while it's ignited and then unload again, but with one prime TNT. Rinse and repeat forever, you'd get like 500 prime TNT in this chunk. Then whenever you came back into the chunk, it would all detonate at once. With it being unloaded, though, I don't know why the dispenser went off at all. That shouldn't have happened. Because even though the hourglass is in a loaded chunk, this should have nothing that's able to trigger if the dispenser is in an unloaded chunk. Regardless, I'm going to get a chunk loader for this chunk and call it a day. It was red sun loaded, the TNT was dispensed, but it was not NT loaded, so the TNT did not explode until you got back in NT loaded. My brain is very small.
I'm having a hard time grasping this whole different chunk thing, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, so what do we need? We need a teleporter, right? If I remember correctly... Uh, I don't remember exactly. I know a teleporter is... Four steel casings. Four basic control circuits. What's the last thing, though? My guy boy gets chocolate. Does a better job of explaining. Okay. Um. Domination core. I wasn't sure whether or not the core is a part of this. So then we need an anchor upgrade, which I don't think I have in here. No. Uh, what's an anchor upgrade? Diamond dust, alloy, and glass. Okay. Anchor upgrade. Teleporter. Um, where are my... I guess if we want what I can do... Is this in a loaded chunk? It is. I'm gonna put it underneath here. Oh, you need to be... clogged up. Gonna look a little weird if you're not. Get me out of here. Whoa. How does he do it? Now, have I figured exactly how to get out? No. No, I don't have my teleporter on me, so... No, I haven't really figured that part out. Actually, yes, I have. I do literally have a teleporter on me. No, I haven't. Uh, so you do okay. Actual, it's fine. Anchor upgrade. Go there, good. Elegance. So hey, you chunk loaded now? Keep some machines chunk loaded. Then that's good, so... Okay. So now both this... Both these two chunks... Are loaded. What exactly that means? Probably still not gonna have this activated when I'm not in the base. Just out of fear. But it's a possibility that it could work regardless, so... Will probably wind up happening once I get over this, like, fear session that I'm having where I'm totally afraid of this thing blowing up again. Is we'll have this active while we're running a CRP mine. That way we can have TNT pulling in mana to refill this while the Terror Shatterer is active, potentially in a mine room. So even though we already have this as a buffer, this way we can generate more mana while we're in the room. So we'd have even more of a buffer. But either way, we're basically good. Okay. We're back to things being as they were. <laughs> Let's put some stuff away and uh, pretend that none of this happened. Oh, a glowstone lamp. Where did this go? Where did I have a glowstone lamp before? I'm going to put it right here. That looks nice. I don't need the blaze powder. I need everything else, though. Thank you, Hellfire, immensely. Nice being good. Let's match the stream just started. Alright, what's up guys? How we all doing? Welcome to the stream. 
Uh, this is a little awkward because I know that I just started streaming 11 minutes ago. Let me check uptime. Yeah, I just started streaming about 11 minutes ago, but, uh, I think it's time for lunch, so I'm gonna order food. Lamb is in the leaves of the tree. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, I think by the way that I put. Hold on. Huh. <laughs> Yoink. Thank you, Hagi, for the 20. And the rebar concrete tile. Thank you. Okay. So. Anyway, things should hopefully be good now in there. <sighs> yeah, I'm about right in. <laughs> no. Uh, it's cool. It's fine. By the way, I renamed this to uh, Speedy Sammy because we're not running Basic Barry anymore just with the way that vaults are. Um, having a Basic Set isn't really... There's no reason to have it. So, whenever we can, I'd like to get a speedrun focus set, uh, set up in here at some points. We already have the, uh, speed to Wendar idle for running. We just need gear that can go along with it. A little early stream. Mm-hmm. That's the one. Let's put our CDR gear back on. Got everything good. I do believe so. Watch your contest is HD. I'm just gonna switch accounts. There was a was there a reason you stopped uploading on YouTube? Uh, I just don't have anything to upload right now. And in regards to um, Vol hunters, I don't have time to edit all together while I'm doing stuff. I appreciate you though. Want to blow up once it gets to SS tier? I don't have nearly enough TNT for that. There's no cause for alarm. So I think in regards to the Terror Shatterer, there's not really a reason for me to have this in my inventory, just in case the worst was to happen, uh, outside of a dedicated CRP run, or some kind of, like, um, PC, CR, any kind of those runs. Just because it's a little bit too valuable in the event that I die, I don't want to have to regain all that mana and all that time. Um... I think what we should be doing, though, is bringing in all of the uh, Rush 1 Paxels that I can make. Because with the whole um, new, like, haste thing, if we do wind up going across a uh, mine room, we should definitely have uh, Rush Paxels to be able to work off of. So it leaves me wondering... <sighs> a little scary, but... Am I taking you in my backpack with me? Do I take this in my backpack so that if I go into a vault, I can crunch through a mine room with no time whatsoever? Or am I not fussed about non-dedicated mine room runs? Because the best of the mine room would be... It would be copious. Or it would be uh, plentiful at most, because the update hasn't come out yet. That'll be coming out in a couple days. I don't think so. I'm not be able to bring all these in anyway right now. Need some breaking if you do? Oh, I didn't even... Oh, yeah, 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 I forgot. Good shot.
I really don't have any more silk touch books. Huh. That's okay. That's not the biggest deal in the world. I don't have any experience levels on me. Well, I'm gonna need to fix that, aren't I? That's five new ones. That'll be fine enough for right now. Uh, you can despawn. 29 durability. I spit on you. Get some XP in my bank. Shouldn't need more than a K. Getting low on XP. I love seeing that. You ever talk with the HCM group? Yeah, fair bit. We're all still friends, doing our own thing. Yeah, PSG, they were much of 100 bits. I just still streaming so far, thanks for not rage quitting. I was a little afraid. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna quit. Uh, I was only an hour in, I did. I wasn't gonna quit. I appreciate the uh, 100 bits though, thank you so much. By the way, Carter, they were much of the two months. I think I missed that uh, about an hour ago, but I do appreciate you very, very much. Okay, so the axe is doing well in durability. I guess we're going in for same reasons as before. All right, uh, Echo Killer. We'll see you on the other side. So, little update with uh, where we're at on vaults. We're still prioritizing uh, Vault God favor. The goal is Valera minus ten, Tenos minus three, and Adona minus three, with Wendar being sixteen. So we basically have to get five uh, favors in Tenos while having it hopefully only tack down Valera or if it has to, Wendar. I don't want to do a Dona. So I hope to God that in doing this and getting Tenos up, Adona does not get mad at me whatsoever. Um, because I don't like Tenos being in the negatives right now. I'm fine that with Adona being in the negative or not being in the negatives. That's cool. I'm good with this, but we're basically just going to run like as many experience alters as I can find. Um, we're not going to run the uh, Wendar alter alters just because it doesn't do anything for me right now. And I'd wind up uh, just losing vault time that I could possibly use to find uh, Tenos alters. Where you at on uh, mana? I have a feeling it's not really going to change visually for a very long time. So, uh, yeah. I think we'll, uh... Why don't we... Can I get my own little item frame for you? I wouldn't be against that. I wouldn't be against an item frame for you. Did we get a rollback? Hellfire, help me out with, um... Uh, oh, I need to put a Silk Touch and a 55 and all that kind of stuff on there. Hellfire helped me out with getting some items back that I lost and kind of helped me rebuild. So, in a sense, yes, but it wasn't like a server rollback. I'll need to fix the underground of here at some point. I know it looks a little scuffed, but that's perfectly fine for me. Don't really understand this mod pack, but seeing you bring nostalgia, so I'll stay. What's up, Mikam? Uh, basically the mod pack is you run vaults to try and obtain artifacts that are mostly gotten from defeating bosses. And pretty much anything that I do outside of the vault in regards to mods are meant to help me run vaults more efficiently and effectively. Loot better, kill bosses quicker, that kind of thing. And a lot of stuff that I do in vaults in regards to loot helps me outside of here and back and forth, back and forth. But basically I'm running vaults to try and get 25 artifacts. That's the main premise of the SMP. Do. Yeah. Once you watch a vault or two, should be pretty easy to get engaged for stuff. What's Hater Shatter be used a lot or strictly mine rooms? Probably just for mine rooms because it's not really needed for anything else. Like a dig site is one of the other things that, um, dig site is for automatic, automatic assemblers for dig site because it just works fine on that. Um, and the Terror Shatter doesn't work on sand, it only works on like. Stone, pickackable blocks. 
And then uh, Paxel is probably the better play in like a crystal room because the glass would break faster with a Paxel than not. So, you know, PC, they were mostly get the sub. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. Let's run it down. Oh, almost forgot. Jack off the air real quick. Ear. Speedy fast raffle. All right. Eh. I appreciate that the game knows that I went through uh, a very hard time. I'm very grateful. Oh my god. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a good day. Dude, imagine last speedrun opportunity of your life. Literally like can't speedrun anymore. This is the last shot that you possibly have. Dig site first room, never speedrun again. Yeah, so like the Atomitus Assembler is still the best item for this room because even though the Terror Shredder would be a little bit neater, I don't really need neatness. I just need like super fast locating chests ability, you know? It's like I don't gotta take out every single block in here like I do in a mine room. A mine room, every single block is 100% the better play. Plus, it also doesn't work on sand, so. I mean, I couldn't even if I wanted to, but yeah. It feels nice that. Having unlock mechanism, we already have basically the best tool for this room. Yeah, that was a little rude. I will not do that again, please. Also, no Volcod favors in this vault. A little sad, not gonna lie. Would you say that you're at the end game builds now? No. Mainly because I have no idea what Endgame is. Iskal does. The dev team does. Like, they have their idea of what Endgame is. I don't. And, like, even though I've got some modded stuff on me... I don't think that's strictly Endgame, you know? I think there might come a point where, like, you can't really loot rooms more effect effectively than I already am. So I guess in that regard, like, I don't know, maybe the Atomic Disassembler really is the best tool in the entire mod pack for this room. So in that regard, this would be, you know, late game, but... Please die. <laughs> Thank you. I really need to buff up my Eternals. Having a CDR set with Eternals is just a cheat code. It's literally so good. And I'm not taking advantage of something that is so nice to be able to use. Bump my Eternals, get them leveled, give them some good gear. Just throw them down here and I want to, don't even have to worry about killing mobs. That's something that I could be a lot more optimized in. I was just wondering about your Eternals. Yeah, I just haven't done it. Purely out of laziness. Like, they would 100% benefit me. I'm gonna need you to disappear, even though you're only spawning mobs up there. Cage dust. Very nice. Are uh, we done? Pretty small mine room, or we just chunked it out pretty fast. That was the last little bit right here. Oh, that'd be it. Alright. Well, clean start to the vault. Uh, we're going west. Let's get back on our objectives and, uh, okay, never mind. I've got like seven objectives around me right now. 
Uh, is there one door also? Okay. Three objectives here as well, too. Two one doors. Oh man, if I was going for one door, it would be just a fantastic day. Oh, I missed the one here. Alright, falser, not a prio. It feels wrong ignoring them now. I know. This is the only time where I will be. Once I get my vault favors, like, in a line and good to go, I'm chunking out every one that I see. Oh my god, he's calculated it! Actual calculated travel. I thought I didn't loot, or I thought I didn't empty my stuff. It was purely just for the- oh wait, hold on, wrong, uh, I see. Yep, okay, cool. Um... No epics are omegas, but I'll take that if I don't have to deal with any mob spawning. That was quite nice. I don't think any of those chests were trapped, actually. That's pretty cool. Um, can I get that back, please? Thank you. Oh, it's objected down here. I realized after watching my VOD back yesterday that you guys can hear the fan <laughs> from the, uh, uh, the blow up snowman when I, like, click hard. I want you to know it's much worse for me. <laughs> the snowman looks great, but it's definitely, like, a pretty apparent white noise that I just have to drown out. Kind of wish I had noise canceling headphones right about now, but unfortunately I do not. Isn't that polar bear? I call it a snowman because I'm stupid. Don't like Karen, I call it that though. Like, oh great man, this thing I bought you and you don't even know what it is. I'm glad you like it so much. She wouldn't do that, but. Hey, Tenos, if you want to come out and uh, share yourself at some point, that'd be kind of cool, dude. You don't have to, though. My god, raffle vaults are so much smaller than the ones I normally run. I am not used to that. Objective down there, objective down here. So we're going... Northwest. Little NW. Do I put a P in there? Pacific Northwest? Little PNW? Oh my god, there's so many windows! A polar bear is a breed of snowman? <sighs> it slashed to me, dude, but that's pretty... This dude's gonna leave so quickly. Let's go! Nothing but blue! He pulled the bath seal! No way! I have so many build of all seals. It's a shame build of all are tainted to me now. I'll never remember what it's like to run a build of vault without the memories of what happened in the last one. What a shame, dude. Every time chat chat votes for like a plus five second vote lot time, I'm just gonna cry a little bit inside. Right, so we're going which way? Going southeast. Didn't you die? That would be what I'm referring to, yes. Let's see. 
You're joking. You're joking. I can't believe my eyes. You're joking. You're joking. This can't be the right guy. He's old. He's ancient. Alright, I got my rifle echo. I'm out. Wait. Thank you. Go over this way. Okay. Got my rifle echo. That is my departs. Uh, core check. 39. Oh my, wait. I'm in the first vault. Well, one of it, at least. Hey, look at my cords. I'm a newborn. A board again vault runner. Make a religion out of that, dude. Yeah, that's right. Never much of the eight months. Thank you, thank you. Mend me mom's car. Right, so we're going northwest? Northwest. TNT blasted you back to the beginning. Just like the death that happened in the build of vault that reset my luck. The TNT explosion in my base reset my vaults. <laughs> Little lackluster in comparison, but... The relation is there. Build a fall, reset your player level. <laughs> that's an ob. That's an ob. Okay. You know, am I supposed to be finding like Thanos altars or some shit? Man, Valera and Wendar are griefing my vault. Uh, 4330, 4300. 4300, 4300. Easy. Oh my god, Valera! Ouch. 4300, no, I understand. I thought it was the double. I thought it was the double. Uh, the water, especially in the low, the low, uh, brightness, the moody lighting. Is it good to establish your first death at some point? Should I be going there? Is there anything this way? I think it was that way. I have no idea. Oh! Oh, well, this is a dead end, so that makes sense. Do you think you can turn the brightness up to like 25 instead of moody just so we can see a bit? Uh, potentially, actually, yeah. I guess I got stuck on the fact that it, like, moody light is probably the most helpful, but let's see. Video settings, 25. I think I'm good with that. I think this is okay. Much better. Yeah, it should be fine for me. This is better for you guys. Because obviously, like, the whole reason I run game in the first place is so that the content is easier to watch. Like, it's just more pleasant. That's the only downside about having moody lighting on is, like, what well, kind of makes the vault experience suffer. And I still believe even with this level of lighting that it does suffer a bit, but 
I mean, I'd rather be able to, like, loot falls more efficient, uh, effectively. Then we'll just gamma on. I could probably check at the 50% and see whether or not I'm still cool with it. Let's see. This seems fine, too. This seems fine. It's so cool you found a long run series that you can grind out and the community loves it. I'm super fucking happy and grateful for Fall Hunters. In comparison to, like, speedrunning, I know that it's, like, there's a different thing when it comes to, like, exposure and channel growth in that, like, an SMP like this that's a little bit niche uh, isn't as good for channel growth, but I think in terms of retention, this has been phenomenal. Also, uh, 4250, 3850, just in the fact that, like, I've been injured for a while with my finger, and even though vaults sometimes, you know, run my finger down a little bit, uh, my RSI, it's great to at least have something where I don't have to put in any strain on my finger. Like, if worse came to worse in this series, where I was, like, really not doing well with my injury... I could just have, like, an entire week of doing nothing but grinding out crystals where I don't really need to run many vaults. And that would probably not be as entertaining, but not be that bad. Like, just mod work and vault hunt- or, uh... Mod work and crystal grinding and stuff. That's really, really nice. I- I really and truly hope that Season 3 happens because I- I don't want this kind of content to go away from me right now. I've got some ideas of some stuff to do outside of All Hunters when this series ends. Um, because I definitely think that, um, 40, 50, 37, 20. Y'all would be so kind. I definitely think that, uh, when this is over, I can't just go straight back to speedrunning. Like, I don't think I can do that. Just with the amount of time required and stuff and my health at the moment, so... Will you play Season 1 after Season 2? No. Wouldn't really be a point in playing an unoptimized version alone. It seems a bit odd. Sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 treasure rooms in one room. Cool! Cool! Cool. Where the hell did Tenos go, dude? I actually haven't found a single Tenos altar this entire run. Oh my god, where are you at, man? I've looped! That's it, I'm done? I should have hit the one doors. That's it for me, man. Might as well crank a couple one door altars and just go next. It's an altar diff. After VH is that it's going to get a whitelist for the Hermitcraft server, easy. You know, people keep talking to me about, like, Hermitcraft or whatever, assuming that I have any power to be able to get myself in there, but I wouldn't know the first thing about, like, how to manage myself on there, dude. The amount of, like, Minecraft knowledge and expertise that Hermitcrafters have is just out of this fucking world in comparison to anything I've ever done, or any of the patients that I have, to be honest. Like, the mass builds and just the general game knowledge and, uh, especially, like, the core collaboration that all of the members have on there is just... I, I wouldn't know what to do with it, man. I don't think I'd enjoy Hermitcraft. 
I don't know. Because, like, I really have never been on a long-standing SMP that's been nothing but vanilla-based before. Because, like, obviously I've been a part of, like, some survival SMPs, but the main ones have either been... They've either been modded, or they've had some kind of, like, uh, daily time restraint where people couldn't really do, like, crazy shit, you know? I think I'm just going to go ahead and set myself out of this vault. What's up, Echo? Farewell to you today. Goodbye now. Not a single tunnel salter in all of us, but we did get a dig site first room, so like really worse the complaint. Tano said, hey, I gave you my luck on the dig site. Otherwise, I'm done, dude. Was HDM1 not pure vanilla based? It was. It was, but I didn't spend nearly as much time on there, and I didn't grind nearly as much as I would, like, nowadays, you know? Like, it was vanilla based, but it wasn't, like... It was active. It was active for a while, I think. I just think, like, not a lot of people had, like, a ton of game hours in HDM Season 1. So it's basically just, here's a spawn, here's everybody's bases, and maybe just, like, here's a couple of extra things. Like, here's a nether travel thing. Um, Here's a couple of events that people put together. But it wasn't as large scale. I How long? It was good. How long did uh, HDM Season 1 last? I don't remember. I think how do Minecrafts are generally around like four months at most. Hermitcraft can go on for like a year, right? Like the balance of VH is a ton you can do on your own, but you can also collab if you want. Yeah, it's the perfect like antisocial, but also like branching out of comfort zone mod packet and SMP I've ever played. Artifacts. No artifact. Got some goodies though. I don't care with the black ice. I've seen through ends, you could world download, but at least for me, people being there stops me from becoming a lonely. Once a series ends, you don't try and force it to stay. It, it'll crash down very hard. I've seen this in so many cases from my own experience, from other people that I've collabed with, and they've like tried doing the same thing. Once an SMP is over, an SMP is over. 29 cattle fragments, yeah, baby. Two cages as well. It's very nice. Scrappy armor. Kind of cringe, dude. I've been long outdated on the scrappy armor. I would like an explanation. So much gray. So little time. Does boots seem now. We can pull the armor. Pull the armor. Pull the res. Uh, no thank you. Pull the armor, and probably pull the CDR. Plus last four, Rampage Tank and Mega Jump. Some Void Orbs, and I think that would be about it. Some new shoes. Well, if you don't mind me. Okay, Bev Seal can go 
down here. Vin Meyer Max grinding is so much more pleasant. Oh yeah. 100% agree with you on that one. Becoming a hermit means your Twitch chat becomes inundated with small children? Brother, do you know who invented the pre-MCC daycare streams? You won't talk to me about knowing my audience. I'm well aware. Okay, uh, right. Catalyst time, and then I think, uh, I think it's a Chinese kind of day. I'm feeling a little Chinese takeout today. MCC SMP was something that was talked about, like, a year ago or even longer. I'm not sure exactly what would take, like, people to want to do that. Especially considering that, like, everybody in MCC is kind of already a part of their... Not everybody, but, like, most people in MCC are a part of their own thing. That's really nice. 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 Oh, my God. No way he just does that. Who is this guy? Maybe fun for you and some newer mod covers to do some old mod packs. Mayhem, I'm not really, like, close with, like, that, um, end of the MC community. Like, I know we know of each other, but I've never really, like, collabed with any of them. Uh, plus, I don't know if, like, I could replay that kind of stuff. Because I know, like, Crazy Craft 3.0 was really fun, but there's only so many times, even in a collab, that you can kill the queen. It's, uh... It gets a little exhausting after a bit. Got anything on this? That looks like something, but it's not. No. By the way, I kind of read it how this looks a little bit. Made this a little bit cleaner, got rid of the glass, just... That well, looks a little bit nicer in my opinion. This is the first mod pack popped up? Oh, I get, what you're, I get what you're talking about, though. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. That's a really clean one. We need personal space on it. But I don't know if I want to spend that crystal on it quite yet. Finish something off for me, please. Horde fatiguing, gilded daycare. Maybe? <sighs> Why is this becoming a thing? Why? Why is this becoming a thing? This happens every day now since Jordan did it. It's already trapped. Like, I might as fucking well, dude. <sighs> the problem is inert, though. The pro- so- Well, no, actually, never mind. The problem's not- No, it's- it's okay. As long as we don't put locked on it, we'll be fine. Because in a CRP, I don't need to run cooldown. I think inert is manageable. Because really, like, what am I using cooldown for in a non-locked vault? Dash? That's probably it. I know what CDR is. Cooldown reduction. I think that's okay. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna- yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. 
Unless this gives me something else that I can pop down on there. Oh, yeah, no, let me do that real fast. It's wild how that happens now. <laughs> it's just a common thing, dude. Optimistic and vulnerable. You know what's kind of crazy? Oh, no, it's a random objective. Never mind. I was going to say, like, I'm not really too fussed about, um... Locked vaults anymore, but it can't be a random objective. I remember now. Alright, so we're leaving you. Let's see if uh, any of these do anything with any of these ones. These are all uh, the CRPs. Silent but frenzy, wow. Would not type that optimistic. It's only two and a half minutes. Optimistic Unlucky on the Copious Frenzy Phoenix. That's a little scary. I still am terrified to run that vault. My other Horde challenge in Copious. Or Horde Copious. Estimation mark online. Destiny, what are you looking for? With that, uh, command. We don't need silence, so it doesn't... It's not necessary. No. Oh, 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 um. It's already CRP. Like, it's already finished, dude. Yeah, that's something that happens. Ugh. The only thing I need on here is optimistic, and the only optimistic is showing is optimistic with fast. It's a co-op, though. What, you want me to just throw treasure on there so I can have somebody else run around and do nothing but get... <laughs> hey, bud. Um, you go around and loot chests. I'll get mine rooms and ores. Two look for ores and two go with chests. I hate that that's not that bad of an idea, to be honest. I ran something like that before. I've ran something like that before. The only reason why I'm hesitating on doing that is because I'm offered a copious on this crystal. And I'm leaning more toward the copious inert on here than I am on the treasure on this. Uh, yeah, I think it's, uh, I think it's this. I think it's this. I don't think it's this. If we want content, we'll get, like, Horde or something, but I don't think it's that one. Yeah, Cobus is better. Yep. Agreed. Agreed. <sighs> so, like. Now, I'm normally not one to use a blank positive that early into a crystal. But I mean... That don't look too bad, to be honest with you. That don't look very bad at all. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good one. 
So we need a uh, rich, plentiful, extended, and personal space. <laughs> clean? Nothing's clean about a horde trapped CRP vault. Nothing's clean about this crystal. That's hard cope. What do we have up here? Personal space and poisonous is pretty nice. I wouldn't add plentiful yet, I don't think. What are all these? Yeah, silent with a curse. I would not add a curse on right now. Extended with tired. Tired's a killer. We don't want that. Uh, probably personal space poisonous. You know, maybe it's a pitch to get, to just put plentiful on. We'll see. I'm gonna go personal space, I think. Yep. That was a weird sound on that one. Okay, that's gonna happen. That's just, it's gonna happen, you know? Like, you just, you have to be okay with it. I just hate the fact that it's Horde and they're super lucky. It's Horde with super lucky. It's Horde with super lucky. Just plentiful. None of these are good enough. Plentiful Raging? No. Plentiful Fragile. Plentiful Fragile again. Extended with difficult. Furious Locked and Crowded Difficult. Difficult and Freezing. I feel like I'm okay putting on the Difficult and Freezing with the Extended. Because Freezing is not a very common Hex modifier. So the reason why... Double negatives are scary to put on earlier on into a crystal is because you remove two potential good negative rolls. But freezing is something that will probably not come up at any point. Um, then again, actually, is freezing pretty, like, shitty for uh, CRP? Maybe it is. I don't actually think I feel good about freezing right now. No, I don't think I do. Maybe just put that treasure static in a different place so people don't yell about it every time you make catalysts. What are you talking about? I need chat interaction. Uh, extended hard and weakened is an option. Weakened doesn't really do much for me. I don't think. Good one. Hmm. What's the other one? Is Plentiful Fragile as an option? I might add Plentiful Fragile. Yep, I'm adding Plentiful Fragile, I think, to this. 100% durability damage? Eh. Extended or rich? That's all we're looking for. Fatiguing and hunger, not adding hunger. And I'm positive for difficult, sure. I can do that. Just need rich.
It's been such a long day. It's been such a long day. Ugh. It's a horde crystal, you know? Like, it's a horde crystal. I need my food. I need food. I need my food. Don't worry, my food. Fast, my lord? Yeah, it's fast. Can't put it on if it's fast, you know? It's just not worth it. Uh, you are... You are looking quite nice. Not ready to go just yet, but you are looking quite good. So we got two normals and two... Two sealed. Uh, we need to farm some crystals up soon, but I think in the meantime, we'll just, uh... Set this one on a quick kill a boss and uh, call it that. Try getting some Volkad favorite. You know, honestly, I'm kind of down for a bath. I'm kind of down for a bath. Would y'all be down for a bath? Oh, you were saying add the exploration to the co op? I guess it is an exploration co-op, huh? Maybe. Peace recovered! I didn't say that. I did not say that. Okay, um... We're still bringing in all of our things in case we have a uh, 10 assaults that we want to do in there. Yeah, okay. So, what do you offer in terms of, uh... Useful stuff? Personal space, difficult hunger, no. Silent, poisonous, tired, nah. Uh, we need to move you out now, right? Silent, super unlucky, no shot. No. Okay. So you go over here now. Guess we're running a rando. <laughs> If we do Bav, can I vote on my Xbox? This is not on mobile. Dude, what kind of latency does the Xbox have? <laughs> how how long does it take to, to hear something from an Xbox? If you're looking to build a favor, wouldn't an Ancient Vault be good? I don't really like Ancient Vaults for favor games, I don't think. Maybe I was just running only Wendars. But like, I feel like on a standard vault, I nav better. I also watch you often on Xbox, you got no latency. That's crazy. Alright, we good on everything? I think we're good on everything. Wait two days, got plenty of you in. These are all set for pickup. Alright. Let's, uh... Do I need CDR inside of a... No, I don't actually. Wait a minute. I don't need CDR inside of a build a vault. Let's do a little armor swap real fast. Don't go into the vault with the armor on. Don't go into the vault with the armor on. Don't go into the vault with the armor on. Don't go into the vault with the armor on. What the fuck? What? No. What? Hello? Don't stop. Um. Go there for a moment. I don't want to be running you as a standard. Do I have another one in here that I could run this hollow? Am I lacking just like a standard Wendar altar to bring? Or idol to bring? We get some hunger immunity. I don't really want to just run that one on its own though. Like I have the CDR one, right? I've been running this one. This is basically, I don't know. Like, I want this inside my backpack. What am 
have my, uh, do I have one here? Yeah, I've got you. I do have you to run. But I was wondering if I wanted to reforge this. Because I think this is, this is an epic plus. I just don't know what I'd be going for. What, outside of a potion effect. Outside of a potion effect, what would, because we don't really need, well, no, maybe I would still want, no, potion effects are going toward potential luck twos. I'm not using them on Wendars. Outside of a potion effect, what would be the best thing for a Wendar idol to have as a pre-roll? It doesn't matter how much latency you have on Xbox, do you know how long it takes to type? <laughs> Boom. Boom. <laughs> hey. 7% <laughs> res isn't bad. Do you think we just chunk some, uh... Well, here, if we're going to be bringing this in as just like a standard one, let's go ahead and ruin my day first. Because I need it hollowed, right? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It had so much to live for. That's why you don't. We'll tax it first. Some Wendar. What do you got for me? Rare with hunger and poison immunity. That's quite nice, to be honest. Poison immunity is really valuable now that poison immunity can only be found on, uh... Uh, that's a pretty good one, too. Now that poison immunity can only be found on helmets. Mind of Seek immunity, weather immunity, 6 health, 9 parry. This is a common one. For Mind of Seek immunity, that's not a bad one to hollow. One with 4 HP is pretty ass. That's a rare with 7 res and 5 levels. These are better already. Hunger and poison immunity, or cooldown and health immunity? Probably this one. Probably you, so far. Because I don't think I have... That's an Omega Tier 1. Epic Tier 2, 1000 durability and poison immunity. Ooh. Ooh. The 1000 durability kind of speaks to me a little bit more, even though it's only got 4 levels. Maybe this one? Which one do we want to use first? Hey, now. Watch your mouth, dude. Let's do a little bit of uh, woo taxation real quick here while I cry about the fact that I have like zero woo to die left. I'm simply balancing my luck. Okay. Run me up. Holy shit. Well, that's pretty good. Um. Well. So this was my CDR. I think I'll be moving to this from now on. You can be my CDR idol. Okay? I'll keep you. That works. I'm pretty sure that's a 100% CDR on my set, by the way. Or No, it's not yet. It's close, though. <laughs> that right there is a step in the direction of 100% CDR. Actually, I don't even know if you'd be able to get 100% CDR um, on a set because isn't the max... No, the max is like 12% CDR, right? Yeah, then you can get 24% CDR per armor piece. That's funny. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that was wild. Is there a CDR cap? Yeah, the cap is 80. I was just talking about, like, uh, outside of a cap, what the... Um... Oh, shit, I understand. Outside of a cap, what the, uh, like, highest value you can get on, like, armor and an idol combined. That'll definitely run it, though. So, Rusty, HTM is a series called How to Minecraft. It's something that spanned from, uh, 2014 to 2020. Uh, it was a SMP that was mostly modded based off of, like, some plugins sometimes. That went for six, uh, six seasons between a bunch of creators that I was a part of since season one. 
uh, probably the biggest thing that I've ever done in terms of uh, like consistent SMP content. At this point, you don't need CDR on some of your armor on your CDR set. I know. <laughs> 2014? Yep, October 10th, 2014, I believe, was uh, my introduction to Season 1. I'm so old. Oh, um, we're not old. It's just the way the internet moves. The internet moves so damn fast, dude. Alright, well, after all this delaying, let's see what uh, the Vault has got in store for me. Man! Whatever, dude. Uh, I'm gonna... Do we want to run a little Gamba? We want to Gamba on a fast, so we'll have 27 minutes in here, barring any, uh... Involvement from the gods. What are we thinking? 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 Why don't we go back to the old classic? I'm gonna run this down a uh, two minute vote. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and uh, get some food, pour it up real fast. So I will be right back. See my chat is currently in hello mode. 100,000 from Adonis and 27k from Smiling Reaper. That is a flat 50-50. Ratio to appealing. It's a 50-50. We mean ratio. What's up, Llama? Alright. Leaf room. Let's reestablish. Good morning, streamer. Good morning, person who is always here. Every single time, but I will say hello to you every single time regardless, so. Hello. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What's this playlist? Lo-fi hip-hop beats to study and annoy Tenos too? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> ah. 
how did you know? I suddenly don't want to dig site anymore. Obviously, I won't complain if I get one, but with minus four luck, you know, it only stings a lot. Oh, yeah, you looking with your head down there, bud. Extra Rose Plus Plus. It's not a bad random. Ouch. That's a little bit of time lost. Cool, dude. Does my score of luck impact the uh, amount of chests that are here? Or the amount of trap chests? Or what's the deal? How's the uh, vote log doing already? I guess it's too early to tell. The thankful thing is at least that we went into this random, so we can still get, uh, catalyst fragments. Because thankfully that doesn't have anything to do with, uh, luck. So that's quite nice. Step in the right direction, I suppose. Ooh. Hidden behind there, are we? Ashy M. Crowded on a random. Fine by me. <laughs> I want to say stellar job already looping around. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're in a two vote locker room now. Are we in a two-vote locker room? Oh, maybe we're not. No, we're one off from it being a two-vote locker room. My bad. Very close. I'll give it that. Opted for the minus time instead of the plus time. Losing the random. Considering this is a two vote locker, I'm actually surprised that the random didn't get chosen. But hey, whatever, I'm not the one building it. Good one. You guys surely never lost your touch. Best build of all chat room of all of all hunters. Is it weird that I think it would be cool to be in a coma, Mr. Streamer? No? I feel like a lot of people would probably want to know what, like, prolonged sleep like that feels like. Myself included. I guess it depends on how much time you would want, though. Because, like, obviously you never want to be in one, but... Can't lie that the curiosity might strike you over here and there, you know? Like, what the fuck does it feel like? I've heard some people can, like... They kind of have, like, an awareness of what is happening in real life around them. Like, while they're still in deep sleep. Like, how? Like, what... Did, what is that like to experience?
Brought me in your room! No way! I understand the reason y'all voted the directions you did! There's the Daily Echo. This feels like a plentiful run. Probably just because, like, we're getting a ton of ores, but, like, I haven't even found anything good inside of the ore clusters that we voted for. Also, apparently, Iskal was talking to, uh, Jordan, and the Catalyst Plus Plus room had, like, a silent buff done to it a while ago. Like, a few patches ago. I think, like... It used to give, like, five catalysts, but it now can give, like, seven to eight. I still don't think it's worth, like, a full uh, hour time difference, but it's interesting to think about, I guess. The CRP? No. It's a fast random bev. Going east from there, so south and east. It's pretty good. <laughs> what a chest! Oh my lord. Do we have an objective underneath here? We don't. Good one, good one. All it takes is one block of vault diamonds to make this whole entire trip worth it. Also, are there any gray particles in here considering it's XP++, plus plus, which I really don't feel like makes a massive difference. I don't think I'm seeing any gray particles. To be honest, I wish I knew the difference between XP and XP++ plus plus because they seem almost the exact same. Any vault diamonds? Any vault diamonds? Any vault diamonds? Not seeing any vault diamonds. No vault diamonds, I don't believe. Damn. A lot of extra ores. Kind of making me wish this was a CRP run. Might not have hit a mine room or much, but we've hit a crystal room and every extra ores under the sun. Unfortunately, no Tenno Salters. Quite sad. I didn't really come in here expecting too many, considering, you know, you don't travel to nearly as many rooms as you do in a regular vault, but would have been nice to at least get one or two done. Maybe get super lucky and get a favor change. I don't like that you can mine those chests now, but to each their own. Any reason in particular that you don't like it? Vote time. Someone give me something good. 
Yeah, baby! Taking away that plus 30 seconds we got earlier right quick. I am all for it. Remember in real fast where build have also been with me lately. Found a cake. Hey! Let me eat the cake! Not really much else to do in here. Maybe go down here for a little bit. So bye, sir. Good to see you. Good to see you. West cried a plus plus. Well, thank you. Thank you, random. Also, I'm getting hit like mad this vault. Dinakota build a vault yesterday. Dude, again, super far, but I have enough time to complete it. Ah. Yeah, it's tough. It's been a while since I've had to, like, evac out of a Build-A-Vault. This one, I think we low-rolled on the amount of votes that we needed to complete it, because we should be fine with just, like, four more rooms. Also considering the fact that this is a fast modifier, so... Even with the lackluster voting, we would normally be at around, like, 17 minutes. But what's the shot the believers get it on this pull? Hmm. I feel like the uh, opportunity for that dig site's kind of fleeting. Not much to really go off of. Why do my fish sticks need 25 minutes to cook? That's what I'm saying, man. Why do I gotta pull those suckers out halfway through? Take way too damn long for that tiny little thing. Oh. Minus four log. If it's more than one Omega. <sighs> okay, okay. If this was more than one Omega, I was saying no to it. What is that? Four and three? Okay. Four, three, one. I was close to me saying no, but we'll complete it. Plus, I've got the time to do it. Oh, awesome, dude. Oh! Hey, man! How you doing down there? You spelled from a chest, you little cutie. Wow, that was awesome. Again, please. See, see what he did there? See what he did there? He said, I'm here now. What a guy. What a dude. That was sick. Oh, it's a dead end room. That's awesome. Oh, hell yeah, man. Oh, hell yeah! Nah, it's cool. I'll take my time in here. Don't worry about it. Was that a Ravager? That do be a Ravager. Spend some time here trying to get some Omega pieces. Half a year. Thanks for the amazing content. Take your time. You're so upbeat? Hmm. 
I mean, in the face of a rapture would drop me down 15 hearts, how else am I gonna respond? I gotta be thankful it even gave me the time of day. What an honor. Will it despawn, though? You know, the weird thing about Ravagers is that, like, in most instances... Please go away. When I've found them, even in, like, uh, shard farming runs, they've hit me once, I've ran away, and then they've just vanished. And they were only, like, ten blocks away from me. This motherfucker... Did it go away? Is it gone? I don't know if it's gone. Maybe it despawned, too. But they're usually, like, super fast to despawn. Ravager's now getting PTSD from Sense of Time. You know, I never ran into that room. I saw, like, people run it. I haven't ran into that room. I would love to run into that room in an SOT run. Try my hand at it. I feel like that'd be so much fun. So, I need to go vote. Like, it's just something that like, I need to do, you know? It's my duty as a citizen of uh, the vaults, United Vaults of Vault Erica. You gotta vote. But, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off this room first before I do. There's my Omega. Thank you kindly. I'd love to get out of here with more than just equalization, though. Not looking like that's gonna happen, though. All right! We take those. Yes, we do. Did you kill the Ravager? No. Boy, you out of your damn mind. Catalyst to the west. What a fantastic room to get it. Hmm. Uh, life alter. This one, as it usually does. Usually does not hang around for more than a couple moments. Also, barring a... Hmm. Is this gonna be a tough leave? I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I think we'll be alright. Is there three catalysts from this vault? Looks like three. West we go. Where my dig site? Not here. This is not the room you want to be in when you're just looking for the room to give you something good. Not much is good in this room. Aside from usually an altar or two. For each mob's to spawn, which has to have being a Ravager, I believe the number is 1 in 400. I think it was made to be around the same rarity of a goblin when it first debuted, and then after Iskal ran into it, he made it twice as rare. I think it was 1 in 200 before uh, Iskal altered it. No, which lies not the same chance as the goblin is twice as rare now. Yep. 
Y'all are way off your game, dude. There's no shot that you guys took this instead of the minus 30 seconds. I'm sorry for being critical, dude, but after dying in that build of vault like, starting to believe that something might, might be on you. It might have been chat diff this whole time. Tiss tiss, man. Y'all need to get warm. I guess I need to run more baths or something, dude, because, like, I don't know what's happened. I don't even recognize my own place. My own chat. It's like, it's minus vote lock time, Copage. It should be fine, Copage. That's the best vote option, Copage. Thankfully, we are at the end of the line for the vote, so this should be summoning a boss after this room gets voted in. And thankfully, yeah, this is... We basically, like, just hit the line on this one from how uh, unfortunate the time modifications were. This fault suddenly doesn't make the other uh, challenge crystal feel too bad or too unlucky. But damn, we're getting the same treatment on both. Oh my god! <laughs> Yikes, dude. I'm pretty sure the plus two minutes was the better vote there. Would it not have been? Oh, it was an Omega, but it's not. Was that second Ravager? No shot. Was it actually? Wait a minute. Hey, bud, you still here? Where's the boy? Where was the boy? He's gone if he was here, but I'll trust you. Bottom level downstairs. Oh, yeah, he's long gone now then. Ended off good. Let's go! Huge! Now we're going uh, clockwise. Hey, we're still on negative one luck, but they're gilded chests, so what are you going to do? Damn, the loot in this is <laughs> really bad. Oh, not with, man, not with the lower luck, too, dude. Oh, fight amongst yourselves. I'm not the enemy. It's all of you. Literally, like, you guys have to find something to argue about so you can leave me alone. Like, you're all part of a different political party. Discuss. Alright. Nearly didn't get out of this one, but I gotta say, managed to pull it off on a fast. Still a very good reason of why I would not, like, prefer to do random build of vaults even though they are nice. Just getting that extra, like, optimistic and extended guarantees. Usually a lot better. Ouch. You guys kind of hurt a little bit. Oh. You all kind of hurt a little bit. There was a boss meter, huh? Boogie man! What's up, Snot Nose? Snot man! Who else voted random? Oh, I saw them too. I'll be going back in the vault. I'm taking notes. I saw that blue bar load up a little bit before, uh... Before the departure. Hello, friend. Goodbye. It is time to die. Get deaded, dude. Yeah. 
GG chat, thank you for escorting me through the vaults. Thankfully, we got a couple of Omega rooms that made up for the kind of lackluster voting options, let's say. Getting a lot of, like, extra orbs and stuff on rooms that weren't really... I don't know, that wasn't really made for it, but, hey, you know, that worked out in a decent bit, I'd say. All right, uh, yeah, a couple things right here. Do we end with an artifact? 43 Eternal Souls. So, what were Eternal Souls given a use for, then? Eternal Soul is used to make... Oh, the seals, and then the commander flask of regret, and infuse eternal soul, and infuse eternal soul is soul hunter flask. I see. Okay. How many eternal souls do I have? 3,100. Okay. No dig sites. The doubters take it home. GG's. All right. Let's turn you off. Get you loaded in. What was the haul on this? Yeah, you can really, you can really see the minus four luck on that one for sure. I should be getting off with way more than twenty-seven Wu Tai shards after an X Mark gilded and a puzzle room. That's pretty brutal. Uh, that's why we want Tenos uh, favor restored back to not negative. I will say though, like I feel like minus luck is so much more common than any of these three. So I tested yesterday that they get like usually plus luck with Tenos more than anything else. That's kind of wild to me. I wonder if luck is a more common thing to occur with Tenos than uh, Mob Armor might see your player vulnerability. Suppose the person named me needed a recap of the last stream and the stream so far because he doesn't have time to watch the VODs, what would you tell them? Well, Overshot Storm 76, uh, your friend Overshot Storm 76 should probably know that we had a little accident with the Botania area. But overall, we managed to snag ourselves a setup that gifted us a Terror Shatter S rank. And since that point, we have just been running uh, a couple of vaults. Not too much else exciting. We also made this off camera. Hopefully that helps your friend. A little rare plus tier 2? Sure, why not? I'll roll my gear before I... Uh... Get my stuff organized. Why don't you let it gain mana? Um, well, I can have it gain mana now. Now that I'm back home. I'm just a little bit terrified after the events that have unfolded um, to let this thing run without my supervision. But it should be fine. Um,. Inside of a vault. Uh, five health, one with three attack damage. Not really like great. Not good, not good, not good, not good, and not that good. Not very good on the armor stuff. Dude, I miss crafting armor. Uh, I want to get to tier three so badly, dude. I, I really miss like crafting armor with Artisan and actually having something to work toward. Hey, sorry, I'm going industrial foregoing. No, I kind of got caught up with the uh, Botania stuff instead of industrial foregoing. Something that, um... Something I'm thinking about making is that a uh, vanilla, like, cobblestone farm that gives, like, 125,000 cobblestone every hour. But I genuinely don't think that I can get that set up until I have a super massive QIO. Like, I actually think that if we were to chunk load that, right, to be able to get enough cobblestone to convert into other blocks, especially for mana, I need more storage than what I have here. Like, an entire time dilating drive would fill up in like eight hours. That's a bit much, you know? That's a little, tiny little bit. Like, you know, there's between like a time dilating. 
Hey, you know, like 16 billion, you know, 1 million, 16 billion. That'll probably last you at least like a week, you know? Drawers, maybe? Yeah, well, I need a Super Master QIO drive anyway, so I'm kind of using this as an excuse to push me toward that. <laughs> Can you just throw that extra in lava? Why would you assume that I would want to waste any of the precious cobblestone that I'm making? We need the antimatter anyway, because I need the uh, nucleotronic uh, synthesizer thing. I need this. Antiprotonic nuclear synthesizer. Uh, it turns stuff into th stuff. Wool into glowstone, red wool into redstone, tin into iron, coal into diamond, diamond into emerald, and blue wool into lapis. The blue wool into lapis is a pretty good one, to be honest. And then it turns like flint into oxygen, sulfur into sulfuric acid, osmium into liquid osmium, and salt into uh, hydrogen chloride. It's a pretty damn cool thing. So. That's the, uh, the aim. Soon. I wonder if I'm gonna need to get a, um... What's it called? A uh, fusion reactor set up. Or if I can just go straight from a fusion reactor to a, uh... Antimatter. I know fusion's usually, like, what people get their most power from. So I'm assuming that I'll probably need to. It shouldn't cost too much, either. We're getting everything in here. Are you gonna us from that? No. Have you done mod boxes? Not yet. I don't even know if, um... This is the wrong one. I don't even know if, uh... Industrial Foregoing is in mod boxes yet. I saw Jordan inquiring about that. Not sure what they told him or what the, uh... Estimated time of that would wind up being, but... Oh, you know what I want to do? Actually, hold on. Where's an item frame? I want to take the mana mirror... And put it, uh... Probably here. That makes the most sense. It's Linked here, so why would I not? I don't need it on me while it's just generating mana. Um, how much TNT do we have? About 2,900? About 2,800. What's in the sharp shop? Nothing really we want to buy right now. paranoid horror watcher that lives in my soul is just waiting for that fucking bear to turn and face the camera. It's going to happen. I just know it. Still Halloween season, man. Maybe it's my fault. Becca Beck, thank you very much for the four months. Thank you, thank you. Does the mana mirror make you look good? No. Unfortunately, that's the only problem with it. <sighs> Smudge. That's the only thing it can't do. Alright, well, for a little bit, uh, let's grab some crystals, because I have food on the way. So we need string, and we need, uh, nether stuff. So, our new best friend for string... ...is good old Striders. Let's rock a little bit of some Strider, uh, Strider killings. How many of these do we want to put in right now? Let's do four each. Let's 
What's up, friendos? Holy shit. Not only is this good for string, much better than uh, spiders, it's also really good for saddles as well, too. Uh, Ethel, thank you very much for the six months, by the way. I appreciate that. And yep, thank you very much for the 15 months. Grind for a very rare crystal for mystery boxes? Could. Could do that. So let's go out. It's just because, like, I like when I go into the armory that my vision is, uh, low. And the only thing that I'm really able to see is the armor that I'm staring at. We repaired it, Hoagie. Uh, Hellfire helped me out a good bit. With, uh, compensating some of the items that I got back. We're not sure whether or not it was, like... A player diff. Probably was a player diff to be honest, but call it a bailout. Call it call it my one Wendar. <laughs> if I can't get soul if I can't get God shards, call it my this is your one favor that you get from your time god being at 16. A slight little rollback on a mistake. That's what I've earned. Yeah, I might say. I still have them in there. You know, a gamble on will we get one crystal from 2,500 uh, mystery boxes could kind of go hard. I don't even know what I'd vote on that one. I'd probably vote yes, but... If not favors, what else can God Shards really come from? I don't know. Because you would assume that it has to be Altars, right? Because that's the only, like, direct implementation of the Vault Gods being inside of the Vault are the Altars. I mean, we have Vault Idols. But how exactly would idols correlate to obtaining a god shard? Idols already correlate to, like, favor increases from altars, which is why I assume that they wouldn't have anything directly to do with obtaining god shards. Breaking idols? I can't imagine that you get a god shard from breaking an idol. When they were in the loot table, you only got them from altars? Yeah, exactly. They were already in the altar loot table, and then they got adjusted. So that's why I, like, assume that you get them from altars, still. Maybe from treasure rooms? But treasure rooms don't have any vault god influence. There's nothing about treasure rooms that scream vault god stuff, or, like, god shards. So it doesn't really seem appropriate that you'd have to go into a treasure room to get a god shard. What do vault gods have to do with a treasure room? Like a custom boss sidekick? That'd be wild. Have we got confirmation that we can get them? Not exactly. All I know from what Hellfire told me like a month ago is that they're in the game currently. The shards are in the game. And players can obtain them. Just at the time, nobody had the prerequisites. Being that, you know, nobody ran enough altars, nobody had enough favor, whatever it may be. But we don't know. Would it be possible that you have to kill a boss with a specific vault guy to alter in it? What do you mean? Someone had an idea that you could only get uh, Vault God shards from the corresponding altar in a vault that was blessed by that god. So, like, 
if Wendar gives like a positive influence to the vault or a positive modifier when you join into a vault, that only then would you have a chance of getting shards. I like that theory a lot. But that would obviously go on the assumption that you get them from... Uh, why do I don't have a filter for you? Pleasant mode on. Go into... Wait, go into blue. What are the names of the shards again? Are they positive or negative? They're positive. So, if you look up uh, Vault Crystal, and then you look up its crafting components, uh, you can see that there are four things. So, for Wendor specifically, they're called Petrified Temporal Essence, and eight of them around a normal Vault Crystal makes Wendar's Transience. It is a special kind of vault uh, exclusive to the SMP. The other thing could also be that they're stupid rare. I can see that. Um, someone had an idea that the same chance of getting a Vault Crystal, or a God Shard, is the same chance of getting a Favor Increase, which is why the theory happened where you could only get them at 16 maximum, because once the 9% chance of getting a Favor Increase is no longer applicable, that 9% chance carries over into now getting a God Shard from your chest. There's a lot of cool theories. Like a Wendor altar in the boss room that was required to be completed. That'd be wildly specific, though. Could you even get them before the season ends? Well, I mean, that's our goal, right? We went up five favors in one day, so if we were to run, like, 60 Wendor altars in a day, who's to say we couldn't get five God Shards? If that's a thing, though. Was there a dev said no one was ready yet? Well, yeah, but who's to say I'm not ready now? I'm betting on it being a stupid rare slash 9% thing and just you haven't been, you've been unlucky so far. Yeah, we haven't really ran enough Wendar altars since to really get a feel for it. I feel like until we run like 50, 60 altars and don't get any, then we can start thinking about other things. But I probably just need to run more vaults. Does anyone have any yet? After uh, the change was made? No. People have some, but it was from long ago when it was part of like a level 50 loot table. Here, right back. This guy ran one of the vaults, so just a bunch of gilded chests. That's a trove vault, not a vault god vault. Nobody's ran the uh, vault god vaults. So. For lunch today, we have shrimp chow mein phu. An assortment of thin rice noodle, scrambled eggs, shrimp, cabbage, and beetroot. 
and a dish of beef and broccoli with carrots with steamed rice. That is the assortment today. It is a shit ton of food, so I have leftovers for tonight or tomorrow. I used for beetroot. <laughs> Dude, I love beetroots. Am I even thinking of the right thing? Is it beetroot? It is beetroot, right? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Because I felt like maybe it's... Am I getting the name confused? Is it not Beetroot? I don't think it's Beetroot. It's something. I can't remember the name. If it's not red, it's not beetroot. I knew the name of it before. What the hell is it? Does the restaurant have info on it? It should. Bean sprouts. Beetroot. It's bean sprout, man. Stupid. If you have to have plus 16 Vault God favor to get charged, you'll have to get all four Vault Gods at plus 16 to run all four Vault God Vaults. It's going to cost you hefty negative Vault God effects. All right, we need to find, uh, what's his face? Crimson Forest. Where is Crimson? Way over here. Well, not way over here, just a lot of it. Oh, hell yeah. So for these blocks, is it four nether wart or nine nether wart to make one of them? I think it's only four, right? Oh, it's nine? Oh, damn. Because I was thinking about, like, what it would take to get a farm going for, uh... Nether Wart blocks. That's a lot of Nether Wart, then. Ow. Please, sir. Uh, please stop. Who built up with this, and why are they using such precious material? Series ends in 40 days? Uh, yes, it does. T minus 40 days until the end. Or... Negative 32, if you think about it. Damn, 40 days until the end. I'm not ready. I gen- like, I, I'm gonna say it again, I genuinely don't think the server is ready. 
Just because I feel like we're going to have so little time in endgame with tier 3 and all that shit. When we've been in mid game for what feels like four months. Like, actually, how long have I been at level 150? Like, a year. What if we have it all wrong and you get it from having minus 16 favor and the shards are used to build a vault to reset your bad favor? Or what if you get 16 favor on a vault god, you build the crystal, go into the vault, the vault god presents itself to you, you turn its back and kill it, and as a result, the 16 favor goes back down to zero. You know, not a bad thing in theory, because I imagine, like, what if after all the time that it took to get that crystal, after you're done with it, your favor goes back down to zero, right? And everything gets equated. Like, all your favors go to zero. And you gotta re-grind back up again to try and get the crystal. Because, like... I imagine if it is at 16 favor, what if you just did nothing but try and farm the crystals, right? I feel like there would need to be a reset, right? I don't know. And that would make it easier for you to try and get the crystals of other vault gods as well too, you know? I kind of like that idea. I mean... This stuff probably has no relation to what I'm talking about, but if it does, I would love if there was a system like that. What if you unlock a new tab master your skills and skills related to Wendar? Every time you get a god crystal, you unlock something new. I have no I've never thought about like what I would want a god crystal to even pertain to. Like what could it be? Like if you guys had to think about like what Wendar's crystal would be like when you go into it. Like, what would it do? Do I actually not have any more insight? That is a bold faced lie. I know for a damn fact I have insight. Never mind, I really don't. so much they I, they never usually give as much damn how's the food phenomenal very very good All right, time to find uh, more insight. I should have screenshot this. I, did I? Wait a minute. Someone told me the biomes are relating to uh, the blocks underneath here. 
Did I screenshot this message? Because I'm thinking that I should have, and I'm... I don't think I did. Frick. Do you guys know which biome uh, Andesite spawns in? Like, mass? Because I remember it being a specific type of biome. Can't you make Andesite? I think Andesite is only made of, like, diorite. Forest? Granite will spawn in mountain and hill biomes. Diorite will spawn in savannah jungle. Mushroom biomes. Andesite will spawn in forest biomes. And so it's one four spots. Okay, cool. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. And Dursight. Please, please stop. Okay. Granite to andesite, stone to andesite, and a mana pool. Stonework generation. That's yeah, so the only way to get andesite is to uh, craft it with diorite and cobblestone. Or convert it from granite into andesite. So if I'm in a Tega, is that considered a forest then? I think so, yes. Wait a minute. Oh, Tome? Bro, anytime I look at these in the chest, I'm gonna be thinking about Tome. No! Ah, oh, it could have been efficiency. There's so many Tomes to try and get, man. It's so damn rare. Oh my god. Do I have to send that to Discord? No, I'm okay. I'm gonna screenshot it now. So I can it later. Thank you. A way to make andesite from gravel. Is that like... Is that how this mod pack like really functions? Gravel is the... the all. It can just create anything. Well, if you think about it, that'd be cobblestone, right? Because cobblestone can be turned into gravel and therefore cobblestone can really be turned into anything that gravel can be. So we gotta figure out a way to get cobblestone to turn into, uh... <laughs> turn into granite. You can combine... What was it? Diorite and cobblestone to granite, but how do you make diorite? Cobblestone and nether quartz. So in theory, if you just get a shit ton of cobblestone, a shit ton of nether quartz, then you can just make a shit ton of andesite. And my understanding of that is correct. Time for cobble gen? It might be time for antimatter soon. You think you can gate cobblestone behind two Omega Pogs? Wait until you see my vanilla 120,000 cobblestone per hour structure. I love I'm just vein mining the cobblestone right now while I'm looking for an insight. Or why wouldn't you, you know? They're all 100% renewable that way. There you go. Was the TND dispenser going while you left?
Well, let's hope that chunk loader work because I think I might be boned if it doesn't. Everything is okay. Have I got enough advantage light? I don't think I did. Five K. No, no, we're close. Hey, uh, stop that. No more right now. Yeah. Not while I'm away from home. <laughs> it's funny. So I think any of these four should be fine. Just go back down. I should really put the, um, the biome underneath the, uh, minimap. For when I'm down here in the caves. Sub, dude. Sub, dude. What's that, dude? Size diorite and cobblestone. How much diorite do you have? Not enough for me to want to spend the diorite on andesite. I'd rather save the diorite for what I get. Um, actually, wait a minute. Don't I have a diorite uh, mega stash here? No, I've only got 15k. I want to save that. Andesite's easier to find than diorite, so. Hold on to that for right now. Not having to worry about zero, but it looks so nice. Oh, it's incredible. Yeah, if I lost this, like I'd be distraught. I would, I would do anything in my power to get it back before anything else. Like, I'm brute forcing every ore crystal that I have. Like, It's kind of funny because when we were thinking about the uh, the mecha tool, you know, we were looking at this thing and we were like, eh, it's all right, you know. And then the mecha tool got removed and we looked at this from a different perspective and we're like, okay, no, this thing's kind of really good. The wild thing, man. I can't imagine like playing through Vault Hunters with the uh, mecha suit. But that was season one for Jordan. That's just wild to me. What's the new cost on the Thomas Assembler? It's an Omega Pog. You can blame me for that. I pushed for it to be an Omega Pog worth. until I start using the Terror Shatterer and I call for that to be an Omega Pog too. 
I don't know. After playing a series for a while in the new way that, like, uh, players get ores, would you guys say this is worth an Omega Pog? Because it's shitty for me because I don't have the rates that other ball hunters do because I'm an Echo Hunter. But I think for, like, the fact that them running a single CRP and getting a mine room is basically the cost of making an Atomic Dissembler, that seems worth it to me. Especially because this pack is so anti, like, unlimited durability. Kind of missed multiple levels of vaults for season one. I had a lot of optional challenges running vaults. Do you mean, uh, like verticality? Because I heard that vaults in season one used to have like an up and down, like a multiple floors to them. It seems like that would be a lot of fun to play around. But I've not seen anything on that other than like one old map from uh, season one. I've seen anybody actually run any vaults from uh, Season 1. I have no idea how uh, different it is. The song's not bad, but I'm tired of hearing them talk at the beginning of it. Goodbye. Farewell forever. It's hard to navigate. Three layer vaults are annoying. Hmm. What am I in? Oh, I'm in the swamp. Ain't gonna be any any sign in the swamp, brother. I don't know how my bit rate's surviving right now, dude. And just like this is not content. <laughs> I'm sorry for anybody watching this right now, dude. Like I, I. Oh shit! Oh, this is cool. And Cotton Candy looking ass, bro. What are you? It's a bunch of corundrum. A corundum. Oh, super cool. If you go to a different level, you must have gone through that passage. Seems kind of difficult with vaults of one exit. I guess so, yeah. First of her, no gamma, no torches, strip mining. Okay, fair. Fair. I'll, I'll, I'll tag you on that one. Vault Wars were a lot harder to gain masses of in Season 1, as all of them had the same rarity. However, only two different types could spawn in a vault, and it was completely random if you got the one you wanted. Oh. Were Omega Pogs a thing in Season 1? Because I think just, like, what, in Season 1, wasn't it, like, the five standard Vault Hunters and then some devs? Like, dev clusters and stuff or whatever? So there was, like, Wooded Eye clusters and stuff like that that were used?
But the ores were harder to get. Hmm. Ores only spawn in the tunnels, not the actual rooms. Really? Interesting. So that's not really so much like more of a challenge, it's just like more annoying. What's an Omega Pog? It's when the entire chat spams Pog. And I'm like, wow, that was Omega cool. That's a pog moment right there. An omega pog moment, if I do say so myself. Blood shusha. How much do we have? 20k, that's enough for me. You're... <laughs> Dude, if I was a good streamer, I would have, like, got a sound bite of TNT exploding and played it when I got back home. Gotta see your skills page when guys is level 70? Sure. These are my talent, or abilities. Max out on Vein Miner, max out on Rampage. Max out on dash, max out on mega jump, max out on hunter. And these are my talents. Max out on speed, lucky altar, haste for now, water breathing and fire res. Twerker's max, experience is max, well fits max, artist is the highest it can go right now. Uh, soul hunter's maxed, reach has got three, strength's got three, and then for archetypes, I have frenzy. Archetypes are a different kind of, like, plus and minus in terms of benefit. You can only have one of these five at a, active at a time. It was like if you had the ability to craft an Omega Pog, and no matter how good your skill was, you had to hope that Volkout gave you the ore you needed the most, which didn't happen often. Yeah. Volhunter Season 2... Well, sorry. Volhunters, compared to Volhunters Legacy, seems a lot more balanced. That's cool. Fire log is still a thing. The altar still has, uh... It still does that. Cheats to, like, a level 50 and run a few vaults. Yeah, overshot. I did too. I really wish the um the bosses were more difficult. Where are my lucky ulcers, man? The frick, dude. Redstone, ice, and shuriken. Oh boy. I even have ice in here. I don't. I guess I'm mod who played Volage Legacy said the scaling stopped at 144 or something. No! Stay away from me! Stay away from me, items. You're not going to my inventory. You are not allowed. I can't remember. Didn't we find out a better way to do this? It was with a hoe, wasn't it? 
Yeah. Yeah, it was that. I want bosses to be harder, but not just because they hit hard. I want them to be complex. Well, like, that's why I love the, the Soul Blaze. Chad, for those of you who watch Jordan, what exactly does he have set up where he can kill a boss in, like, two seconds? Because I've got Rampage Shaman. Is it, uh, is Thorns stuff as well, too? When the boss hits him with Thorns? Or hits him because he has Thorns? Yes, hacks. I knew it, dude. That's why I got him on my rivals team. Seems like he doesn't even know, honestly. He has a wheel of cheese spec for boss killing? What's a wheel of cheese? It was just for himself that was happening so fast? Interesting. He cuts the cheese and the boss faints. Wow. That's quite an item. I wonder what it costs. Fatal Strike, Thorns, Rampage, Shaman, Dash, Power Up, and Ghost Warrior. Holy shit. So his entire build is just Spector damage. That's pretty wild. I mean, he deserves it, man. Like, I want him to try running Vaults with uh, Cooldown and Objective Hunter. Because, like, he was talking about, like, the speedruns that I've been getting. And I'm like, dude... You can kill the boss so much faster than I can. You can get a sub 45 second time. My only one who finds the term cuts the cheese, not only cringe, but also like unsettling and disturbing. Farting's natural, man. See, the thing is, like, we have a thing in society where we laugh at people who fart. But really, we should give them high fives and say, nice colon, dude. Not only that, but depending on the volume of the fart, you should also tell them, damn, you probably got, like, no hair down there. That's wild. Good on you for hygiene, dude. You probably keep that thing so clean up top. Last two rivals that did scam me, the first one gave me rush and I blitzed it the entire time but didn't find all five eyeballs. And my second one occurred, blow up my boss screen? No shot, dude.
I'm convinced my daughter though the I'm convinced my daughter though the appropriate response to a burp is good burp instead of excuse me. <laughs> well wait. <laughs> you only say excuse me when you're the one who burped. So does your daughter like after burping herself say good burp? Like, she just kind of hypes herself up after one. That's probably gonna turn a couple heads, but, like, she ain't wrong, probably. You can taste a good meal twice. I'm envious. Bottom right, TL Busta. Good one, streamer. You're my favorite YouTuber about seven years ago. What's up, bro? How you doing? Same thing as ever. Seven years ago. It's crazy. These are the longest noodles I've ever tasted, dude. I've tasted some long noodles in my life. BFC is the best friends club. Watch you and the boys every day in middle school, gang. Cool to hear. Hope you're doing well. Is anyone around for you to bug? Unfortunately, only me. What would I bug them with? Go to those shuriken farms and twerk them instead of my own? Be like, ha, I got you, punk. Get shit on, son. Here's the Megan of Swords, right? These frequencies use the same storage disk, or does every frequency got its own disk? So, you put a disk into a disk drive, and a disk drive can only have one specified frequency to it. So basically, um, you can have more than, like, you can have two drive uh, arrays to the same frequency, so you can have, like, tons of storage, even more than one drive. But you can't split a disk across multiple drives. Or multiple frequencies. So every storage disk can only have, like, one frequency worth of contents on it. Not sure about later though, so I really feel you only need one level in Berserker and then Shaman to beat any boss where some levels don't feel needed with all their useful points. Shaman is an interesting one because like the time that it takes to apply the damage really does help in fast killing. But if you were to tell me like it's really not worth it to have like the last couple levels because the difference is so minuscule, then I would agree with you. Because like Rampage Shaman 
goes down from 325 to 300 and from 7 to 8. The cooldown for it is pretty drastic, but that's like the biggest change, right? Duration's very minimal, and that costs 8 points, that difference. Even going from max and getting rid of these three would be a difference of 325 down to 250 over 10. And like, this doesn't even seem that bad in comparison, right? It would take a little bit longer, but that's 20 skill points that you gain back. Which, to be fair, I might need to do when we level to 250, because I need to get Artisan in haste. Actually, I say that, I don't know if I need haste anymore. But I need arson now. I'm cold, but my pillow isn't. Does anybody else flip their pillow around before they sleep every night? When I lay in bed, I gotta get like the the fluffiest, like beefiest side of the pillow. Otherwise, my neck feels, like, awful. Because, like, dude, if I've slept on a pillow for, like, eight hours, and I get back in bed the next night, that's just gonna be flat, dude. I'm not talking about flipping it over like this. I'm talking about flipping it, like, like that. It stays on the same side. You know, like, face down, it stays the same way. I'm just talking about, like, rotating that shit. I put my pillow in the freezer. Ah, yes. Complimentary concussion. My favorite way to fall asleep at night. Can't sleep? Make yourself. I taco my pillows? What, do you fold it in half? What kind of pillows are there? Feather pillows, like Tempur-Pedic pillows, memory foam pillows. What's the alternative to, um, to feather pillows? I watched a video about how most things that have to do with money are related to the sea. Most things that have to do with money are related to the sea. Huh? Oh, foam pillow? One of those investments last year was a memory foam shape pillow. I hear that. I hear that, I hear that, I hear that. A good mattress just like makes your entire day, dude. And subsequently makes your eight years. Like money laundering? Oh. Oh, I see. I don't sleep, I just watch Twitch streams and then not off at school because I get no sleep. There is no shittier feeling than, like, being sleep-tired at school. Like, I remember driving to school after an all-nighter and, like, barely being able to keep my eyes open during class. Like, I was snoozing off in class, which is something that I never do. 
school day ended and I had to sleep in my car for like three hours before I was able to drive back home. Because I'm like, dude, I've been up like 30 something, like 20 something hours. I am not driving home in this. Shit sucked. School's already ass enough, dude. Like, being tired during it, like... I remember when I was in high school, so many people would brag about, like, Oh, yeah, I only get four hours of sleep. That's enough for me. No, it isn't, dumbass. Your days probably suck, dude. <laughs> that ain't anything to brag about, man. I got a full eight hours and I'm feeling fine. You probably feel like shit. I'll never get, like, that idea when you're younger that, like, less sleep is something worth bragging about. Probably because you're breaking off this idea that you didn't have curfew anymore. My parents can't tell me what to do. Sleep at a decent hour. <laughs> when am I going to do that as an adult? My teachers let me sleep as long as I kept the grades high. I had some teachers like that. If I did all the work that was due that day, and I was like doing well in class, they would be like, yeah, you can sleep the rest of the session. As long as you're out of here when the bell rings, I don't mind. Bro, Mayhem, you can't put that in a Twitch chat, dude. You take that to the grave, okay? Maybe you don't, but your little brother will. There are some things that you do that you never speak of in your entire life. Like, you just, that's it, forever. Okay, dude. I was doing so much just running on fumes and a bad diet. I was napped in English class. English class makes sense. I see that. I better get like 10 lucky ultras in a row after this, dude. I just usually yell at me that I would never make it anywhere or pass their class because I slept the whole time. Ended up having the highest final score with the perfect score. <laughs> yeah, I actually probably slept more than anybody else in that class. I'll never understand, like, teachers that would give off, like, speeches or whatever, like... You can't do that as a profession, or, like, you gotta do someone that pays the bills and shit, you know? Where it's like, motherfucker, in the country that we live in, people go to college and don't fucking come out with jobs. What the hell are you talking about? What exactly are you, like, asking me to do right now? Fuck! Actually saved. We're good.
The older you are, the more nap time you should get. Maybe we wouldn't need to nap if this thing called homework was obliterated from fucking existence. Ridiculous that you spend a third of your entire life at school learning shit, and you're told to do even more of it when you get home. Homework's such a stupid concept. I should always do work at home more than school. You know, in all the schools that I went to, I never had a study hall. I never had a place where I could just go to study. Study hall should be mandatory, dude. It's actually wild that I couldn't do, like, any extracurricular shit, unless I was at home. My daughter's school doesn't believe in homework because they have said that not study- that studies have proven that doing homework increases increasing compression or test grades. No studies have proven that doing homework increases compression or test grades. It's just like, what's the point? You gotta do the homework or you won't know what's on the test. Yeah, and you're the one at fault for not, like, putting the information into my brain about what you're testing me on in the, like, hour and a half I spend with you daily. Why do I need independent study just to prove that you're not doing your job well enough? That's not all teachers. But I've seen some teachers, like, justify, you know, like, oh, you need to do homework at home, you know, like, you gotta do homework because if you don't do homework, then you're not gonna be able to, like, learn about all this kind of stuff. It's like, first of all, okay, that's not my fault, but second of all, if that's the deal, then why the hell are you testing me on this stuff? I just hate the concept, dude. I hate, like... Some schools, I think, are doing a fine job with it, because I've seen some schools, like, changing the way that they work. But, like, schools should not start at 8 a.m. They should start at 9.30. They should start later in the day. And have some sort of thing where if a parent needs to drop their kid off before they go to work, then that's fine. But a later day school start should be adopted more than an earlier one. Callous studies have shown why that would be a beneficial thing instead of a negative thing. And how it outweighs any of the cons that would come from switching the time. The pros are just so much more greater. And homework just should not exist. Obviously, independent studying is fine, but we shouldn't be forced to do anything outside of... ...the eight hours that we already spend in class every single day. We can't fucking remember anything to run tests because they literally are just exhausted. My source is 7 a.m. I can't remember what time. I went to quite a few different schools when I was growing up. I transferred a good bit. Um, I can't remember if any of mine started at 7.30. I think the earliest I ever started at was 8. Yeah, 7 is just ridiculous. It was packed dice. My friend is gym at 7 10 a.m. You know, I've said this when Karen and I were talking about it, but like, 
I think I said this recently in a stream. As a person who was not physically fit at all before the age of 18 when I started working out on my own volition and hated PE with a passion, I wish that PE was more about education than it was just about physical activity. I wish that they, like, told us why exactly doing these exercises Especially like when you get into a gym, like what all this stuff is going to do for you, why it's important to start, what kind of influences and benefits does it have on the body long term. When I was a kid and like a young teenager, the only thing that I equated PE with was just like, I'm just running around for what? It probably makes me healthier, but like what does it actually do? called physical education but i got like no education out of it i learned fucking nothing in the 18 years that i had pe in any of my schools until my last year of high school when i actually had a teacher i was already 18 at that point but they took me in you know we had a gym that we went into and i actually got like told hey, this is why you should go on this stuff instead of just like running around the bike for an hour My high school did that was called PE Classroom. That sounds awesome. With COVID, my PE teacher had to teach us the benefits. It's funny. My PE teacher graded on sport performance. So the semester I had first been in basketball and I got A's, but when football and soccer came around, I hit C's. You got graded on performance? Bro, my asthmatic ass would have been held back like freshman year. We ran the mile every week, and I was always last. Yeah, I was never really good at the mile. I was good at the, like, doing a dash. Because I'm pretty quick. You know, for, like, 30 seconds. But, I don't need to tell you guys how it, you know... Everyone's quick for 30 seconds? Yeah, but I don't need to spend time on stream telling you guys about how I am in bed. We're talking about physical education. We're talking about health class. I know my eating habits aren't the best, but watching a documentary on how junk food is bad when you know that only makes you feel worse. What's the actually of healthy foods that keep you from eating them? Alright. I know my eating habits aren't the best, but watching a documentary and how junk food is bad when you know that only makes you feel worse once the texture of healthy foods to keep you from eating them. Dude. <sighs> when it comes to, like, healthy food, I wish that I would have known about, like, a wider variety of vegetables at an earlier age. Not only that, but, like, how to actually prepare them and make them taste good, you know? I get what you mean. Junk food tastes awesome. But there are so many delicious healthy foods out there. 
And a lot of it comes from your own cooking. Lucky altar. Thank you, God. And my money's worth right now, dude. Whoa. Lucky altar's made me so happy. I wish I would have maxed it out sooner. You guys like how I did this, by the way? Instead of the glass. I think it looks a lot nicer. No more snow worries for me! I also like I'll fully disclose autistic, so I'm scared of trying things in case I don't like the texture, but something I know I need to work on, I'm trying to work on. Oh, I got you, I got you. Kale, my beloved? I've never had kale before. What are the health benefits of kale? Spinach, anyone? Spinach is delicious. If I have the option of, like, getting a wrap and, in, like, or if, if, like, I'm getting a wrap and they have the option of a spinach wrap, I'm always getting a spinach wrap. Iron, lots of iron and kale. Gotcha. I've done really well lately about getting a lot of fiber in my diet, which is awesome. <laughs> uh, that should make, uh, that makes me feel good. You know, when I say that shit makes me feel good, I'm talking literally and metaphorically with fiber. But I don't, I haven't really tracked my iron properly, I don't think. I wish canned food wasn't forced on children. Well, when you say forced, what do you mean? Because a lot of people have can't, like, get canned food for their children because of budgeting. If you eat meat, you're probably good with iron. Yes. Let's go. Well, yeah, that'll probably do it. <laughs> you guys are getting iron? I have a mistake now. I need to though. I really want to. Me when I stand up and then pass out. A hey, six foot gang. <laughs> Thank God that is not polished. That almost just ruined my life. I need cake. Also, I don't think I have seed. I think I just gave away my only seed. No children for me. Seed. Thank you. No pickup. Stop that. 
Whoa. I want a shark seafood diet. A seafood, I eat it. Hi, Dad. How are you doing? Hopefully, the trip's going well. Look. Why the elders want junk food? Is the elders' birthday? Probably, dude. Elders celebrates a birthday every damn day. It's birthday month. One really hell of a thing I miss is home raised eggs. Man, there's nothing that compares. Yeah, I had a conversation with that uh, like a month or two ago. I was talking about how I uh, tried. Uh, pasture raised eggs recently how i made the switch from just like regular store about the pasture raised and now anytime i drive by a house and i see uh you know some chickens some hens in their backyard i'm like damn i'm envious of you <laughs> i remember I got in the car with Kara a week ago, and I saw him in the backyard of a house that we drove by, and I, I said to her, I'm like, I should go ask him if I can come over for breakfast one day. <laughs> this shit probably tastes so good, dude. Can you attach cooking with blockheads to the QIO for the cakes? What does that do? Is there like a combiner or something with cooking with blockheads? Having a rooster is scary? What makes a rooster scary? What do they do? They attack for no reason? Jeez. <laughs> I had to beat that bitch with a rake. Uh, fuck. A cockle will do? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't I don't need to worry about multiple cocks in my day, so no thank you. I already handle enough. You kick out a rooster and the game is on. You'll never know peace. You are now a challenger. <laughs> Bang! Nice. Having a 40% chance to get a lucky alter feels really good knowing that 40% of all alters that you get are just going to give you basically a free crystal. But the flip side is it makes you feel like shit when you don't get them. Because you're actively aware of how terrible your luck is. Also, it's time to farm Vindicators. Ah, ah, ah. Not before I be right back.
Obviously, we're still talking about birds. It is clear that I need to apologize for all the trauma that they have inflicted on some of you. Some of you are clearly still bothered. Or maybe it's the trauma that you inflicted on them. Enjoy death, punks. You think that Cubecraft Wing Rush is good practice for Ace Race? I don't know what Wing Rush is. Also, probably not. I feel like flying around with an Elytra for a hundred hours in Minecraft world is probably a good price for Ace Race. Basically flying around with an Elytra on obstacle course? Hmm. Then yeah, maybe. Queen for Block has lots to put eggs, wheat, and sugar into your cabinets. Combine with a cow in a jar to make cakes in its crafting grid. I was wondering if you could off automate it make cakes as crafting grid <clears throat> do you have to interact with the uh the crafting grid to like activate the cake though because if so i don't know if you could activate that unless it has like a red redstone input okay digital miner mine emerald ore yeah it wouldn't be nearly as good as doing this though We put in uh, eight eggs of uh, vindicators. Just wait until I show you how much uh, emeralds are at the end of this. It's pretty juicy amount. You cannot, Last Storm. Did you end up finding a Fortune 6? We're not looking for Fortune 6. That wouldn't be Fortune 6 anyway, it'd be Fortune 4. Um, we were looking for a 56. But the problem is that the best way to get them is from uh, Strongholds. It's just the side of Strongholds. And Strongholds can't be found properly on this server. Um... Because the eyes point to different locations where strongholds aren't. So if there was a way that we could find a stronghold, like, reliably... I'd be down to look around for one. But I don't know how feasible that's going to be. What turns time is in emeralds again? That's the uh, anti-protonic nuclear synthesizer. It's the, uh... 
mechanism machine that requires uh like liquid antimatter or like antimatter whatever as a uh, fuel as late game shit as late game you're getting pretty good saying anti protonic nuclear synthesizer yeah because I've talked so much about it and never made it. <laughs> they spawn probably in the modded lands? They don't spawn at all in the modded lands. Because they always spawn in a ring of like... Whatever the vanilla Minecraft ring is. I think it's like... 20-25k. Never realized these dudes had striped pants. Oh yeah, dude. They're styling. Hey, don't mind me peering down there. I'm only looking for, you know. Alright. Uh, let me show you, uh show me how you uh, show you how many emeralds we got. First of all, we have like 180 in our inventory right now. Not bad. 1200. Pretty good. Pretty good. For not that much time spent. Let's get a. Another few. 2.5k blocks, I believe. Brother, that's the first. <laughs> 2.5k blocks, the second ring! Minecraft got more than one ring? It breaks flowers within the AoE with ease. That's really nice. Um... So, vanilla Minecraft dungeons do spawn the tomes. But I don't know... Do you guys know the strongholds that spawn in the end? There's that one fucking floating one that we always fly over or whatever. I wonder if those give tomes. Because I think I looted one of those at some point at the beginning of the series. I don't think I got a tome from it. I wonder. We could check. It wouldn't be a bad check because those are pretty easy to find. You can use Lunium for Botan, yeah. It spawns mobs that hold dungeon loot in their drop table, so Ancient Temps are also a part of that. No way it's in the game. What? Lunium is one of the functional flora added by Botan, yeah. The Lunium will, once apply with an extreme amount of mana, Spawn monsters stronger than usual. When killed, these monsters will drop items normally found in dungeon chests. However, some items like records, black holes, and overgrowths cannot be obtained this way. Okay. Rune of Sloth, Rune of Gluttony, and Rune of Envy. Redstone Root. And Pixie Dust. Rune of Envy is a rune of winter and rune of water, with black opal and mana diamonds. Rune of winter is earth and air. Rune of water, that's simple enough. Rune of gluttony is winter and fire. And then rune of sloth is autumn and air. Interesting. Well, it's a 13% chance to find its home in a dungeon chest. Well, I'm wondering if... Does Botania, like, a, does it integrate that, though? Or would I only get, like, standard Minecraft stuff from there? Like, 
saddles and horse armor and name tags. It's in a chest loophole, it should. Interesting. How much mana, though? I've tested in my world like at Ancient Tubs. Belthorn to automate killing them. Interesting. Yeah, I've looked at that on Reddit. Aside from the Black Lotus and Overgrow Seed, uh, which are hard-coded from Botania to not spawn, it does use the Dungeon's Loot Table, so anything in the Dungeon's Loot Table will drop. Fascinating. That's pretty damn cool. I wonder what else, aside from tomes, you can get. I just wonder how much mana it costs. I'd be down. Would y'all want to craft it? Four green, one gray, sloth, gluttony, envy, red sun and pixie dust are gonna take a little bit, but it shouldn't be that hard. It drops enchanted gold apples. Oh. Oh. Well, here you go. So. Tomes. 0 to 1, 0.7% chance. Shannon Golden Apple, 0 to 1, 1.4 chance. Horse Armor, Gold Ingot, Blank Runes, Books, Man in a Bottle. Man of Steel, Luxe Gear Botania. Interesting. This is actually really cool information. My shaft can give a rope. Stronghold library. Yeah, look at this. 36% chance to get from a stronghold library compared to 0.7% chance to get from a dungeon chest. That's wild, dude. That's why we need... That's why we need Stronghold so badly. Woodland Mansion. Ancient Home, 0 to 1, 10%. Oh, let's just go find a Woodland Mansion real fast. <laughs> oh, it's, that's guaranteed. Oh, I see, okay. Oh. Oh, I know how to navigate around that. I know how to navigate around that.
This is Sebastian's treasure, though. It's not any Bastion chest. So it's only in the treasured Bastion, though, and at the bottom. That's going to take so much time and probably not provide what we need, because Ancient Tomes, there's too many of them. Yeah, Hogwin Stable, and then Ruin Portals. Yeah, Bastions aren't going to work, I don't think. For only one chest, whereas, like, a library inside of a village would have, like, four, or, yeah, like, four chests, or even six chests in total in one stronghold. Just bring luck stuff. Not a bad shout. Not a bad shout. Thing is, it's a 20% to get a tome add on to the fact that you want a specific book makes the odds a lot worse than the automated path might be worth. Yeah, but the thing is, like, with the, um, the Lunium, I don't want to burn my mana. It said it costs an extreme amount of mana. Do any of you guys know how much mana the Lunium actually pulls, like, in quantity numbers? Because for only a 0.7 chance, we'd have to essentially, like, for every mob that would drop an item, we would need to generate, like, 120 times that amount of mana just to be able to get one tome. 35k on the wiki? That's... That's pretty up there. For every time, that's pretty up there. Hmm. That's a lot of mana! That's a lot of mana. How do you how do you locate a treasure bastion, dude? <laughs> With a mansion worth trying? Someone find me the modded item in this bag that lets me know where a Woodland Mansion is. You can just produce more mana? I mean, we could. How much mana can you hold? I can hold about 50 million mana on my two trees. Are we farming here? These babies. Of which we are done. Level 3 cartographer has a woodland map. It's probably as broken as the strongholds. Uh, yeah, you might be right. Because I would imagine cartographers are probably seed based. I don't think it can work that way though. Eh. Can you use the dimensional builder to build a dimension of dungeons? I don't think it's dimensional. Wait. I don't know what that does. What does stuff do? Are you using nature's compass to find a dark oak forest? Ah, uh, it's removed. <clears throat> nature's compass is not in this mod pack. Um, what are we doing? Going to the end. What are we doing for the tomes? How the hell do I find a stronghold? Bastion treasure, woodland mansion, stronghold library, and dungeon. That's cool. Are there any mod instructions that give dungeon loot? 
Well, so that's what we were, um... That's what we were thinking, right? So, like... Because N City... I think I'm gonna go to the end. Not only to get the end stone, but I want to see if any of those chests pull from dungeon loot. And if they don't, I want to find out what loot they pull from. These things. But these have already been looted. I need to go find another one. The most handy thing does seem like a good permanent solution. I think if they spawn dungeon loot, the strongholds here will probably be the best shout. Because I think they're pretty common. Like, if you just fly around for a ton of time. You'll just probably wind up hitting one, you know what I mean? We take a villager to the modded lands by the map, it will point to the closest woodland mansion without seat breaking it. Interesting. Godspeed, Acer. And as dungeons with dungeon loot tables. How do I look in end dungeon? Fly around for a while. We're gonna generate up some stuff. Oh my god, I already have. Damn, I'm going far. Oh? It was just where my mouse was hovering, I see. Scout seemed to think that we got those dungeons on his servers, but we didn't. What are you talking about? The dungeons in the end? You guys don't get those? Plane Strider work with the Elytra? Plane Strider. Oh, do you mean the uh, Globe Trotter one? No, you have to be holding down W, I'm fairly certain. We don't get those, so fighting Overgrowth is a huge pain. E. I've heard that overgrowth seeds were, uh, one of the more difficult things to obtain in the game. Was that a change made to, like, remove overgrowth seeds or something? Or, like, make them craftable at some point? Added them to altars. Oh, you can find them as altar loot inside of a vault. I lived bastions on Soul War and got around 10 times for a few bastions and now about 5 overgrowth seeds. Really? That's pretty impressive. Same with tritons. Oh, that's pretty cool. I can imagine that will get a little irritating once you're a uh, higher level, but for early game, it's pretty cool. Oh, a little sleepy. Where the hell are those strongholds, dude? You're really gonna tell me that there was that one just floating out right next to the middle island. There's no others. Does anybody know how these things generate? Do 
Did they get removed? That's what I'm worried about. Like, were they removed from the pack and that's why they're not on the public release? And why they might not be here in the newer chunks that I'm generating? They may have edited the quirk settings. Why would they have edited the settings to remove it, though? What in these did they deem was not, like, suitable? Are the mod updated? Maybe. Cool. <laughs> you splat. Yep. <laughs> it's funny as fuck. Just watching my arrow just come to a fucking halt right when I hit the... <laughs> Ew. Oh, we're good. <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, that's fucking funny. I can't really hear the game audio right now for me, so. Yo, no way. Look at this shit. Have you ever seen this before? That's wild. That's wild. I wonder if vanilla can do this. I'd assume it could, right? Damn, that's crazy. The all advanced with stream, you're right. Holy shit, imagine popping out like or finding this and that being there. Or popping out is right underneath you. God damn. Alright, if you're on a twelve K blocks, I'm gonna stop looking to be honest. Let's get some uh Let's get some endstone. We don't need that many. And then we'll uh, maybe head into the Nether and try looking for some treasure bastions to see kind of how uh, how good the loot is for treasure bastions and tomes. Flower makes mobs fight each other. Lum by lum by lum, and can be useful in mines or dig sites if it's enabled and works in the vault. I'm not even going to try pronouncing this thing. Hisi? The Hisi dream will, once supplied with mana, turn mobs against each other. You're telling me that I can just put this thing in front of a... In front of a soul altar? And a spawner, and the mobs will just tackle each other? That's hilarious. Bro, imagine having this in your hotbar in a dig site, and you open a trap chest and just chuck that shit on the ground. <laughs> Why do you skip the compressed blocks and vaults? Because they're only like three times compressed, they barely do anything. I wish that, um, that you could find like four times. I don't know what the amount of... Hold on. How much would five times be? Nine to the power of five. Okay, that's a bit much. But I wish you could find, like, four times compressed. Maybe extremely rarely a five times compressed when you get past, like, level 250. That'd be nice. It consumes mad if I should, so it also need a mana pool to fill the pool. Suddenly it's not, it's not as simple. Yeah, I don't see it being, like, as good as, um... Just having, like, a high damage output set on you. <clears throat> because mobs are gonna have, like, increased HP, and I don't know how, like, heavy they need... Like, how many hits they're gonna need against each other. 
It's cool, but I don't think it's a game changer. Bulimia well, is only dropping vanilla and botania items in a full mana pool only lasted two and a half minutes. Well, it should drop the modded stuff too. But yeah, the full mana pool for two and a half minutes is a little taxing in my opinion. How much we got? 23k? Nice. Alright, uh, I think we're done here. No villages, no strongholds, rather. No strongholds. Let's go to the nether for a wee little bit. Try finding some treasure bastions. I saw a 13% chance the real amount it'd take on average of the Lunian per tome without luck is 5 million mana. <laughs> Are you working? Headass. Where am I terracotta? Sick. All right, let's go to the, uh, Let's go to the nether. See if we can find a uh, treasure bastion of some kind. Of some caliber. I would assume that NZ counting doesn't work properly on a server. I haven't really tried it, to be honest. Variant chest. There's a mob spawner somewhere around here. Oh, I understand. Uh, I know what spawner it's talking about. Bastion are you? Oh, bastion is that? Hold on. That looks like uh, housing. That looks like housing. Wet housing as well too. Yeah. Yes. Wet housing dance game. Hey, give me you. My obsidian now. I am the portal. Oh! <gasps> no way! What a pull! What a pull, dude. All right, let's do it. No shot we're this lucky. What's up, friends? How are we today? Feisty, I see. Hey, give me all this. <laughs> Shut up. And break your home. Spawner broke way too fast, dude. <laughs> Tomes! Loyalty! Damn it. Sag. Because these don't have what we're looking for. Yeah, you don't have what I'm looking for. Wait a minute, never mind. Yeah, you do. That's what I'm looking for. Bone block, baby! Here. Yeah. 
Two another right answers isn't bad though. No, nah, that's real good. That's real nice. I'm gonna die to lava. Just kidding, I have fire res. No way. Wait a minute, is that an unload chunk or is that a bastion? Ah, it's an unload chunk. That was a forest here, I see. What an inter how? What an interesting hunt. What an interesting little side quest is in this chat. Quirky little side quest. So silly. I mean, Fire Rose is so nice, it was so worth saving for an early game. I didn't take it until fairly late, but I agree with you. It's pretty nice. I've completely forgotten about what it's like to have to worry about, like, getting hit by a flame sword inside of a vault. Because, like, dude, even spiders... Oh, uh, what kind of... Uh, even spiders can, like, let you on fire. What kind of bastion is this? Is that Hogwan Stables? That looks like Hogwan Stables. Pretty sure it's Hogwan Stables. You see the three ramparts here? Yep. Fortress here. So we go this way. How can you see that? I just know what bastions look like. I gotta pick the shape of it, and then I check the layout. And if the layout kind of matches what I'm used to from an above angle, then that's what it is. There are two kinds of bastions that are perfectly square. That would be housing and stables. Uh, between the two, we need to check and see uh, if one has two ramparts or three. If it's got two ramparts, it's housing. If it's got three, it's stables. Uh, the other two kinds of bastions is this one, and this is an oblong little fucker. The most hated bastion among speedrunners. Bridge. My gold now. Yoink. Take me back to the days when I speedran. And was like, we can't find the chalice and get the gold from there because then people are going to think that the run just got carried by the Bastion. <laughs> Whenever we found a uh, bridge Bastion, we didn't really know it was, or I didn't really know it was bridge. Yeah, you know, I, I didn't know the difference between like Bastions or whatever. I just saw the chalice and was like, this is 16 blocks of gold. If this PB is gets a good time, nobody's going to care about it. <laughs> Take back to the days where you speed ran. Oh, <sighs> yeah. I have a lot to learn getting back into speed running. I'd have to go through a lot of practice maps and stuff and be really diligent about it, which is just something that I've never done. Um, when Minecraft speedrunning got really technical, I just didn't, for whatever reason, what bastion are you? 
bastion is this? What bastion is this? Is that housing? I'm MVP of Next Arena guaranteed. How you feel about that one, huh, Piggy? What's up, H? Hey, very much, ladies and gentlemen, brother. Hope you're well. Oh. I uh, found the direction of the Bastion exits out of. We're looking for uh, cork tomes, which are uh, some kind of like dungeon loot. For our terror shatterer. It could be a fashion, Brandon. Go back. Coming from Cub? What's up, dude? Love that guy. It's not a fortress there. What do the tomes do? Tomes are, uh, kind of like bridge. Huh. <sighs> Tomes are kind of like, um, ancient books. They add a one-up to your enchant. So, we're specifically looking for the efficiency tome. To try and get efficiency 6 for our Terror Shatterer. Wait, what are you? Did we just go there? I think we just went there. Yeah. Let <gasps> me in! Die pigs. Taste death. Ah, ah, ah. How can you live in the nether and not be impervious to lava? Fuck. Liberty. The heck is all this? A basalt delta that looks like this. Well, this map is. Mad weird. Library for Stronghold is a better chance of answer tomes. Yeah. I would love to go there. The problem is I don't really know how to find a... Uh, a stronghold, considering... Eyes on this server don't point to strongholds. The only stronghold I ever found was the one that, uh, I found well. um, oh, hello, which one are you? Stables? Stables? No, this is bridge. This is bridge. Yep. That's the chalice. Which actually... Where do the eyes point? So the eyes point to where the strongholds were originally on this seed before the seed got changed. I think the seed got changed or something like that. They, they just point to inaccurate locations. I 
unfortunately. It was a byproduct of the uh, modded lands being introduced. Um, 50,000 blocks out into the wilderness. Yeah, I'm gonna say there is. Um, it's a quadrant. And each quadrant is about 396 blocks or something like that. But I'm having, like, fine success just, um, flying around and checking out the map and seeing where we're generating. Because this is a pretty large area. And so I find a, um, fortress I just steer clear of that location. Did forest chests have tomes? No. Tomes are only in, uh... Dungeon chests? Very rarely. Stronghold libraries? Most commonly. Treasure bastion, uh, treasure chests? The singular treasure chests at the bottom of the, uh, the cube? And somewhere else, I can't remember. Oh, uh, Woodland Mansions. Honestly, the cartographer might be a good shout. I might try the cartographer in a few. Taking the cartographer out into the modded lands and buying him up. That sounds like a pretty, uh, decent attempt at it. And I think I might do that after I find one more, uh... Treasure Bastion, because the fact that I've been looting around for this much time and only gotten one tome is a little... demotivating. I mean, I knew this would be the case. Like, I knew I'm not going to come out here and get one, but I just kind of wanted to see it firsthand just so I, you know, would stop coping. Strongholds do not generate outside of the 50k region, no. Strongholds are just the vanilla Minecraft thing, and they stop after their furthest ring, which is around, like, 20,000 blocks. I went out about 38,000 blocks into the outer world, and the eye led me, like, back to the 20k ring. That's a salt delta. I'm already, like, kind of off this, to be honest. If I find another bastion that's not a, uh, treasure bastion, I'm probably just gonna quit. This just takes so much time for almost zero result. Like, I'm gambling my time right now, it's just not worth it. Why not try around the 15k rings just in case? Well, because if the generation was changed to the modded lands, then it's not just going to suddenly work around the 15k area. It would be all the vanilla rings or nothing. That is housing. Fun little excursion. Six hour stream. Oop. What do you mean? This is normal stream duration for me. Bones. I guess I can go back in there. Uh, shitty out. Another right ingots. Loyalty tome. Looting, loyalty, and feather falling. I've been away for ages, not used to people going six hours. Understood. Understood. I assume you can't use the QIO teleport in from inside of a vault. I don't think there's anything preventing it. Although, I think if you were to somehow teleport, uh... I think if you were to somehow teleport, um... <clears throat> From a, uh, 
from a vault to the overworld, you would probably still have your vault time on you, which means you'd probably wind up dying after the time expired, which you'd no longer be able to complete. However, um, I've thought about this, and this could probably get tested and work. Quantum Entangleloper for power. Uh, teleporter. Put those both down in the portal room. Take a portable teleporter. Link it to that. And then just... Beep, back to the portal room. However far you are in the vault, just go home. I'd assume that probably works if it's not been blacklisted yet. I think there's a lot of QIO stuff that has not been blacklisted inside of the vault yet, but I don't know if they got around to it. Maybe they did. Um, but I know there's just some stuff with QIO that, like, I could do that I just told them that I wouldn't. Like, I'm fairly certain I could use a portable QIO dashboard inside of a vault and just chuck all my loot into here and die and be fine. But I was like, hey, I'm not going to do that. I ain't going to do that. So... Most teleportation methods are blacklisted instead of vaults. Any that might be missed can definitely bug you a bit. Probably. I also checked the warp plates from Waste Zones worked. Oh, dear. Yo, Orchid Stream! They were most of the vault planet for Pog! Chat, Pog! <laughs> Yo, Orchid, thank you. Thank you! That's actually not a bad trade, considering I might want to just buy one out instead of having to use the player gems for it, considering we're saving up for, uh... An Omega Pog? I'm already not happy that I had to make some Pogs for uh, the Enthro Flame or Enthro things. So that's quite nice. Thank you so, so much. Tested it for fun in single player. Would not recommend actually doing it. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Uh, so we're bringing a little cartographer friend, huh? I didn't make a, a car togue. Paper and plank. Yeah, actually, um, Rebel, I was just going to mention that I don't know whether or not I looted the, um, the village or the, uh, what's it called? Um, The stronghold that I found. I might not have looted that room, so I'm gonna go do that real quick. Let me see if Iskal still has this. By chance, this wouldn't lead to... No. It would not. I wanna see if I can find the hole. Sorry, why do I have 167,000 stone that I never emptied? I want to see if I can find the, um, <laughs> the hole that, uh, yeah, I can probably do it from down here. Hey, Iskel, uh, don't worry about what I'm doing, okay? Oh, he has this underneath here, so he probably covered it. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Where's the, uh... Hold on a second. <laughs> Interesting little strip mine looking thing you have here. Hmm, friend? <laughs> By the way, portable teleports don't work inside the vault. They don't bring up the menu. Oh, cool. This took so fucking long to do. <laughs> this took so many hours and so much headache. Keep an eye out for one of those stronghold things along the on the caves here. I don't remember the exact coordinates of it. 
But it was worth it? Oh, so worth it. Oh, so, so worth it. I was digging through here and I fucking heard silverfish. <laughs> Stealing power? If anything, I gave him power. All right, where's the library? It's in here. Have I looted this? I must be a little upset if I have. Oh! Yoink! Yoink, yoink, yoink. <laughs> oh. We need to find some strongholds in the overworld, and I'm not exactly sure how to go about doing that. I see you. I see you. Chat, watch the speedrunner built stronghold nav. Oh my god, he's crazy, dude. I bet I can find a portal room. It's Fortune 4. Sweeping Edge 4? That's kind of sick. Damn it! No efficiency. Ah! Uh. No efficiency at all of that. Ah, uh. so close. Oh, there's new features, no one tried them? I don't think anybody's tried them. These have been in the game. Smudge. All right, well, that's it for this one. Complete the portal! A gilded chest will spawn! Gilded overworld chests! <laughs> Does luck affect these chests? You know, they probably would have. I probably should have put my luck here on. I should probably go take my luck here. So, how the hell do we find... How do we find strongholds? just digging for them. Like, how do you do that? Are there multiple strongholds in a ring? Yeah, there are. But, like, how the... F how, how do I find that without eyes? Ender eyes. I sleep. Sleep. Chat sleep. No way. I think they're equidescent for one, another on a circle. I guess they would have to be, right? So, like... We can probably find the other two, if I know the chords of that one. Additional minor checking for stone brick would be, like... It'd be faster for me to just dig through the world and find it on my minimap. Trust me, it's not a good idea. Hmm. 
I'm just saying. I'm unironically bringing lucky apples to eat when I find these chests. <laughs> How to make a lucky apple? So can I can I buy them? The real, <laughs> the real use of luck armor in Ball Hunters. More valuable than gilded chests. Okay, so I need to go back and find the, uh, the quartz that... Hold on, where's my, uh, let me get my plane strider on. Let me at least bring that with me. You should be able to roughly figure out where the cords to dig around if you take the cords of the stronghold you found. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Because they're always like the same distance away from each other. So we can at least find two strongholds. And then if we find uh, one stronghold in the second ring, we should be able to find five more. It's negative 1540, 14, negative 400. Uh, so looking on a ring. Here, and you're 1500, negative 400. So, how would you do the math on this? Inner vision. No, that's not it. Cause that just shows the coordinates. How do you locate? No, that's seed based. I'm not gonna look at the seed of this cause that wouldn't do anything anyway. Yeah, because if it's... Is it negative 15 and negative 400? If it's there... And spawn is... I don't know exactly where spawn chunks are. Put a waypoint zero zero, then when you're at distance, it will show that it's between the original stronghold and that waypoint. So when you can travel in a circle, you want to maintain the same distance from that waypoint. I guess it would just be zero zero then, right? So looking at it from here, there should be a stronghold like here, roughly. No, it needs to be further than that. There should be a stronghold like roughly here? Like around this way? Fourteen hundred, not fifteen hundred. And there could also be one, like, down here. This is so rough. This isn't even a perfect triangle. It's gonna be, like, further down this way. I'm going into Desmos to work out rough areas. Appreciate you.
I can't, like... See, a lot of the strongholds are, um... Or a lot of stronghold calculators are how to, like, find a stronghold based on triangulation. You won't have any strongholds in the vanilla terrain gen because of how they stitched the world together. That's why they had to manually bind the end portal they all have. But this is literally a stronghold. Set waypoint on stronghold, go to spawn, check angle, turn 120, and travel to the same radius. That actually makes, like, pretty good sense. Anyway, restaurant's booming. Okay, so... No, I need you to be more accurate. What are the exact chords? I need to find the exact chords of the stronghold I was in. I'm looking at my video. Okay, I'm gonna reach. I'm gonna change this one a little bit. Um, and it's you were negative fifteen sixty seven, and then negative two seventy five. That was the library. That was the library. Okay, so that that's looking exactly one hundred. Okay, that's kind of funny. Anywhere else but the library's coordinates of the screenshot that I'm looking at for my video took me directly to 100. It's hilarious. So we're going negative 20. That's about where I thought it would be, right? And if that stronghold was about 1,500 blocks out this way, then we could basically fly in an axis here. Yeah, looking down here. So this would be around like 500, 570, 1400. 570, 1400. Okay. And then how about, um, so let's think of 20. So what about negative 140? That's what around the nose too. So then you, are we looking on this one? So you would be, yeah, just about right there. So like, we could probably put this to about 11, 1160, negative 1410. 1160, negative 1410. Thank God I finished this before I deal with these guys. Oh, for the love of God, I'm actually going to tilt out the face of the fucking earth. Well, let's see how scuffed this is. Oh yeah, the ring of a stronghold is 1400 or 2600. I know that much at least. That's why I'm putting it at about where the beginning of the ring is. So 
So we can start about here. If they are equal distance. Sorry, not in my room again. Is there a way to edit the minimap? Zero's minimap, minimap saying shift N. I'll change that back before I go into a vault. If I remember correctly. Also, I need to change the size. I need to make this larger. Um, Shift N. Found a mine shaft. <laughs> this is fun. Why don't you go stay down a little bit around like Y30? There's cave zone, you need to change that. Holy fuck. <laughs> okay, that's outside of my, uh... That's, that's, uh... Two times should be okay. So I just need to stay along, like, this angle here. Because I'm probably already going out too far. What are you? We found it. No fucking way! No way! Let's go! Collaborative effort. Put her there. Oh my god. I love it. Oh, I'm in love. Yeah, th this this has been incredible. This this is incredible. Boom! All right, ready for this shit? <laughs> ready for this? Brute force of stronghold. Hell yeah, I did. Fuck, that doesn't work. Okay. Oh, only one tome in here? Knockback. Damn it. Where's the other library? The other library's here. Riptide impaling, looting. Lord, damn it. What the hell is this library? Wait, what? This is a one-floor library? Dude, have I not played this game enough? Is this- this is not vanilla. What is this? I've been scammed! Libraries can have one floor? What is this win? One four library is a thing. Bro, I swear on God, I've never seen a one four library before. That's hilarious. Alright, chat, we need to find the portal room. Ready? Speed running nav. I hear silverfish. Oh my god, I see a silverfish. No way, dude. Ah, uh, it's a zero. I reset. Bad seed, go next.
Ah, right, well, let's go find the other one. <laughs> My speedrunner. Dude, this is so cool. Are there only three? Uh, there are only three libraries. Uh, are only three strongholds in the first ring. There's six in, uh... There's six in the second ring, though. Libraries can occur in two sizes. Small single-level libraries and larger duplex libraries. Dude, how have I speed ran for so many months and watched so many streams and never seen a single-story library? Have y'all seen those before? I, I, like, I... I've never seen a single-story library before. Did we I spy? Calculated travel? <laughs> Not the stronghold. <laughs> swear my... Swear I was almost like, there's no way right now. <laughs> there's no way right now. Alright, so we need to stay along this axis. Um... Then we need to go, like, down this way. There are a lot of baddies out here. Yeah, stay along, like, here. Just do the one at 434-1500. That was the one I was just at. I didn't mark it, though. I should have. Too far out, possibly. I think I am too. Side back. Just north of me. No, it's another, uh, That's not a stronghold. Yeah, those aren't strongholds. I see two things now that are almost strongholds. Okay, let's get back. Um, this way. Well, I've been so lonely in the smile from you. My make these blues go away. Given the cores that I'm traveling at, the stronghold shouldn't be this close, though. Also, I need to go up further. I might be missing it because I'm way too low. to make it the next season's map. Hold on, so what... What was the, um... I need to find the exact coordinates of the, my, of the stronghold that I was just in. The stronghold I was just in... Oh, fuck, I can't see the coordinates. Damn it, I can't see the cords. Eh. So I made the map too big. If I could see the cords, I could triangulate much easier. Eh. Yeah, webcam literally in the way of the cords. So 
where are we right now? I think 15, 13, negative 405. For the third one. Here? I need to stay at Y level around 30. Oh, hey, well, that's... Fucking imagine. 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 Which one is he looking for? Efficiency. I know it very likely would not be this close, but I just need to go here just to make sure. It's like I'm still along the axis. I just want to see. It's definitely not. Just further out then. Thousand eighty eight, negative eleven twenty six. I just dug over that. But I'm going to run it. I have 1,088. I have 1,126. Nada. Do not see. Awkward. Let's try a little further down here. Found it. Yeah, baby. Yes, sir. This was so cool. There it be. There she be. Yer. Yoink. Take a little bit of man of steel for my botania work. Whoa, the heck? Let me into my library, dude. Do the course for this one as well? Uh, no, we're done with this ring. Wait. I swear I do that like once a day. Damn 
Yeah, and Breaking Four is a good pull. But admittedly, I don't think I should be getting a Breaking Four from this. And that's something that's probably going to wind up getting looked into. Whereas, uh... What's it called? Um, efficiency 6 is a little bit different. Because it's not really like a, you know, vault gear applicable enchant. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think I'm going to be applying these tomes to, uh... Oh, nice. I don't think I'm going to be applying these tomes to any, like, vault gear or anything like that. Right, so I need to find the, uh, the, the library. Where be the second library? Is it just back here? Oh, it's just back here. It's just this one. Let's see. This is it. We're going to the second ring. It took until the last chest of the last stronghold. Yes. <sighs> Seeing Pagma and emotes while inside of a stronghold. My god, I missed my speedrunning days. Chad, they will talk about this journey that we went on. What a glorious one it was. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Let's do it up, baby. You didn't even have Pagma enabled in your speedrun? Yeah, because the dude from the Pagma emo outside of the one from Vis Loud is a shitty person, so I didn't want him in my chat. And one emo is facing my chat. But then I found the Vislod Pac-Man, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's the one. Reset map settings? Right. Zoom 5. Uh, size... Chat talk. Chatter. Make chats. Thank you. I'm chatting. This is me chatting. Someone said it would reset the default once you enter a vault anyway. Oh, okay. Maybe that's what Scale meant when he said, like, uh, force it to always, um... Yeah. Let's see five, unbreaking three. Silk touch. I don't have silk touch. I want just the vanilla one. Success, please. Whoa.
Are we still going to the Woodland Mansion? No need. There is no need to be sad. I'll tell you what, though. Y'all are ready for this. She looks good. She looks good. What a beauty. Time for SS ranks? Soon. Soon. I need to build that, uh... <laughs> I need to build that, uh, cobblestone generator first. Pink or green rune? Ooh. Should we rune this? Ooh. You know what? Let's throw a purple rune on there. Because of the particles that an eye of ender gives off. I didn't even do anything. Oh yeah, that's a little purple. I like that. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love it. Did you get a Fortune 4 book? Can you make a Fortune 4 Fortune Impact Soul? Fortune 4 already exists. That's already a thing in here. Light blue? Nah, light blue was reserved for, uh, Rush 2 Paxels. Oh, I'm feeling good. Oh, I'm feeling real, real good. Is that Terra SS rank now? No, it's S rank. Uh, SS rank would take another 900 million mana, which I don't have the capacity for right now. We do not have the capacity. Um, so... Here is, I think, the game plan. Here's the, here's the game plan. So, we have a CRP run ready to be done. Almost. Um, it's this one. It's a CRP with extended and personal space. Uh, we just need optimistic on it. None of the catalysts that we have, I don't believe, offer optimistic. And the only optimistic that I do have is on a uh, double curse, which would give... Oh yeah, this one too, but I'm not taking that for two and a half minutes. Uh, it's on a double curse, which would give tired, and we do not want tired. Can't wait for you to feel so satisfied once you start breaking the mind room. Oh, it's going to change my life. It's going to change my entire life. So, uh, why don't we run some vaults and try getting some catalysts and, uh, try finishing this off so that hopefully, maybe by the end of today or tomorrow, we could, uh, go on a little CRP? I don't know if we'll have time for it tonight, considering we've already been live for nearly seven hours and I got some shit to do. Um, but yeah, I think that would be kind of nice. Couldn't use a mining fatigue totem? No, so... Um, we don't want to use a mining fatigue totem because I have a, uh, I have a mine or I have a haste to idol now, which I prefer to use that so that we can just shred through the mine rooms like super, super fast. Um, but I can't use both. So having tired basically means that I can't use the, uh, haste paxel. So, yeah. Bring a case of a regular mine room. I don't want to. I don't want to use this thing on a regular mine room without CRP. Didn't this guy say you go through his catalyst for that one? Yeah. So like, uh, 
I don't know where I'm at on, like, using other people's catalysts. Because, like, I've never really done it. I've never really, like, done, like, going through other people's catalysts. I don't know. I would... I would love to get, like, a ton of the, like... I would love to get these finished off with some catalysts that I maybe don't have, but... I don't know. Cleanse immune would work. Yeah, it would just be too irritating though. Like I already gotta manage between switching between my axe and my uh Paxel or my uh terror shatter because my axe would give sixteen seconds of uh haste too. So one of my servants just got copious on one of my cattle, so I'm happy to let him use it. Do you guys want to check and see, uh... Well, actually, first of all, before I, uh, do anything, I want to put, uh, Sweeping Edge 4 on my, uh, on my Nether Red Sword. Where's Sweeping Edge? My sweep. Sweeping Edge 4. It's pretty cool. Who knows what that even does? What's the purple thing in front of the third row of catalysts? Oh, this soul shard. Which is, I guess, Gal's gonna say it would be alright. Alright, I'll go take a look. I need to take these off my screen. I'll go take a gander. I was like, why do I have nothing in here? Right, because I'm not using anything. Or my inventory is just... Yep. Uh, okay. So where are all my CRPs? It's quite a few. Alright, let's go. Let's see, uh, what any of your... What any of your catalysts have. Ooh. Thermal expansion, I see. Okay, so what exactly am I looking for? Copious with nothing. Rich Plentiful, nothing on you. Rich Hard. Richard. Copious with nothing. Copious something else. Copious Silent Plentiful, nothing on you. CRP, that's the one I'm looking for. Optimistic on. Rich Plentiful, no. Copious Difficult. Rich, nothing on you. Rich, difficult, no. Rich, plentiful. Automistic, but locked. Copious, giant. Nothing on these. Extendo, boy, on the bottom left. Well, there it is. It's an easy optimistic giant. That's actually phenomenal. That's that's a pretty yeah, that'll that'll do it. If we were to want to take that one. Uh you rich rich plentiful rich or super lucky and copious. No. What's the radius of the anchor upgrade for maxima ma uh, mechanism? It's uh, the chunk they are in. So hit F3 and G. Whatever chunk it's inside of will remain chunk loaded. There's no distinct radius. Twitch is confused. It says it's your three month sub anniversary. But also let Pete Zahat know you've been subbed for four months. <laughs> Lol. Oh shit. Oh man, there's a rich on a copious. Okay, I'll never watch the four months. Thank you, thank you. Or three, should I say? Thank you so much. Raging, yeah, baby. Let me throw that on a. Uh... <laughs> Let me throw raging on a frenzy real fast.
Just seeing like how many of these can cap off. Automatic raging probably wouldn't take that. We're super lucky. Oh holy shit! A lot of these get capped off early. Huh. Wow. on these optimistic with furious not one of these statics so iscal has three catalysts that would do me up for these Would he be okay with me swapping out three? How do people do this? How does this work? Like, what do streamers do when they take a catalyst? Do they just, like, drop off a little bit of love in return for swapping them? Given three catalysts of equal value? I guess it's nice, right? Because, like, he probably doesn't have anything that his catalysts top off with his crystals yet, right? Yeah, if he hasn't used them, he'd probably I'd rather have new catalysts. I think it would be, but you could wait to ask him when he wakes up if it makes you feel better. No, I, I think it would be okay, because he did say that he could check my catalyst when he was online yesterday. Ain't nothing for him, so you can give him three catalysts and add something if you want. Maybe give him an Echo War or two. Iskel's been wanting an Echo Pog for a bit. I mean, he's been getting a few Echo Pogs, to be fair, but... He's been really liking Echo Pogs for a little bit. I think, uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let me, uh... Yeah, I'm down. I'm down, am I down, am I down, am I down, down, down. Yes, I am down, da-da-down. Down, down. Yes, I'm down, I am down, I am down. So here's the way we're going to do it. Um, one of them is, I think, a positive negative, just flat. Where's my positive negative flat? I'll tell me I used that already. This one. So I'm going to give him this. A whole Echo Pog? Yeah. Um, I'm going to give him a, uh, a Hunger one, because that's essentially what I'm taking from him. And then, so, there's a catalyst that I'd be taking that had positive negative with a static easy. I don't think he cares much about easy. Um, so I'm just gonna give him a blank random positive modifier only. I feel like that makes up for the fact that I'm essentially taking, like, a static positive from him, even though it's not that insane. I feel like that, you know, kind of helps if you get the gist of what I'm going for. So, um, yep. Yeah. Um, here is what we're doing. Here's what we're doing. We're taking nine gold. And we're going to make a little platinum. And we're going to buy up a little pog. Now we're going to take two Udai. We're going to take two Laramar. We're going to take eight Echo. We're going to take two of those. We're going to make these. And we're going to make this. Um, we're going to do this. Wait, no. We're going to do this. I need to rub it here. What's up, Stump? I 
I can already hear his voice. No, that's too much. You can't give me an Echo Pog. I only gave him like three gorges. <laughs> Yeah, well, too bad, Iskel. Too bad. It's a CRP top off. You're doing me a blessing. He's the optimistic giant. That's the one. Give me no Mega Pog? Bro, I gotta run the vault first. Yeah, my robot's a fan of the thermal expansion. Bro, like, dude, you should get some of those for your base. You know, the easy is actually insanely clutch for me because giant... Oh, well, easy makes it better because it's challenging and difficult, right? And giant's just nice because they go slower. So, like, that's kind of wild. Um, all right, copious and difficult. This one was... Uh, was it here? Yeah, it was this one. Rich, crowded, hunger. Okay, so I'm going to take this. That's the hunger one that I'm topping off. And then I believe in this one was this. Yeah, rich and crowded. I hate that both of them are crowded because it's going to require silent, but that's not too bad. Is it just locked? It shouldn't be. No, it's not locked. It's public. Alright, that's all I'm taking. That's all. That That's too much. Come on, stop. We're going home. That's too much. I can fit, I'll top off the rest of them later. The giant and daycare cancel out, though? Oh, yeah, it's daycare. Oh, you know, then, then it'll be daycare. It was a static crowded? Oh. Oh. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Okay, so... Optimistic, freezing, and slow. Well, it's literally just slowness immunity. Central. That's impressive. Challenging and weakened. Jeez. Okay. Run me up a little more, I guess. What about you? It's a lot of easies and hards. A lot of extended and poisonous. Extended and trap, that's really good. Plentiful but locked? No. I might take the extended but trapped. Freezing scary? Freezing's, yeah. You get brought down pretty fast with that. Just in speed. Uh, so we're still looking for plentiful, we're still looking for personal space. And we're gonna need silent as well too for these. Plentiful locked? New. No. New, no, I don't think so. Silent but locked. Alright. And this one was optimistic but what? Freezing and slowed? So we just have slowness immunity, we'll be okay. Uh, so basically just slowness immunity. Um, what does the haste idol have in terms of immunity? Oh my god, it's slowness immunity built in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Free positive with no negatives. You're... Silent personal space and plentiful. You're not too tired. Any curses are going to be either tired or weakened. Well, that adds plentiful, but that would basically make it that I can no longer apply any curse catalysts. Extended but inert? Oh, extended and hard. Senate hard might actually be kind of good. The problem is that I have a silent downstairs that's, uh... 
Silent Curse, so I might want to wait to see whether or not I can get that with a weekend or whatever. We got Plentiful Fragile and Plentiful Hard. I've got Extended Trapped. That's a random one up there. These are both negatives. Plentiful, Unlucky, Silent, Poisonous, but Raging. Raging would just be a little bit too tedious inside of a vault, unfortunately. Oh. I'm not against that at all. I'm not against that at all, actually. I'll gladly get, like I said, if I have an opportunity to, without much of a big deal, get rid of a double negative, it might impact the future ones, but that's, I'll take it. Giant and Unlucky is perfectly fine with me. Is Inert good or bad? Inert with 0% cooldown is just kind of risky, I guess. It's not bad, per se, depending on the vault that you're running. Vulner vulnerable and weakened. So vulnerable is uh, no resistance. And weakened, obviously, is tough because then I can't apply any curses without it being tired. Personal space with Furious. Thinking about it. I don't mind Furious. I don't think I mind Furious. I think I can do that. I think I can do that. Yeah, I think I can do that. We see it's silent then, but we have a silent curse ready, and then we've got the plentiful negatives. What do we have right here? Plentiful hard and plentiful locked. Right? And then we have... We don't have any personal space here anymore. Unless this one. Silent fast and challenging. Plentiful fragile raging. No. Not worth it. I think I'm okay with uh, Furious. I think I'm alright with that. Yep. Silent hard but tired. Yeah. Damn. That could have been really nice. You don't do anything for me? Okay. What are the plentiful negatives offer now? Plentiful vulnerable and plentiful inerts. Both are kind of iffy, I'll be honest. What is the silence? Tired, yeah. I was hoping it was weekend. Yeah, I was hoping it was weekend. So I think we gotta roll... What do you need CDR for in a CRP? Dash? Dash is nice, yeah. Dash is like the ideal one. Because we don't need um CDR otherwise. But it is just like a... I don't know if it's like a necessary thing. Oh, uh, I do have these down here. Oh shit, I forgot about this. I have statics. Silent Fragile is 100% durability. Oh, well, here we go. Um, It's like if I wanted to, I can apply these. But these are like really good though. Yeah, three Plentifuls. Poisonous is great, obviously hard and challenging. These are all like manageable and the Silent is super nice. The Silent I might need to use but I want to use randoms before I use up um, statics. So I think... I think... Am I going vulnerable in a furious or am I going inert? Are you going to need to use fruits? Maybe a bit. For these, are you just planning on running around and trying to find a miner stop in a crystal room? Probably stop in a crystal room. You have 12 catalyst fragments? I do. I think a nerd is really good. I am actually going to go make those catalysts real quick. 
Um, and speaking of that, I also have uh, some I can buy, I believe, too. So I should probably check this before I go any further. Thank you, Kitty. should probably check this before I do much else. In case we get some kind of miraculous event. <laughs> Good one. The fuck are th what are these, dude? What is this? <laughs> uh, uh, you can't script that shit. Well, these are getting rerolled super quickly. Simple and raging and mega strong and inert. Literally, no thank you. That's really nice. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, it's difficult on it. Simple and difficult. Okay. So, what does this plentiful negative give me? Top right. <laughs> Take it, pretend you never got it. Take it and pretend you never even had the thing. Hold on. That was 100% on you. Alright, so up here now. We're just looking for silent, and that's it. And we have a silent curse down below, but I'm checking to see if I can get it up here first. Which I can't yet. Yeah, we don't have a silent here. Alright, the silent curse, please tell me it's not tired. Damn it! <sighs> so we had the silent fragile and call today. Why don't we build this a little bit up to see whether or not we need to use that first? Um, so we still need silent personal space, plentiful, and optimistic on you. Plentiful off. We already checked the rolls, didn't we? I think we did. And yeah, nothing here. No. No, thank you. Wow. Silent but rotten. I don't think you can confidently take that in a CRP. So no thanks. Um So silent and slowed is really nice, right? Because we have slow disability. But I don't know if it's too early to apply a silent to this when I still need like plentiful and stuff. Optimistic, Hunger, and Slowed. This one might be the better one to pick. Because we have Optimistic, Hunger, and Slowed, which means that we're limited down to whether or not we get... Uh... Is two curses too much right now, though? No, because we have a Static. No, I think this is fine. Yeah, Hunger and Slowed we can manage. It's the only two curses that we have. We hope that we get weakened then. Okay, I can work off that. Try not to ruin this crystal. Silent difficult tired. Damn it. Silent lock tired. Personal space with inerts. Hey man, I love you. It just kind of concerns me. I don't know, doesn't make me feel safe. Hello, Mr. Streamer Man. Thanks for streaming today. Mystery box opening. 
Also, have you gotten my cake block yet? Also, when are you adding the ducky to the pond in the botany area? Also, I don't love you. Soon, 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 and thanks. Thank you very much for $25, Elena. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Ian, thank you very much for $28 months earlier, by the way. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. And Padworld, thank you very much for six months of a dinner to get that one. What negatives does the Plentifuls have down here? Plentiful and Chaotic, right. Still? I already shuffled these. Wait a minute. I think I just... How long have I played this mod pack for? If you apply a curse... And a positive, that won't reseed the negative, will it? That's why after applying the positive negative, it was still tired down below in my other thing, because I never reseeded the curse. It just reseeded the things that I had added. So then it stays as a result locked and chaotic because all I did was apply a positive and two curses. I hate that it's taking me this long to actually figure that out. Holy shit, I should have known that by now. <laughs> I really should have known that by now, huh? Because I, I realized, like, when I brought this down here to look at the curses, that, like, oddly enough, all of the tired and weakens seemed very much similar to what they were before. Interesting. Not sure about that. Uh, not sure that's the case. Uh, for sure? I guess we can go back in the VOD and check. I guess we can go back in the VOD and check. See whether or not any of the negatives changed from what they were before. Uh, could pro uh maybe it didn't. You learn before day 100, though. It makes sense for it to be that way. It does. It does, yeah. Yeah, it does. Am I applying inert to this? I think I am. Personal space inert? I think let's do it. I think let's do it. I think we'll do it. That scares me a little bit. That uh, scares me a lot a bit, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, dashing is going to take a full uh, duration of time, but other than that, I don't really need anything else. It's definitely not a uh, not a completion vault, that's for sure now. All right, so what do we need left? We need plentiful and silent, and then we're going to go on this one. And we're just testing the uh, silent one down below. Strong, chaotic, no. What about any of you? New. No. Okay, what about the plentifuls? What negatives do you have now? Fast and fragile. I like the fragile. I'm a big, big fan of the fragile. That's for sure. I think we can take that one. And then this would still be tired, right? Yeah, it would still be silent tired. Okay. Rainbow for the inert run? Oh, yeah. For sure. Uh, plentiful, fragile. Cool. So we just need silent now. So the problem is because this isn't reseeding. Yeah, these are all the exact same. These are still all the exact same because I haven't used any uh, curses. So the problem... here Here's the problem. I have two curses on this one and two curses on this one. That means that unless I apply a curse to this crystal, this silent modifier isn't going to get reseeded. So I cannot apply this catalyst to this crystal because it will always be tired. Damn. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, that kind of blows the way that works. I get it though, but eh, that's a bit tough. 
So basically with the, um, what is it, Silent and Fragile? Well, I guess there's only one that I can apply it to now. It's a Silent. Oh, okay. So let's just do this then. Can you put a seal on it? No, you can only put a seal on one that hasn't any modifiers done to it. Finished. That one's good to go. And then we can check the positives up here for a Silent. Silent is the only thing that I'm looking for to finish this one off. Come on. You know you want to. You know you want to. <sighs> Drat. Not quite worth it. Throw a random one in there then? What do you mean? Thank you, Atlanta, for the poison mushroom. Appreciate that. What is silent? Silence minus four mobs. Well, um... We have two CRPs ready to go. And they're both co-op, actually. It's kind of funny. And then this one is... Basically almost done. But not quite. So, let's go ahead and... You know what I want to do, actually? Where is my, uh... Where's my gray stained glass? I want to take, uh, stained glass and keep it in here. That way, if I need to put any of the crystals away, I can just do this. And then do this. And take it out. That's a lot easier than anything else. So if you add a stack negative at the bottom, what was now silent a faster run turned into a silent plus random negative? I.e. reroll the faster. Well, that's not a static, uh, silent, that's a static faster. So I was hoping to get uh, silent on like the uh, static difficult or static hard, which didn't uh, pull, unfortunately. So, yeah, that's the problem with that one. Random crystal to re-roll it if that works. No, it doesn't work. Crystals don't impact other crystals in that regard. All right, well, um, after all of that work, we actually do have a lot of crystals that we've gotten done today. Well, not a lot, but we have, uh, what is that? Eight crystals that we've done, so we might as well see whether or not we get anything on these real fast. Good one. That's on the co-op too. I get it. I, I get it. I get it. I understand. I understand. <sighs> Bro, what is happening, dude? Rich trapped in hunger isn't bad, but hunger's a really br bu uh, brutal. I was gonna say beautiful one, brutal one to start out with. I don't think I'd start out with hunger to be honest. That makes the crystal just so much harder to build down the line. Rich fast and yeah, no, not rich fast and hunger either. These are all like curses or statics, static curses, like random curses or static curses. Exploration. Optimistic unlucky, no. Rich fast for hunger. Yikes, dude. Yikes, dude. These are all bad. How have I pulled I've pulled five copiouses today? How am I doing this? I haven't even ran, like, any vaults to get more catalysts, and I pulled five copiouses today. Or four. Four or five. One of the two. I'm losing my head. <sighs> the scene mechanic makes it super interesting, though. The fact that single negative catalysts are essentially a negative only reroll, so you can reroll that copious chaotic into a copious negative. Lots of interesting potential for that. No, I agree with you. I've re-rolled, uh, just with a, like, bad, or with a decent negative before. 
like this right here we we have this for um actually multiple reasons we originally kept them for shard runs but right now we can use them as negative modifier reseeds if we really were that desperate which is very well possible like we could go in here and be like oh poison isn't that bad or withering's not that bad or unlucky's not that bad we can just reseed it real fast um but also Ram negative modifiers are going to be good for the new thing coming out where you can essentially void orb catalyst. So anybody who's thrown away negative modifiers is going to be really not happy. <laughs> We're a little bit ahead of the curve, which feels pretty cool. Well, uh, I mean, what can you do? We'll start with the, um... We'll start with the copious destructed, probably. Jesus, man. What is today? Literally, like, blow up your base to reset the luck. Die in a vault to reset the luck. I've had my luck reset twice in three days, and the game's just like, I have no idea where to put your luck. Take it. Mind you, destructive sucks, but it's worth copious. What? The unfortunate part about it is that we already have slowed and hunger, which means that curse catalysts are going to be very annoying, but I'm, I can't not take that. Could wait for indestructible on that run? Could. This is a really shit crystal so far, to be honest, though. Like, I saw the copious and rich is obviously fantastic, but the... Slowed and hunger is pretty bad. It might not be that Pete is lucky. It's just that he plays so much that good things to time seem skewed. Right. Cool, Dan. Do you know the rule about Fight Club? You know the one rule about Fight Club? Cease talking. Cease talking. Yeah, so the whole uh, fact that, like, every single one of my catalysts now has a curse to it is not great. <laughs> That's not ideal. Um, it's not going to be easy finishing off this crystal. Silent Inert Weakened. I don't think I'm willing to basically, like, get rid of every... Oh my god, okay. Um, I might just chuck that on there, to be honest. I don't know if I'm ready to get rid of, uh, every, like, curse outside of, um... Oh. Well, I don't need silent, though. That's a waste. I don't need silent, I only need personal space. Raging and freezing. Interesting. Raging with destructive. Wow. There goes your armor. I'll throw the plentiful on. Oh, there's a uh, impromptu CRP. So we're looking for personal space, optimistic and extended. They're silent, but difficult. That's basically personal space. I don't mind losing that, because even though silent's not necessary, that's still, like, 
making use of a random positive catalyst. Extended faster as well is not great. Silent Trap Crowded? Redundant. There's nothing in here. Oh, let's do that one. So, positive and difficult modifier. And remember, we have another copia, so we can throw down a few. Oh my god, dude. Cobus versus Plentiful Silent. Perfect. And we just need, uh, Extended Optimistic. Extended Freezing Tired? No. Mm, nope, 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 nope. No, no, no. Extended Double Locked, Extended Rush. No. What was it extended on here now? Frail. Destructive and Frail. Wow. Would Indestructible be nice on this? Sure, but it's rare as hell. Indestructible is just as, uh... Indestructible is just as rare as, um... Like, Copious or Treasure. It's a tier 3, so it's huge. If you're gonna run the Haste 2 idle on that run, Indestructible is almost necessary. I forgot about the idle, to be fair. I did forget about the idol. <laughs> I can't do... Because it would be 50% multiplied to the 200%. That's a lot of... That's basically like... What would that be? like four and a half times the amount of damage or amount of durability lost. I'm gonna stop on this one for right now. I feel treasure, super lucky, and indestructible are rarer than copious. No, I found super lucky quite a bit. Then again, you might just be biased to my POV. <laughs> Alright, hold on. We got a copious chaotic that I have to ruin my life with, especially for the fact that it already is hunger. Feeling fantastic about this right now. Does Indestructible cancel it out? Yeah, Indestructible is 100%. Plentiful, difficult weekend. I'm not willing to put two curses on it right now. Optimistic Challenging slowed. Not on Chaotic. Personal Space hard. So Chaotic is seven mobs. Personal Space and uh, Silent are kind of needed on this, even though it won't give uh, zero mobs. It's still, like, much better than not. Clumsy and Freezing. That's okay. I have a Static Indestructible in my single player world. That's so nice. That's really, really nice. Would I take this? Clumsy is no parry. Freezing is just the hex modifier. Hmm. I don't think I'm working on this crystal yet. I'm gonna sit on this one for a little bit. Silent slowed. Nah, it's too early of a crystal to put silent on. Yeah, I'm going to sit on this one for a little bit. Move it over there. And then we have six uh, vaults that have random things on them. Why was I holding on to this one? Do you have anything for me? No, I don't know why I'm holding on to this one. Where's the co-op? Oh, yeah, it's the... Yep. Indestructible seems like the rarest. I've definitely gotten a couple of them, but not too many. Treasure seems the rarest one for me to find. Could Rust CRP and just beeline for a minor and see a Terror Shutter in action? Well, no, I'm not gonna... If I'm running a CRP, I'm gonna find... I'm gonna, like, spend time inside of, uh... Potentially an X Mark, a Crystal Room, and a, uh, Viewer Room. I'm not just gonna beeline for a Mine Room. The Mine Room, obviously, is the number one, right? But you have to take what you get, because sometimes you might not even get a Mine Room. Horde is more common for you than Rich, though? <laughs> for me, yeah, Horde seems pretty common. Man, what a day today's been. Started out shaky. Defined shaky, but we've definitely... 
We've really just made a lot of productivity, essentially making CRPs and preparing for CRPs. This thing is a beauty. Um, how much TNT do we have? 1,400 left in here, so 2,000 in total? Whoops. Uh, I'm gonna fix that real quick. What if the Terra Shatter's range can reach into a treasure room and break the treasure chest? <laughs> or even the door? Well, the thing about a treasure room door is that if I manage to get in there, I die. A treasure room will insta-kill you if you manage to get past the door without the door uh, registering that you use the key to open it. But I see what you mean, and it's very possible that if I place, like... If a door was here, and I went to, like, the corner and placed a block right here and used the Terror Shatterer, I could see it breaking the door. I think that might break it, but I don't know if I want to try that out right now, though. That's funny and Tubbo's doing? Yep. So, I heard. Alright. We're not doing a CRP right now. I think we'll wait until tomorrow. Um, so if you're watching this, no, I'm taking tomorrow off. Yeah, I think I'm taking tomorrow off. We'll see. I might stream for a little bit, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be taking tomorrow off. Um, in the meantime, though, so I'll probably run the CRP on Monday, but I think for today, let's run like one or two rando vaults. Trying to get Tenos to uh, like us a little bit more than he currently does. How far can Reach go? Really far. In fact, for a CRP run, I'm probably going to consider uh, unspecking the last level of experience and just maxing out uh, like a lot of levels of Reach. Because having high Reach is really nice in mine rooms. The Terror Shatter might make it so we don't need to do that though, considering we're not going to be vein mining and seeing like an ore that's a million miles away like we currently do. Um, but it might be nice though. Three minutes old Star Shop reset? Oh yeah, I should probably wait for that. This is so crazy, dude. Like, I don't even want to use this right now. <laughs> I don't... I don't even want to use this idol right now, dude. This thing is mental. Because what's my CDR right now? <laughs> Is unbreaking? It does. Good thing it's capped. Yeah, good thing it's capped. If this was pre cap and pre change to where the cooldown uh, activates after the effect is done, not after it's cast, we would literally be able to have 100% ghost walk. We'll probably, uh, plate this one as well, too, at some point. But yeah, I think, um... I'm just gonna go and put that in there for right now. And then use the, uh, other hollowed one that I have, because I'm nervous. I'm a nervous little bully. Infinite Shaman? Yeah, it's... wild. Sparkle Side and Legacy? What did Jordan not have in Legacy? Genuine question. Is there much? Probably not. Charge up. Platinum, Pandora, and Vital. Nothing in there for me today. Yo, 
Yo, Stone Oak. Thank you very much for the one of those on channel points. I appreciate that immensely. Thank you, thank you. Cal with a diamond block. Thank you so, so much. The only thing Jordan didn't have is honor. Okay, dude. <laughs> Uh, we got, uh, I'm gonna need to make some, I'm gonna need to bake some cookies soon, dude. I'm gonna bake some cookies, I'm gonna need some new CDR sets in a bit. Like, we got some stuff that needs to get done, dude. So good in Legacy that they had to nerf him? Exactly. Um, if y'all wouldn't mind, though, I think before, uh, before I run a vault... I think I'm going to order some groceries for a late night delivery because if I don't, then I'm going to have to go out to the store after the stream's done. I don't really want to go out to the store at 11 p.m. on a Saturday night. There's just other things that I would prefer to do, and that's not one of them. Ajans Row in the Weird, thank you very much for letting me know. Thank you so much for watching so much. Yo, for real, thank you guys for watching the streams. Today's been a really good stream, and, uh, really good company. I'm glad you guys like Vault Hunters, and I'm glad that it's still, like, entertaining for you guys this far in. I appreciate y'all a lot. Thanks for, uh, helping me do the things that I do. Vault Hunters is good. Hi, Kara. Carrie, you should have seen some of the shit we did today. We, um... So... Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna nerd out to you for a second. So we, um... We needed to find these things called tomes. And they're most commonly found in stronghold library chests. But... The problem with this world is that you can't really locate a stronghold chest because the eyes don't point to strongholds. There was this thing with the, um, the seating or whatever, so the only way for you to find a stronghold was basically like naturally finding it. Well, I stumbled across a stronghold that nobody else knew about kind of like midway through the series. So I was like, holy shit, wait a minute. I know where a stronghold is. I've been here. So we went to the stronghold, and I didn't find what I needed in the library. So chat and myself kind of collabed on it, and we managed to use the coordinates of this stronghold to locate the other two strongholds off of approximation from the 0, zero axis to spawn. And on the last chest of the last library in the first ring stronghold, we found what we needed. It was so fucking cool. Anyway, hi, good morning. It's fun to watch how your focus and goals change week by week. Yep. Very enjoyable. We tried using eyes in the modded biomes. Uh, there's no strongholds out in the modded biomes. Specifically, yes, and it beelined me straight back to, uh... The non-modded biomes. To try and take me to an area that wouldn't have what I needed. Okay. Um. Kara, I was gonna order groceries real quick before I go into the next vault. Just because I can get groceries delivered before uh, I have to... Like, before I gotta go to sleep tonight, because I don't really want to go out late tonight to get groceries. I'll pick you up some stuff. I plan on potentially going tomorrow as well, too, but I just want to get, like, a couple things for breakfast tomorrow. If there's anything that you need, telegram me, okay? Otherwise, I'll pick you up some goodies. Dude, I haven't had string cheese in so long. You like string cheese? I haven't had string cheese in ages.
Pastor raised the eggs? You know it. Hi. Did you hear what I said? Oh, you didn't. Oh, I said I was going to order groceries um, before I run this vault just so I could have a couple things for breakfast tomorrow. Um, just so I don't have to go out late tonight. Um, but I was planning, we're going to go out. I'm going to go out tomorrow, though. I was just wondering if there's anything that you wanted now for, like, tomorrow morning. All right, cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. What does it feel like? What does what feel like? You ready for tomorrow's game? I'm ready to watch our future Hall of Fame quarterback ball out. I am very excited to watch Jordan Love play. I don't really know. I don't. I'm just going to be blunt. I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to root for our team when Rodgers comes back as quarterback for however long he stays as the quarterback of this team. Because, like, he's a moron outside of football and, like, regarding the team. So, like, shit. That's why I'm excited for Jordan Love to play. I just want to have a throw to Adams a ton. Oh, yeah. That would be good. Why is he a moron? Because he basically outed himself on a podcast that he's an anti-vaxxer and knew basically all all 20 uh, all 20 Twitter buzzwords about why the vaccine is awful. Yeah, and yeah, and he, and he took medicine for horses. But, you know, like, that's not as important as, you know, the buzzwords, right? No, that's, that's totally, that's excusable. <laughs> I go strongholds don't spawn in mana biomes for you, but the server I play on does. That was a fix later. It's just because of this server has a different generation for it. That was like manually altered. That's the reason why. Um, what's do I want? I have no idea what else I want right now. Oh yeah, um... That please. Um... <laughs> At least he won't have worms. You know what? You got a point. Actually, they have a point. I don't want worms. I mean, I wasn't concerned about worms either until now. Maybe we should look into them. Do our own, do our own research. You know, I'm somewhat of a scientist myself. Yeah, but Carol, like, why would I take the vaccine if I want to have kids, you know? The vaccine's gonna make me sterile, you know, dude? <laughs> well, I can give you my phone.
All right. It is time. This vault goes out to all of the people in my chat who did not use horse medicine to treat COVID-19 or prevent it. Gang. We out here. Because the vaccine... ...is a political choice, brother! Trapped but prismatic, I'm upset. Strong but furious, trapped but prismatic. Okay, dude. Alright, man, whatever. Alright, we're getting... We're going south. Oh, mining fatigue, great. Plus two mining fatigue. Yeah, no, 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 this is fine. I'm totally okay with everything that's happening right now. No, like I said, completely fine with everything that's happening right now. With your immunity... Mining fatigue immunity, thank you. Thank you. Alright, let's get some catalysts. Rig. K E I U R G. How the frick do you spell Keurig? It's a very good question. Tenos mad shit. Sip. Yeah, uh, you're right. Freaking Tenos, dude. What a like. Both ends of the sword vault. Oh, here we go. I do need this. Uh, oh, hey, how you doing? Let's <laughs> go ahead and stare at me, that's fine. Oh, K E I U R G. Oh, K E U R I G, I see. Here says thank you, chat. Favor change? Damn. Oh! I gotta be faster in this vault, dude. I feel like I've looted nothing. A very scallion vault. True. Every positive must have a negative. I understand where the balancing comes from. And we... Some changes have been made. But I'm still gonna kek about it. Ouch. There's a lot of platforms and chests up here. Damn, there's a lot of these. Hey, normal is many. Jeez. Anything notable happened in the last two hours? Uh, if you didn't catch the tome, that was very notable. Other than that... Uh... We traded with this gal and got, like, almost three completely finished CRP crystals to run. And outside of the trading, we also rolled two copiouses on our own, which is just, I don't know what also is happening with me, to be honest. But hey, man, just lucky, you know? Just player diff. Alright, so we're going northeast. Northeast. 25 minutes in this vault, and I have found not a single obe. What's the trade for? Uh, Iskel just said, uh, when he was watching my stream, and I was looking through catalysts for CRP, he said I could check his catalysts. So I went over and did. Um, so I took three catalysts of his, and replaced them with equal value catalysts. And then gave him an Echo Pog as a uh, payback, like a thank you for doing it. Little bonus. It's trapped. It's trapped. 
And it's no Omegas. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, first of all, it's nice to at least have a good amount of chests here that we can grab. Hopefully, these don't contain a bunch of concretes or a bunch of uh, the blocks because I would love to just loot them for catalyst fragments. But I think I'm going to do this, even if it's trapped. I want to see some vault rooms that are all underwater. That'd be kind of cool. Thank God that was not stray. A very good opportunity for us to get some Omegas. When we don't already have... Well, we've got like 18 or 19 Omegas. This would be a very good time to overflow that. I guess Trap's going to make it a little bit more painful though. Better reason to get water breathing? True. Frick, dude. That's all the way over there, see? I'm getting like barely any catalysts! And no Omegas! This is a crime! So many blue concretes. <laughs> Imagine trap just makes it so it's more blue concretes than anything else. Okay, I want you to know that even though I absolutely love the uh, the polar bear that is behind me, it's pretty. I don't hear it too bad with my headphones, but it, it's pretty heavy. Like Jack can hear a little bit of it. I don't know if, uh... Well, I plan on doing that, but it makes for, like, it looks cool. You bought it for me, so, like, why would I not, you know? When was the last time they added non-Omega rooms? I think the last room that was added that was non-Omega was the, uh, forest room with all the, uh, multicolored trees and the chests on the top of there. I don't remember which other rooms were added in that uh, update, but I know that that was one of the last rooms. And that's an Omega! Let's go! Yeah, baby! Alright, so four, three, and one. Got 20 puzzle concretes. Beautiful. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Uh, please don't be too bad. That wasn't that bad. Oh, that's pretty good. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. Why did that look like there's a... What the fuck? Wait, I'm not routing the right way, am I? Oh my god, why did I think this is a fucking raffle vault? Why did I think this is a... Oh my god, I haven't ran enough vaults today. I thought it was a raffle vault. I'm like, why isn't this a diamond? It's a circle. That tripped me out! I thought I was in a raffle this whole time! <laughs> I'm like, why am I able to go to the right one more time? I swear I'm going northeast. Frickin' circle vault, dude. Got everything? Cool. That would explain why I hadn't found an obelisk yet, either. <laughs> and again, there's two right here. Yeah, dig site trap would be... quite unfortunate. Does one of the vaults come in circles? As of... last patch? 
Uh, yeah. Um, not should be able to here. Here, let me have. Thank you. I don't think I went south from that room, but I'm definitely able to keep going this way, so. Should I check for... We've done quite a lot of stronghold navigation already. No, he went over to it and kind of, like, grunted at it a bit, but he's not, like, scared, scared of it. He's laid down in front of the fireplace with it on. Kind of wild that he's not, huh? Oh, shit. I'm sensing a common theme with today. Why is it going so slow right now? What the heck? Oh, because I don't have the mining fatigue. Oh, because I don't have the mining fatigue on when I have the luck idle on. I see. That's why everything's so slow. I was wondering. Yeah, we don't need any of that. Um, thank you. We go. The mass way smaller than before. Uh, I think it was bigger at some point before I had to reinstall all my, uh, configs and everything. But I don't want it any larger because then it would cover up the chat. When people talked. This prismatic effect guild is just no. You can't get, a uh, guild, uh, pr uh yep. <laughs> Catalyst fragments and guild is just... Did you fix your configs? No. I don't really care to, to be honest. They're not doing anything game breaking, so eh. The only thing I've seen it do so far is change the uh, glass uh, corundum to be leaves. So you know, like that's not really that big of a deal. Yeah, this vault layout's super weird. It's cool to have a new layout, though. I'm happy about that change. I may be a Minecraft player, but you know what? I'll welcome circles in. Over here and there. I like when there's not so many people in chat, and only chats where a message goes by in a second. I mean, my chat never really does, to be fair. I get what you mean, though. I think the only time where my chat is like... Like that would be during MCC. Yeah, it's nice. I prefer reading, like, every message if I can. I don't like missing too much. Kinda gives me anxiety in a way if I don't know, like, what my chat's talking about. Not from, like, a moderation standpoint, but just from, like, a, you know, I want to know kind of thing. Ooh, hello. Are we feeling a favor change, Tenos? 
would be kind of cool if you were. Chat's full of lurkers. I got a bag of speed running, dude. I missed the chatters. Oh, my filled altar chest. It's mostly just filled with cobblestone. And I know why it is. The cobblestone's calling me, dude. Favor change? No favor change. Damn. So I also got Exocords, right? I think I thought this was a raffle, so I didn't really, like, say the Exocords out loud. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I see. Hey, relax! No extra cords. Alright. It's become a lock vault. Nobody has the cords. I'm fine through O's or I'm dying in here. I'm ready. Did you run a CRP yet? No, I'm probably not running a CRP until uh, next stream, which will probably be Monday. I'm planning on taking Sunday off, but I might do a smaller stream. I've yet to decide on that one or not. That being said, we only need one more on the obelisk front. I did not go into my inventory. Cool. So I have Thank you. Hey, Vod Goblin, that. I appreciate you. I like how with the size of the vault, I've still only gone northeast. Actually, no, I guess we're like... I guess we're going a little bit northwest now. It just seemed like for a while I was only going northeast. I want that dig site, man. I want that dig site. Excite Furious Trap would be kind of hell, though, but the Prismatic would make up for it. I'd deal with the armor loss if I needed to. And Wendar, I am so sorry to be leaving you so much lately. What if I lost, like, Wendar favor just because I haven't done Wendar idols in a while? I think Volkot just get, gets bored with me. But yeah, you know, I not really feel like I like you much. There's my echo. Have you ran any goblins lately? Uh, did we run into one earlier? I think we ran into a goblin uh, earlier today. The raffle that I ran. Ten and a half minutes. Not a super big fan of the rooms that I'm running into. I 
I'm also not running for objectives, so I don't know why I have my lights down right now. Nothing going on here. At the top part, still going northwest. Prismatic Strap describes the day you've had perfectly. Good one. Hey, can I have this stuff? Oh! Can't go that way. Fantastic. All right, uh, court check if y'all would. 2500, 32.50. We'll just stay on that one. It's, uh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. What if the day before the final vault, you spec into Angel and just stay in midair and watch everybody else fight the fall? <laughs> I mean, you gotta be wild if you think that I'm not gonna spec into Angel at some point before the series ends just to try it. I don't think it's gonna be anywhere near as good as, uh, <laughs> Elite. Okay, yeah, Furious without chest plate kind of uh, fucking hurts. You know, maybe being able to do this with ch with a uh, chest plate on might actually make uh, Angel worth it in just that instance. Yeah, it might. That hurt a bit. That didn't hurt at all. Not gonna lie, flinch though. Can't tell if we're still going northwest or if we're going southwest at this point. We're kind of just hanging around on top. I think I've missed a dead end room up north because I haven't checked that way. No, we're going southwest. Okay. Love you. This many dollars. Sub Wishlight? I have to run a 5k tomorrow for class and I'm trying to work on a personal project, but if I have to see the word chunk seed one more time, I'm gonna chunk a seed through someone's head. I love Peter's our procrastination. Chunk seed. See the word chunk seed one more time? What's a chunk seed? Never much of the five though. Thank you so, so much. It's a Minecraft thing? Okay, that's what I thought, but... I don't want to sound like a dork. The white chunks generate? Interesting. I can tell you're not very, uh... Not very happy with the way that it works. From what I'm, uh, gathering. Alright, we're gonna need to head back soonish. Oh, hey. Oh my god, you can run. Well, I'm not killing you. 
Nope. That boy got legs. Good God, man. It's actually tripping me out of the size of this vault. This vault has to be huge. Like, I don't know if circle is bigger than square, but it damn well feels like it. Chat's your room! Thank you, guys. I appreciate the goodies. Oh, boy. Not those goodies, though. Oh, and my dorsal. Oh! oh my god, how have I found two of you? Bro, no shot, you're- Holy shit! Dude! Relax! 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 Thank you! Give me a common idol! I hate that the bear is looking away from chat. <laughs> Alright, uh, it's three minutes. I got a dip. I gotta, I gotta go. 2,500. 3250. That's pretty fucking far away from where I am. Well, let's fix that. Five hundred. Holy crap, that's pretty far. I could be looking for objectives, but I'm kind of just trying to beeline right now. There's your fifty. Got a minute forty-seven. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, Tenos. Tenos. No. I don't have time, Tenos! I'm so sorry, you have to forgive me. Oh, Tenos. Hello, Mr. Boog. Farewell, Mr. Boog. Tenos! No! You don't deserve this for me. You deserve so much better. Oh. So that's gonna go into the negatives, dude. Not the negatives. I feel like piece like me where he's like pump three, pump three the entire time going into a gas station and then still looks outside when at the register. I pay with my card. I don't go in. I pay with my card. In all fairness, no matter which car I'm driving and for how long, I still have to check which side of the car the gas tank, or the gas side's on the gas door. Uh, Jedi Clyde, thank you very much for the 100 bits. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And uh, Mrs. Baby, thank you very much for the three months. Thank you. Thank you. 
cow? Yeah, I have a cow around my base because I need it for um making uh what's it called? Uh cakes every once in a while. So I just kinda hang around with it. Alright, well, outside of the two or the one puzzle conquer that we got, we didn't really get any Omega rooms. Go, let's go. I'm so ready to be disappointed. I'm so ready to be disappointed. So ready to be disappointed. Alright, it's time. Thank you, PC. Appreciate that. <sighs> Will it be a dupe? You know what? Actually, I'm gonna switch this I'm gonna switch this game up a little bit. Will it be unique? Two minute down. For reference, that's not, okay, no, that's, okay, one second. What the fuck, where did my Minecraft go? Oh, my Minecraft was in full screen for some reason, fantastic, thank you. Feeling loved right now? Thank you, Minecraft. For reference, uh, it's a really good crate for a minute left. We have 16 out of 25 unique artifacts. There are 9 that we have yet to obtain. Do with that in the odds as you will. Thank you very much for the choice, Lask. I appreciate that greatly. Let's go ahead and get you emptied out. Turn that off. Make sure we're good on that one. Yoink you real quick. Thank you, thank you. And then once that's good, we've gone through everything on here. Let's put this away in here. Let's put this away in here. Let's take you. How many Catalyst Fragments do we get? I'm sorry. Without a dig site and with Trapped, I got 70... Okay. No, that's fine. That's completely okay. I'm alright with that. That's fine. It's not like before the update or anything. Whichever that was. 88 was the highest that I've ever gotten, and that was by, like, two dig sites or something like that. What's up, Mitch? Noodle Raid? What's up, Mitch? Thank you very much for the raid, brother. Bro, can I tell you how good it feels to get a raid from you on Twitch.tv? I love the timeline that I'm living in right now, man. Thanks so much for the raid, brother, and I hope the stream's going well. I hope Skyblock Idols, uh, Isles is, uh... Well, I mean, I say I hope it's going well. I know it's going well. I hope the streams are going well. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate that, son. Thank you, thank you. Very happy to see you on Twitch. Very, very happy. Very cool. All right, you done sorting yet? Probably not. Uh, you good now? Awesome, perfectly timed. Artifact Gambo is nice once in a while, but it never quite has the same endorphin rush as when the guac hits. <laughs> True, that's real. Enjoy your stream, it's going good. Heading off for a late dinner. Hope the food is fantastic. Thank you, man. Appreciate you a lot. Yo, Quirky. Thank you very much for the gift of sub. Thank you. Oh boy, alright, how's the ratio looking? That's about... I feel like it's a little bit heavy on the beliefs, but what are you gonna do? Arachi with the 21k, Silver with the 85,000, that's heavy. Oh god, alright. When will you come around, and will it be now? Yes! Number 17! Yes, sir! Tell me how fitting it is. Tell me how fitting it is to get the Ender Dragon artifacts after all we've done specifically today. You want to talk about my luck? You cannot script any of this. What 
a wonderful time and what a wonderful day it is a great day to be a believer oh yes it is oh credited submission in the end stone sure <laughs> uh i love it you know what just for today alone just for today alone i'm gonna add a little uh I'm going to add a little note to this one. Glowing glass item frame goes underneath here with an eye of ender. Perfect. I like it. Seventeen, baby! Boom! How is blowing up a Sanya setup connected with the ender dragon? <laughs> Good one. Good one. Dude. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I love that. Have you ever caught a wild Jerome in here? I don't even know if Jerome has a Twitch account. <laughs> I don't know if he does. I mean, probably he does. Um, so... Artifact 17 out of 25. There are only eight more remaining that we do not have. Which is wonderful, because... Um... Oh, just a moment. What are those? What kind are those? They are out of my bagels. Oh, never mind. They already replaced them because I took too long to respond. Thank you. That's perfectly fine. Thank you so much. That... That replacement will do great. Sorry for the delayed... ...response. Not the bagels. I actually like the highlight of my morning as well, too. That's okay. They found some plain bagels, and I'm like, I can work. I can make that work. Uh, Poet of Nothing, thank you very much for the 100,000 channel points. Thank you so, so dearly. Plus, have my point sixty k on Nars was going to go all in. Uh, but you can't, you can't knock yourself for not going all in, though, because it could have just been everything out. It could have been all of it gone. Dude, I feel, oh, let's go, baby. What an end. What an end to the, the end, the, <laughs> the portal room, the stronghold, the end dimension saga. It all just ends beautifully with that today. We got a mystery stew off out as well. Five helmets as a mixture, not a single rare plus though, kind of sad. And, uh, I think I'm going to take the, what puzzle concrete am I missing the most of? Rare and, uh, blue. So I'm going to go and yoink those real quick. Oh, there's another one in there. You can go in there. Thank you. And let's see. Bag's good. Fantastic. That's on pickup. Do we need anything else in here? No, we don't. Farewell to thee. I guess we're rolling a stew during all this. It do be a common stew, though, and that is okay by me. If you didn't unlock industrial far going, you lied to us. True, actually. Uh, that's kind of nice. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, no, no, and no. We can pull the res off you, and maybe the... What were you? Something here that I wanted? I think I wanted the CDR. Yeah, I can pull the CDR off that. And then we can pull the, uh, potentially pull the potion effect off you. The double durability is gonna kind of suck, though. Ah, it's not worth the, uh... It's not worth the thing. Oh, what about you? No. Farewell to you. Whoops. What the hell did I do there? Oh, I've scuffed everything, dude. Alright, cool. 
Oh, that was massive, man. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. It's been nice. It's been... It, it's good to get an artifact. Like, not even, like, a unique artifact, but it's just good to get an artifact off of a crate that wasn't from my first vault that I ran. I feel like the first vault that I run is by far and large the most profitable. And I don't know why I feel that way. Like, the raffle that I do at the beginning of streams, half of the time will give me an artifact. And then no matter how many other uh, ones that I run later on in the day, none of those give me artifacts. I have no clue. What I do know is we have a lot of catalysts to make. How many, in fact? 15 of them. Uh, that kind of sucks. That's not great. That's awful. I see the luck is balancing out very well right now. Wow. This is not... Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, that was less desirable than I would have liked. Let's um go ahead and re-roll some of these real fast. So, what am I re-rolling? Super healing negative, probably keep. Re-rolling freezing and re-rolling rush. Two negatives makes an optimistic negative. That's pretty good. Uh, easy double negative makes what with what? Super healing curse. Plain old negative. We roll that one. Corky, do you have something for me? Would I keep a super healing with a negative modifier? I have a super healing and a curse and super healing with a negative. I'll oh, reroll a super healing negative. Oh, then I'll keep a super healing curse. No. Uh. I don't know. They're both not bad. But like. Yeah, I'm annoyed. I know I'm not gonna get anything good if I re-roll it. I know they're fine to keep. Leave me alone. That did not turn out nearly as good as I would have hoped. So, single negative goes there. Uh, optimistic, safe zone. That's very nice, at least. Those are really good pulls. Uh, super healing curse goes up here. And then we can check the rest of these, even though they're not super ideal. These are all positive. Super unlucky will be fine if we do it on a CRP, but otherwise that's not going anywhere near a gilded run. Nowhere close, bucko. Do we test the Terra Shatterer yet? Not yet. That super unlucky sucks to look at, dude. You know what? I'll go ahead and apply that and just never think about it again, you know? That's that's a good way to get rid of it. <laughs> Not have to worry about it possibly rearing its treasure potential head. Let's see if we got anything else, but that one's looking quite worth it to me. That was copious super unlucky, I might consider that, but uh I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Very interesting. I guess leave you uh, here for right now. Where's my killer boss? Let's check uh, a couple crystals that we've already got some stuff on real fast. Like, how many favors do you need before a god can curse or bless you? Four in either direction. You should make a crystal with everything on it just for fun. That could be fun. That could be fun. There was no CRP ran today. Super lucky, furious, optimistic. Yeah, yeah, good one. Poor daycare with double reach. I don't know about that. Uh, let's see. What are you out of now? 
Oh. Oh, it's been ten months. Why is this app bugging me? I'm just trying to respond to the person. Nothing is showing up. I'm, I how can I respond when I don't see the text? Oh, they were replaced with something else. Now I feel inconvenient, or I feel like an asshole. No, do the other one. Do the box. Uh, I'm trying to respond my to my shopper. But every time I go to the text thing, it, like, deletes their message, so I don't know how to talk to them. <laughs> I feel like I'm taking a year. Why did this guy gift him a hundred subs? Cause he's a nice guy. Treasure with anything? No. Horde silent optimistic daycare. Nothing on you. Horde fatiguing. He's optimistic on that. What do you need? Just extended, right? Not willing to put. Oh, wait, no. Do you also need personal space? You need personal space. I don't care about that one. Super lucky poisonous. Optimistic lock? No. Nothing on any of this? Dang, okay. Nothing on any of those crystals. What about the CRPs? <sighs> I wish I could. I wish I could. Wait. Dude, <laughs> I'm trying to talk to my shopper. So every time, it's even happening now when I send a message like, my chat is just blank. I can't talk to them. They're, they're, they asked me for a replacement because they didn't have the, the instant ramen that uh, Kara wanted. So they sent a photo and said, is there anything in this image that you would like? as a replacement to your ramen. And... I, I look at the photo for like a bit until it disappears, and I think I see like an orange box on the bottom right that's like a different brand that's chicken, like the same like flavor or whatever. So I say, without being able to see anything, the bottom right one would be fantastic. The chicken one on the bottom right would be really good. And they're like, got it. <laughs> and a minute later, they send a photo saying, I think what you're looking at is Reese's cookies. <laughs> I... Uh... <laughs> I swear that was ramen. <laughs> they probably think I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm like 80 years old. 
Um, I don't even know if they've responded or not. Um, since I can't see our messages, I'll go with whatever replacements you can find. Thank you so much. I just said I can't see our messages, but now I can for like a second, and she asked me a question. Do I answer the question and then explain that I can see that one, but I haven't been able to see the others? Or do I just ignore the question because I already said I couldn't see the messages and to not have confusion? Oh, no, she... Wait, we're good. Oh, she put the replacement in. And it was what I thought I saw. It wasn't the cookies. Okay, we're good. Holy shit. Dude, I, I, like, I just want to extend my voice through the phone and be like, I am so, so sorry right now. Uh... Oh my god. Copious, plentiful, optimistic, extended, personal space. Rich. With raging and hunger. Raging obviously sucks, but... That's good, right? I think I take that? I'm fairly certain I take that. I think we take that, even though we get double damage incoming, which isn't fantastic, but I'm, I think I'm okay with going with that. Raging and fragile? Uh. Ah, who cares? That's a CRP run ready to go. Dude, I had none in here. Last night, when I was sorting through all this and, like, changing up the way this looks, and I was like, damn. If only I had some CRPs ready to run while I have all of these, like, ready to go. And now we have three. Ravager is death. I'm gonna wear, like, super beefy, probably, like, health armor or something like that. Or, to be honest, what we could do is we could demo off our 80% parry set. So. Does the CRP have to be on a co-op crystal? No, I've just... Wait, it needs silent? Wait, does it? No, it doesn't. There's no, uh, crowded. We have personal space, so it's good. I think I might, uh, demo the 80% parry set on this run. Because the 80% parry set gives me, like, a good amount of, uh, evasion. Or, not evasion. Hello, obviously. It gives me... Copious number six of the day. Off of only our crystals. I traded three with this gal today, but those weren't copious. We've rolled six. And I'm, I'm done talking. I'm going to be ill. He better keep getting away with this. Dude, I haven't seen that copy pasta in so long. I miss that copy pasta, dude. Where did my audience go wrong? My chat used to be Copypasta Central. And then everything changed. I don't know when. But eventually it did. So... Holy crap, dude. That's... Yep. Well, that... Yep. 
hard difficult challenging still not as good as hard as raging though which is hilarious to me um so odyssey no exploration no odyssey exploration no horde odyssey what is today dude what is going on what is going on i'm losing my mind i am losing my mind the most recent crp might need optimistic do i not have optimistic on that one i'll check oh my god i'm done this one just needs extended Yeah, we just need to extend it. It's got chaotic on it, which kind of sucks. We can put Phoenix on there as well, too, if we wanted. Oh, my lord. Well, that is that is ready to go here. Probably uh, pretty much ready to go. Um, So these aren't. So we can put these back down here. What was the CRP that might need optimistic? Oh, yeah, you're right. It, just, it needs optimistic. You're right. Thank you. What? What the fuck? Wow. Well, what will the choice be today, sir? We have many options. Please take your pick. <laughs> the unfortunate part about this one is this, um... This CRP was, like, put together before, uh, I, like, had the Haste 2 idol, so it has Tired on it, unfortunately. So the reason why Weakened is the only one coming out is because that's the last, uh, curse. So unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to, like, slam down super high Haste, which maybe won't make that big of a difference with the Terror Shatter. We don't know. But, okay, well, I'm gonna take the Daycare Weakened, then. Probably, right? It's got giant anyway, so it's basically just a free negative. Surely it wouldn't also... How? How? So, like, there are other positives that are, like, possible. None of these are optimistic, and you're gonna tell... What the... Dude? <laughs> uh, you know what? If I'm being completely honest, like... This kind of stuff happening is a reason why I wish I had time to edit down the YouTube videos myself. Because I would fucking love to put this on YouTube and have it make sense. Like, this this is just fantastic. This is stuff you talk about, you know? Oh my god, dude. I wish we could have Daycare and Giant happen at the same time in a vault. That would be really cool. Imagine a mix... Tell me how cool that would be, though. If you had Daycare and Giant both in the same vault, you could just... Like, every spawn was random, either extremely small or extremely large. That'd be super cool. If they could implement it at some point. That'd be, that'd be a lot of fun, to be honest. I want my gifted sub for getting you that moment. You know what? Deal. That was you, right? Oh my god, 999 and zero timeouts? Dude. Have a three month for being just an absolute shad of a chatter. A 999 to zero ratio. That is, that's the cleanest. That, that right, that's respectable. There is nothing more respectable. Might be easier to code it based off of spawners. Oh, I'm sure it's like super easy, like much easier, right? But you know what I mean. What just happened, dude? And then, meanwhile, there's also <laughs> like don't don't even think we forgot about this. Give me exploration. Optimistic Hard Weekend's actually kind of really awesome. Especially considering this could roll Scavenger. What do you got here? 
Uh, extended hard is fine. So we'll take the optimistic uh, hard weekend because that's a really nice one. Yeah, I'll do clips. Unfortunately, clips are um, blocked in uh, my chat because I'm a pega and haven't fixed that in the year that I've been talking about it. Uh, if you're part of the Discord, you can put the clip into the Vol Hunters Hall, but I wouldn't ask you to go through that much trouble. Personal space and trap? No, thank you. Oh, shit. Uh, so what are we looking for on this? Probably something. There. You go there. So we have five of these that are working on, and one of them, or two of them are essentially done. Actually, you're not done yet. You're done. You're not. I need to put you away. This right here, this hourglass area... This is going to become so viable and valuable toward the later half of the series. Four out of six of these are cooperative. And then... Yeah, this one's a normal. So, like, the cooperative... Let's see. Cooperative Audi Explorer. Cooperative Odyssey. Cooperative Exploration. And Cooperative Odyssey. These are going to be crazy toward the latter half of the series. Like, I'm feeling confident that we can get, like, people with 25 artifacts. I'm, f I'm feeling very confident. Just gotta keep the pace up. Maybe I can get, like, up to 19 or 20 by the end date. I have no idea how fucking hard it's gonna be to be able to get up to, like, 25. Maybe the rates are gonna increase, like, a pretty good amount as you get up to 250. I have no idea. But, like, with trading and everything, and some of these, like... We're working on it, you know? Is that 50% per boss crate? Uh, yeah, Odyssey is 50%. Exploration is 25%. And then Odyssey and Exploration is 75% flat increase in addition to whatever um, your level is, and then it's a 50% chance per player to get a boss crate at the end of a run. So. I'm definitely worried about y'all reaching it still. Nah, as long as, like, over the next, like, 40 days until the series ends, like, all of us hop on and, like, you know, grind out a good bit. Because, like, if a lot of us are consistent in the way that we've been before, we should be okay. I know Jordan's still playing a good bit. I know Iskel's still playing a good bit. I know H has been busy, but he hopped on for a little while. Um, I have no idea about Zine. I know he's, like, currently going back and forth on this with some stuff. Um, Callum will be interesting. And then I have no idea about, like, um... Uh... Stress or Antonio. Not sure what's gonna go on with them. But... Rip all your catalysts? Dude, thank god. <laughs> like, I hate having catalysts just sitting here doing nothing but burning a hole in my pocket. These are all fully runnable vaults right now. If I take these crystals and throw them down, there's no extra modifiers I would ask on them. Yeah, I know, Neon. Like, a lot of, a lot of stuff has gone on back and forth with that. Um, I don't know if he's planning on coming back at any point. That's obviously his volition. I know that, like, after talking with this gal... Um, about similar feelings. You know, Iskal, you know, made that change, and, um... With the random crystals, trying to make this a little bit more fun, and I'm sure there will, you know, maybe be some other stuff we talk about or whatever. Uh, I'm sure if, like, Zine wanted to conversate with, uh, Iskal or, like, they had some stuff, they could probably hash out some ideas. Because I, I do still believe that Zine's POV is a very critical one, in balancing this mod pack, not only for the SMP, but for the public release. Zine is not a, like, vault grinder. He's much heavier on modded work and infrastructure. And also, like, is hasn't been, like, leveling super fast. He's, like, pretty standard, like, or standard, pretty, like, solid in the middle mid-game. With a lot of modded experience and work on there. And I feel like that's a really unique POV to have. And a really unique, like, bit of insight to give to the, uh, pack. So, I think Eskal, like, and Zine talking could be really, really nice. And potentially make some really, really good changes happen. What's the bottom row? The bottom row is just based off of, uh, anything for, um, like, uh, artifact completions. This bottom row with the silly emote is just, like, any random crystal that doesn't fit these four categories that I'm ready to run. Like, say, if Kara wants to make me a few crystals, I'll put them down here. The biggest problem with the inactive players is that they wouldn't have the practice for vaulting rather than being too low level. Yeah, there's definitely issues around it. Um, I don't know exactly how things are going to get solved because it's kind of tough, like, trying to figure out how to get, like, people to enjoy late game before the series ends. 
and also try to get everybody into the vault before this series ends, but... I know it's super overwhelming for any of the hunters who left a while ago to come back if so many changes. Yeah, anybody who, like, is not an active server member right now probably will not be coming back for the final vault. Like, it, it's... That, that's just kind of the way it is, right? Like, if you leave a series for, like, two or three, four months, you're not gonna come back and be like, yeah, finale time! They've probably already written it off, and they're just like, hey, if, you know, if there's a season three, I'll hop in if I'm allowed, kind of mentality. Um, did I not check these? Why do I have a horde faster? Oh, I think I did. Yeah, and I decided I'm not sure if it's worth it or not. Bro, I kind of want to just slam down an exploration difficult hunger. I think I'm going to. I don't, I, it's only an exploration, it's not an odyssey, but I don't think it passes up. Has we died in the vault yet? Yes, I have. <laughs> not another rich. Nah, I'm not throwing down just a rich. Optimistic lock is not ideal. None of those are ideal. And... No. Don't think so. Don't want personal space on this one because it could wind up being a scav. So we'll leave that one down there. So now we have seven. Cool. I always have to get her to give you a freezing impossible frenzy raging crystal. Listen, dude. That already happened. <laughs> the crystal she made me was a frenzy raging. And I got out of that shit. Non cannon death? That's cope. Non cannon vault? That is hard cope. For you, Rich, rather than Kopi, so today being example A, why not slam it? I mean, fair, but yeah, true. If Copius is rarer than, or if Rich is rarer than Copius, then I should roll it random. So I can get uh, more catalysts to find more Copius. <laughs> if you were a bender, what element would you bend? Avatar? Probably water. Dude, I can't believe, like, Nickelodeon was, like, TVY7. Oh, yeah, they can bloodbend, by the way. <laughs> Avatar, Avatar is such a wild show, dude. What a great, absolutely incredible cartoon for us. But that, that is just ridiculous. So you said last MCC that you're playing for your team placement, not individual placement. Wouldn't it be more beneficial for you to practice stuff like PvP so you can place better for your team? You know, I saw... I'm going to use that message as an opportunity to talk about this real quick. I saw it like... I was on the Reddit like three weeks ago or something like that. And someone made a post or whatever about like my inconsistencies. And someone wrote... He said he's not playing for individual placement. He's playing for team placement. That's why he hasn't placed as high. Or something like that. I don't think I ever said that. That sounds very heavily like a banana phone. Because I'm not exactly sure how I can play for team placement without playing for individual placement. I think I said I don't care about individual placement. I care about team placement. But I don't exactly know how you don't play for... How you can play for team placement. Yeah, dude. Hey, I'm, I'm going to play to get uh, first place on uh, on our team. Which is like 20th individual, by the way. That should be enough, right? Like, yeah, that'll be good. I don't know where that came from. So... I'm still trying to get first individual... Because that would help my team get the highest placement possible. At the end of the event, though, I just don't care where I place. I just hope I place my team places high. I make my score low so my team scores high. Exactly. I open up the I open up the the top dogging to other people on my team. God, what a <laughs> what a selfless selfless MCC participant I am.
You ever just be between games and not be able to get any progress because you keep switching between them? That's essentially me when I was switching between 116 speedrunning and 114 speedrunning. Two hours MCC is uh, equals inconsistent according to the subreddit. Well, it is inconsistency because in season one, in the first like two events of season two, um, MCC 15 KW, I hadn't left top five ever. And now in the last four events, I've gone first 11th, first 12th, or like 12th, 13th or whatever. So that's inconsistency considering for me. So that's fair to say, but... I think it's a misinterpretation of care about team, not really about individual, equals prior about team over individual. Yeah, it's just that the latter doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I guess the only, like, time where you could, like, think about it would be, like, if I'm in stance of time and I, like, take every risk possible... Even if that means that I might die, but also that, like, I don't know, it's kind of weird because, like, every single thing about my individual placement correlates directly with team placement. So, yeah. I don't know. Um, I have no idea how, but I've been live for nine hours. I literally do not know how this happens. And I say that meaning... I felt like I was a little bit out today, just not feeling at my best, and I was probably going to wind up doing a short stream. And somehow nine hours have gone by. I like streaming. And I'm going to end it here. <laughs> Thank you all for, uh, for watching the stream. Second raffle we've done today, because I was with Pega and didn't do a raffle yesterday. So, this is kind of like split down the middle. Uh... Elena, thank you very much for the uh, support today. I will see you in the vault um, tomorrow. And uh, also, Wild Rosette, thank you very much for the perfect wounded eye and the Hunt and Dustin Channel Point, uh, Channel Point Trader. That was very, very generous to do. Thank you so, so dearly. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be live uh, tomorrow. I might be taking the day off just to relax on uh, with football. Uh, I probably got to talk to the family for a while and spend time with Kara. Um, but I might still stream like a little bit. It definitely won't be a longer stream like usual. But, uh, yeah. Uh, if I'm not live tomorrow, which I probably won't be, I'll be live Monday, and Monday will, uh, crank out the, uh, some, at least, CRP runs. At least this one. Considering this one's not a co-op, I've yet to decide whether or not I want to run these three co-ops, uh, CRPs as actual, like, CRP co-ops. I feel like that can be fun. Um, we'll run that one down and hopefully get to use, uh, our good old Terra Calculator. Very, very happy about this. And once again, thank you, Hellfire, for helping me rebuild after the potential player diff, but seemed like a server problem kind of uh, incidents. Um, hopefully, other people on the dev team, including Iskal, were okay with the fact that that happened. Pretty sure, like, most of them were asleep aside from Hellfire. But uh, I managed to get this, so. Pretty sick. I wish I knew what that was. This thing make mine room go boom, essentially. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna dip. I got my groceries like literally just arrived right now too, so perfect timing. I will see you all uh, tomorrow. Are you gonna go for rank SS? Probably, but that's gonna entail me getting the uh, cobblestone generator set up over the next like few days, which I would like to. But I have no idea how content over the next few days is gonna go. If we have time for it, sure. If not, who knows? But, uh, yeah. Take care. Peace. Appreciate you guys.